glitters. No, glittery. Glittery? No, 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 no. Glittering. Glittering. Oh, that sounds best. What do you think, Pupcake? Rock custard? <coughs> oh, why, thank you. Hmm, now what rhymes with star? <gasps> I know, far. <clears throat> Up in the sky, so very far. <gasps> Look, what's that? A falling star. One wish to make, what will it be? A lot at stake, you must agree. Little white light, a glittering ball. With great delight, I watch it fall. Soon as it's gone, my wish comes then. To see before dawn, one fall again. Oh, huh? bravo! Delightful, Miss Shortcake, simply delightful. Oh, Mr. Longface, I'm so glad you're here. It's only a week until the next story time corner, and you're the perfect person to help me with the poem I'll be reading for everyone. It's almost there, I think, but I would be grateful for some help with these two words. Oh, it would be an honor. <laughs> oh, thank you. Just those two words are all that I... Oops, excuse me. Strawberries Cafe, hope you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, that's great. I'll be right over, Raspberry. Um, do you mind watching the cafe, Mr. Longface? Just running over to Raspberry's Boutique. Be right back. Why, certainly. Take your time. Hmm, glittering. Oh, no, 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 no. Glittery. Yes. I'm so excited. A custom-designed, one-of-a-kind, raspberry original dress for my own poetry night. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have all of your merry measurements. Ooh. Now I know what size to make your dress so you can relax. <laughs> Oh, would you like to see my preliminary, you know, my first sketches? And you can make any changes you want. Surprise me. I just love surprises. Well, okay then. I guess so. Then I'll just, uh, you know, go with what I had, I mean, have in mind. If that's what you have in mind. Sounds terrific. Well, I've got to get back to the cafe. Thanks. I'll have it ready for you by story time. Falling star from outer space, how huh? doth I wish to see your face? Oh, falling star up in the sky, I see you twinkle with my eye. Don't fly away, you'll make me cry. <gasps> oh, <clears throat> ah, Miss Shortcake, would you know a word that rhymes with cry? Why? Why? Of course, perfect. I mean, why change so much of my poem? Didn't you like it? Oh, oh no, my dear. I simply adored it. I merely made a few changes to give it more of that sense of, well, being there. The actual moment when you saw the star. Well, to tell the truth, I haven't ever seen a shooting star. I was more imagining. Oh, my. But to be a true poet, you must write about what you know. To write what it feels like to wish upon a falling star, you must experience it for yourself. Hmm. Hi, guys. Hi, Plum Pudding. Where are you off to, Strawberry? On a camp out. I'm trying to write a poem about wishing on a shooting star, and Mr. Longface says to write about something, you should experience it. Ah, uh, yes. Just like when I dance, one has to feel it from within. Uh, yeah. Think it might be a little cold tonight for a camp out? Well, if this will make me a better writer, it's worth it. Oh, wait! I have some Glowberry Sunflower Energy Bars. They're just the thing for a camp out. Thanks, Plum. Looks like Raspberry's working late. Maybe she could use some munchies. Oh, do me a favor, will you? Make sure she's not working too hard on that dress she's making for me. Sure thing. Have fun! Hi, Raspberry. How's it going? Well, I started out with a design 
design I liked, but then, well, I wasn't so sure, so I made a couple changes, and pretty soon I'm changing my mind back and forth, but now I'm thinking I really like what I started with best, but now I'm worried I won't finish it in time. Oh, you poor thing. Can I help? I can cut stuff, or you could show me what to do. Oh, that's so sweet of you, but it's really important to me that I do this by myself. Know what I mean? I guess. Are you sure? I'm sure. I just hope I can. <laughs> Ta -da! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> what are you saying? That I'm no fashion expert? <laughs> Always in style. Always in fashion. And it only took me a couple of minutes. What's that? Not strawberry style? No problem. I'll just pull another model out of my sleeve. There! Hiya, hiya! I'm a strawberry snow dress. How do you like me? <laughs> oh, dear. Did I cheer you up? <laughs> oh, yeah. But now I really have to get back to work. Oh, I like this so much. I just want, I just hope, I just... Wish I can make it in time. You'll do it. You just need a good night's sleep, a fresh start in the morning, and I know you'll make your wish come true. I'll close up your shop. Really? Okay. Good night, Plum. Hmm. <sighs> Thanks again. What are friends for? Blueberry? It's Plum. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Okay, no more yawning. And so that's the deal. Aw, poor Raspberry. And you know how she wants everything she makes to be the very best it can be. That's why I say we've got to finish Strawberry's outfit ourselves. Tonight! What Plum's talking about us doing sounds like this story. The shoemaker and the elves. While the shoemaker is asleep, these elves sneak in and make the shoes to help him out. <gasps> we could be like the elves! Raspberry secret helpers! Deal? Deal! Deal. <laughs> what? What? <sighs> okay. No more sleeping. original design, so I... Uh, well, you see, we thought, well, it was... It was the fashion elves! Fashion elves? Yeah! You know, like, the story about the shoemaker's elves? Blueberry has a book about it. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Kinda like, um... The Berrykins! But with pointy shoes! They know when you're in need, and they come at night and help. Really? Can you see them? Well, um... You can! I mean, you can't. I mean, you can, 
But you shouldn't. Those are the rules. You spy on fashion elves, they run away and never come back. That's right. Elves, Psh, what are you gonna do? It must have been because you were wishing so hard for your dress to be made. Your wish came true. It isn't that you couldn't have done it on your own. And it's still from your design. Well, not really. <laughs> this is a much more uh, complicated, but wow. If these fashion elves can make a design this complicated in one night, think what they could do with a little more uh, direction. Huh? huh? Now I can really go wild and design something for Strawberry that is extra, extra ordinary, out of this world. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, something like uh, like this. I'll leave a new design up for the fashion elves tonight and see how they do with it. Um, maybe they're uh, only one night elves. Uh, possibly yes, but in case they are here to stay, I better get designing because Strawberry deserves the very best. <laughs> Keep your heels on the floor as long as possible. Don't you think we should tell her the truth? <sighs> How are we gonna stay up another whole night? I was going to until somebody said fashion elves. I'm sorry. <sighs> Releve and turn around. <sighs> Grand plie. Uh, first position. <laughs> Yum! Elf snacks! We're gonna need the nutrition. This is a monster of a dress. We'll never finish it by morning. We've got to for Raspberry. Look, let's divide the design in four parts and each take a section. Good idea. See? Now if it drizzles, we won't get wet. We'll just climb into the tent. Oh, muffin crumbs. It's stuck! <laughs> Don't tell me. <laughs> oh. Oh. <sighs> Morning, Raspberry. We came to see the elves' latest and greatest. <gasps> this is exquisite! Especially this area. I really love this lace down here. Hmm. <laughs> but see, it only goes partway around the hem. Hmm. It seems like the elves have gotten off track. Off track? Well, I, I think this outfit is a smashing success. It's fabulous. Just look at the placement of these buttons. So, uh, pleasingly unexpected. But, but, but girls, this dress doesn't look anything like my design. Hmm. But I like this detail here. Oh, and this lace over here. And these buttons are quite <laughs> clever. But the whole thing seems like too many of uh, different designs in one. I know. Huh? huh? What are you doing? You're not doing a new design, are you? Oh, no, no, no. I'm writing the elves a note. Well, you could just tell us and... <gasps> Dear elves, please concentrate on uh, one idea and go with it. <laughs> Gratefully yours, Raspberry Tort. So you see the problem? I really think the best solution is to go with my idea. But I don't know how to tell the girls in the nicest way so I don't make them feel like I'm, you know, putting down their dress designs. And how many nights have you girls been fashion sprites? Elves. Sorry, I've lost count. Um, four? I, tell you what, I'm about to open the cafe, so why don't you come back at five today and we'll talk it over. I think I'll have an answer by then. Oh, that's great. Okay, thanks, Strawberry. So what do you think? How can I convince them to go with my idea and not hurt their feelings? Lemon, I'm having trouble hearing. Can you come by the cafe at, say, five o'clock? And I'm sure I'll have an answer for you. Five? Great, thanks, Strawberry. Oh, 
sure you've got to help me. My idea is just simplest, that's all, but I don't want to appear bossy, you know. I have to get back to the cafe, but come by at, say, five, and we'll talk it over. Strawberry, you said five o'clock, right? Oh, uh, hi, Blueberry. I'll be with you in just a second. <gasps> oh, uh, oh, hey. Hi, hi. Uh, hi. How are you? Hi, all. Tea? Muffins? I know. Smoothies! But I thought you said we'd be meeting in private. No, I didn't. I'm sorry, girls, but I just don't feel comfortable taking secret meetings. I have a feeling this is something that we need to get out in the open. I mean, none of you would like the idea of something being done behind your back, would you? But it was only... We didn't mean to, Strawberry! <laughs> we were not just trying to... It's okay. It's okay. I know you wanted to help Raspberry, which is very sweet. I just think being secret fashion elves might not be the best way. But we had to. I offered to help her, but she wanted to do it all by herself. Helping is good, but... <sighs> Well, Pardon the interruption, but here are three of my latest versions of your poem for your review, Miss Shortcake. What were you saying, Strawberry? Oh, it's just sometimes you want to make something your own way. You know, it's nice to know you can do some things all on your own. All on your own. Yes. Hmm. Strawberry's right. We should tell her the truth. Oh, but how? She'll be so disappointed. I'd rather make ten more dresses than disappoint Raspberry. Maybe the trouble is that we weren't working together. Let's all agree on one design and start over. Morning's a wasting. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I've gotten used to oversleeping now that all my work is being done for me. Wow. Oh, it's perfect. It's absolutely amazing. Then why do you look so sad? Hmm. Because I didn't make it. I really wanted to make something sweet for Strawberry that was all from me to her. My own design, all made by me. I can't take credit for this, though, even if it is really fabulously fantastic. Although the elves could surely use some practice with their cross-stitching. See, but I'm worried I'm going to hurt the elves' feelings. But I have one more day to make Strawberry's dress, and I'm going to ask them to let me do it all by myself. Listen, Raspberry, you don't need to write the note. There's, um, something we need to tell you. It's just that I really want to read everyone a poem of my own. Oh, of course. Uh, you're perfectly right, Miss Shortcake. I I'm afraid I got a bit carried away. I hope you know how much I always appreciate your help, Mr. Longface. As I appreciate yours, Miss Shortcake, your poem reawakened my long-lost love of poetry. Oh. oh, girls, I know you were just trying to help. Well, if I fail, at least Strawberry could wear the dress you made. Well, I've got a lot of work to do. Maybe there's another way we can help you, Raspberry. Huh? You know, if it's too simple, Strawberry, I have a backup dress that is... Oh, I'd know a raspberry design anywhere. It's beautiful. I've done a lot of things so far, but never wished on a falling star. I've heard they're sparkly, fast and white, with glittery tails that light the night. Maybe. They look kind of prickly or furry. Someday I'll know, but I'm in no hurry. Who knows where I'll see one or when? 
I guess I'll just save up my wishes till then. In the meantime, I'm just having fun. Imagining the time when I do see one. <laughs> Daisies look thirsty. You're growing incredibly fast. Hi, Blueberry. So, how does your garden grow? Most definitely the fastest growing flowers I've ever seen. Just planted the seeds this morning, and look, they've sprouted already. Wow, that is fast. Zippy grow dramatic daisies, from berry bitty seed to full-size flower in just a few days. Um. How big do you think they'll get? Approximately as tall as my store. Oh, almost forgot. The cookbook you ordered came this morning. Oh, terrific! Here you are. The Mighty Muffin Cookbook. Big recipes for bitty bakers. Oh, thank you, Blueberry. You're very welcome. There's a corn muffin recipe in here that I can't wait to try. I've heard it's really good, but it's more complicated than anything I've baked before. I read about the author, a very famous chef in Big Bitty City. I'm sure if you just follow his directions, you'll be just fine. to 3.75. Check. Set timer for 25 minutes. Check. Huh? What was that? My muffin recipe? If those are muffins, I can't wait to see what happens when you bake a cake. Thanks for helping me clean up, everybody. When somebody in Berry Bitty City needs help, we all help. <gasps> you got it. Sure, no problem. Glad to help. That's what we do in Berry Bitty City. <laughs> this is the strangest thing I've ever seen. And you're quite sure you followed the recipe? I think so. Well, the most likely explanation is that you must have made a mistake somewhere along the line. Seems like it. But I was sure I followed the directions. Well, I'll just have to try it again. And this time, I'll be super careful. Wow, no wonder they call you Zippy Grow. You're really getting big. Hmm, it's my observation that you look a little different from the picture. But you're so young yet. Who knows what you'll look like when you grow up? <gasps> oh, no! Come on! What is it? No! Not again! Let's go! Uh, don't worry. This time I just put one bitty, and I mean very bitty muffin in the oven, instead of a whole pan. Time. All I have to clean is the oven. Okay, I got it. Just change its name to Muffin Surprise. Uh, <laughs> oh, <I don't> <laughs> muffin Explosion? Ha. Uh, Mega Muffin Explosion Supreme. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> hey, that is pretty funny. <laughs> this really doesn't make sense. 
I was extra careful to follow the directions, but the same thing happened. I checked off every step, double checked the oven's temperature, triple checked the timer. Huh. Maybe the recipe has a mistake in it. What do you think? I think that's highly unlikely. Something you did seems more probable to me. Too much flour, not enough water? I measured everything to the last drop. But, you know, sometimes the most unlikely possibility is possible. There might be a mistake in the cookbook. But how could that be? I don't know. But the only way to find out is to give it another try and pay extra super close attention to every step. And if it still doesn't work, well, then maybe this is one of those times when I'll have to use my own judgment, my own common sense, and my own taste buds and adjust the recipe. Don't worry, I'll solve this puzzle. Hmm, I like directions you can count on. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes it's fun to improvise. Improvise? It means to make something out of what you have at the moment. Kind of like when things don't go as planned, go with what you have and make the best you can with it. I like it. Sounds like a good way to solve a puzzle. And speaking of puzzles, I've got one for you in my garden. Got a minute? Sure. Well, they're tall, all right. Even taller than the package said they were supposed to be. Are you sure they're daisies? Of course. It says so on the seed packet. Could they just look that way because they're still growing? Well, I'm not a plant expert. But you know who is. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Blueberry. <laughs> no problem. Well, let's see. Uh, yes, it must be. <laughs> it's corn. Corn? Impossible! I planted daisy seeds. Oh, thank you, Blueberry. <laughs> You're welcome, Berry Can Bloom. But are you sure? Oh, yes. If you hadn't caught me... I mean about the, you know, daisies. Daisies? Oh, no, 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 no. Corn. Oh, dear. What's the matter? You've never looked sadder. It must have been something I did to the daisy seeds. Too much water or too little water or too much sun or something. Oh, my. You did everything right. Best crop of corn I've seen. That should be a natural with squash. Hmm. Oh, well, come on, everybody. Back to the berry works. <laughs> nice corn. Ooh, that's what I call corn. Tallest I've ever seen. Boy, it is big. Hi, berrykins. Hi, yeah, strawberry. strawberry. Nice corn. So I've been told. Maybe we better dig it up and replant it somewhere else before it gets too big. They can't get bigger. They're daisies. They have to be. It says so on the package. Well, I just came over because I got a letter from the author of the Mighty Muffin Cookbook. I wrote to him. You did? Uh-huh. I said I couldn't get his recipe to work, so I improvised. I've made muffins before, and I don't remember ever using that much baking soda. I tried using less, and the muffins came out better. So I asked the author, could there be a mistake in his book? And what did he say? That he checked it out, and yes, there was a mistake. The recipe called for a cup full of baking soda, when it should have been a tablespoon. Wow, that's the last thing I would have imagined, for the cookbook to be wrong. I tried the muffins again with the right directions, and they came out perfectly. He says they're printing a new edition right away, with the mistake fixed, and he's sending me a signed copy. <laughs> That's wonderful, Strawberry. So, you never know. Maybe you did everything right, but the package was wrong. Here, I made a batch of muffins for you. Oh, thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Listen, gotta run back. <laughs> I'm still baking. See ya, Blueberry. No, 
know. The plants I'm trying to describe that are growing in my garden at this very minute do not look anything like daisies. Okay, now let me get this straight. You're saying long leaves. Long leaves. Kind of bent down and flopped over, sort of like cornstalk leaves. Exactly like cornstalk leaves. And you say long things that sort of look like ears of corn. No, they look exactly like ears of corn. I'm looking at a picture of a big stalk of corn. Right here in the official encyclopedia of flowers, farm foods, and... Well, I'm a daisy man myself, no expert on corn, except when I pop it. But watch out, when you're bitty, that stalk pops with a bang. <laughs> <laughs> but here at Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for bitty gardens is our motto, we pretty much guess that what you have growing there is probably corn. But how is that possible when I planted your company's daisy seeds? Well, now, right there's the mystery. And I don't mind telling you, it's got us stumped. Oh! Oh, no! See, the plain fact is that here at Zippy Grow Daisies, we don't sell corn, no serene. But we're efficient, too. Excuse me? Yes, ma'am. We've been experimenting with our own Zippy Grow Super-Sized Ever Pop Popcorn. Wow, what a bang when it pops. Goes off like a firecracker. As soon as we can figure out how to get the bang out of the pop, we're going to put it on the market. In the meantime, we think that's the answer to your mystery. It is? Yep. We figure some of our experimental super-sized popcorn must have gotten to one of our official Daisy Seed packets. And you bought it. <gasps> Oh, no! Great song. <laughs> we all feel so sorry it happened. We're sending you a year's supply of Zippy Grow Daisy Seed Packets. Compliments of Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for pretty gardens is our motto. Uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate your help. Good night. <gasps> oh, no! I've called you all here is to see if we can put our heads together and figure out what we want to do with these. Well, since Blueberry says it's popcorn, I say let's pop it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Uh, sounds good to me. All right, let's get popping. Okay, yeah, and have a popcorn party. I think that would be lovely. Oh, oh, that's that's good. Good. I wish I had listened to you, Strawberry, when you said I should replant them somewhere else. Now look at all the trouble my garden has caused. I'm afraid a popcorn party with this popcorn would be ill-advised, meaning not a good idea. You see, the seed company hasn't figured out how to take the bang out of the pop, and I believe it would be too dangerous. Huh? Oh my! We are pretty bitty, and this corn pops very big! Yeah, oh, it's not a good idea. Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Oh, oh, here's an idea. Um, we could dig up all the corn stalks and move them so no more grows here. Good idea. We'll start right away. And we better get all these ears of corn out of town before they ripen and drop their seeds and grow goodness knows how many more. Good point. Oh, I wonder how far we'll have to take them. I would estimate far enough away so when the seeds do grow, they don't threaten us again. Makes sense to me. Yeah. On strawberry, how can we move them? <laughs> We're so bitty, and they're so <laughs> big. <sighs> Too bad we can't eat them. I have an idea. Orange, do you have any more rope in your store? Yes, I do. Why? <laughs> Okay, let's move about! Far enough away, I believe. 
kind of thing in any of my books. We'll figure out a way. Improvise. What we need is a ladder. Too bad all we have is an ear of corn. Wait, what did you say? Improvise. That's it! Hey! An, an ear, ear of corn ladder! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa! from the vent is making it too slippery. If only that steam vent would stop steaming. Now I'm really hungry. I wonder how raw popcorn tastes. Wait, why eat it raw? Because this place doesn't have a kitchen to cook it with. Use the steam vent. Heat the corn and make it pop. Then we could eat it. Good thinking, Strawberry. <laughs> They should be. It's like they just vanished into thin air. It doesn't make sense. Then uh, maybe we should look in all the places that, you know, uh, don't make sense. What, like the opposite direction from where we last saw them? Why not? Well, at least we'll have plenty to eat. We can always pop more corn. Popcorn. That's it. Let's pop all the corn and it will fill up this cavern and carry us to the top. Oh, Blueberry, that's a great idea! Life is sweet, life is good, 
I didn't mean to interrupt. Hi, J.D. Bug. No problem. Just rehearsing for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Can I get you something? I was just wondering if I could bother you for a um, cup of tea? Of course. Have a seat, wherever you'd like. What kind of tea are you in the mood for? <sighs> oh, something warm and comforting. Lemon or mint? Oh, dear. Oh, my. I can't decide. What do you think? Chamomile. May I ask, you seem a little jumpy. Is anything wrong? I'm nervous. It's my cousins. Sadie Bug and Katie Bug? They just left a message on my phone that they're coming to visit for a whole week. And I'm gonna have to tell them they can't. Why not? My um, guest room, it's being repainted. Oh, they'll be so disappointed beside themselves. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna tell them. Oh my. Well, what if they stay with me here at the cafe? Oh, they put you through much too much trouble. I'd be thrilled to have house guests. It'd be fun. Are you sure? Really? I'm very sure. I have a book with tips on hostessing somewhere up here. Good. I want ideas on how to make them feel really welcome and special. We could make them gift bags. Oh, yeah, like little travel or, uh, oh, you know, um, overnight kits. Oh, I could even sew them. Here it is. Thanks, Blueberry. I could put a toothbrush, toothpaste, and pretty hat soaps inside. Wow, that would be very nice, Orange. The very best hostess. Take the guesswork out of having guests. At home, away from home. The first rule of being a hostess is making your guests feel comfortable. Comfortable? Oh, what else does it say? Um... A good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests, never embarrass them by pointing out that their ways of doing things are different from yours. So, if they sleep upside down, don't say anything? <laughs> Guess so. <laughs> their arrival should be a celebration. We could throw a tea party in their honor. Oh, we can have it in the cafe. I'll make a welcome banner. I'll help you. Thanks, Lemon. Watch out, your guests will love it so much, next thing you know, you'll have to open a hotel. <laughs> Goodness, all this for my cousins? Isn't it gonna be fun? Oh, but Strawberry, you've gone to so much trouble. You all have. Oh, me. Oh, my. You even embroidered their gift bags. But that's what being a good hostess is all about, J.D. Bug. I'm enjoying this, really. But you don't even know if they'll end up staying very long. I thought they were staying for a week. Oh, yes, but <laughs> oh, you never know what will happen. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Katie Bug, Sadie Bug, it's uh, been too long. Likewise. What to eat? Oh, uh, I. Welcome to Berry Bitty City. It's so nice to see you. Everyone, this is Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. Hi, I'm nice nice to meet you. you. You'll be staying with me at my cafe. Can I help you with your bags? Sure. Knock yourself out. 
During the day, I'm sure you'll be visiting with your cousin, but after the cafe closes, I have a place fixed up for you upstairs. <laughs> Why would we visit JD Bug when we can hang out where the food is? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, you're just joking, right? Your cousin sure are kidders, JD Bug. <laughs> yeah, kidders. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, what did you get? Hey, I want that. Not fair. Let me see yours. Yours is better. It is not. Is too. Hey, that's my favorite color. It's not. Yeah, huh? It's so. What? No straw? I beg your pardon? <laughs> A straw? That's wacky. Oh, my. <laughs> Give me. That's mine. But it's mine. No. Finders keepers. Oh, girls. <laughs> we don't use straws in a teacup. <sighs> Remember, a good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests. That's a quirk, or just bad manners. Bad manners, I'm afraid. My cousins are the worst of the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sadie Bug! Uh, Katie Bug! <laughs> 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 Strawberry, I am so sorry. I don't think you're going to be able to tolerate their ways for very long. No, no, J.D. Bug. I volunteered to host them, and that's what I'm going to do. Hey, Strawberry! How's everything going with the twins? Uh, just... <laughs> fine. Wow! Look at all the great stuff! I brought you a treat. Ooh, come here. Look at this. <laughs> Girl, <coughs> let's not use up all of <coughs> Orange's perfume. <coughs> Yum. Mm, thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Well, I'm off to deliver the rest of these. See you later. Thanks again. You're welcome. Girls? <gasps> Hi, girls. How's the dance number coming? Almost ready for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, we can dance. Watch. We're really good. Huh? a comedy routine at your cabaret. Please! <laughs> Don't encourage them. So, how's it going, being the perfect hostess? Uh, well... Oh, boy, you must be having a great time. Uh-huh. They must love the guest room the way you fixed it up for them. Well, they like my bedroom better. You gave them your bedroom? Uh, they sort of took it. But it's nice for me <laughs> to have a chance to sleep in the guest room. Huh? <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Too bad there's not a book called How to Be the Very Best Guests. <gasps> Those are my cooking utensils. Please don't put them in the dirt. Aw, come on. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, we want to be sculptors. We're making art. <gasps> Let me try that. Get your own. Girls! <laughs> Please, if you'd like something to eat, I'll fix it for you. But I'm going to have to ask you not to eat out of the refrigerator. <laughs> Please. 
this is a cafe. Mm, like, where people eat stuff. Mm. And mm. that's what we're doing. Oh. Huh? Oh. Very best friends forever. We never let each other down. better in you. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh, girls, I really need to practice for Cafe Cabaret. It's an evening of entertainment I host in the cafe. It's in a couple of days. Oh, we'll help you. Testing. <sighs> uh, how do you turn this thing on? <laughs> Ooh, we are live. Hit it, Sadie Bug. Very best. Friends forever, ever, 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 ever. Give me that. <laughs> Very best friend for forever. Forever. <laughs> we never let each other the surprise of the performance before cabaret night, do we? Oh. She's totally got a point. Okay, from the top. <laughs> oh, Mr. Longface, how are you? Uh, could I have a word, Miss Shortcake? Outside. Of course. So, what did you do with My guests aren't disturbing you, are they? Well, uh... I really came to see how you were holding up. Oh, that's very kind of you, Mr. Longface. Well, I was thinking you could probably do with a break from hostessing. Why not let me watch the cafe for the rest of the day and you take a breather at the pond or anywhere far away from here and then? Oh, I couldn't. After all, they are my guests. You could. I insist. Mr. Longface. I don't know how I can thank you enough. <laughs> You'd better go now while they're occupied. I'll keep them entertained. Oh. Oh. Good luck. The fragrance of the blooming flowers was carried by a warm, gentle breeze to the snout of the little rabbit who knew at last spring had arrived. There was only one thing that kept the little rabbit from enjoying the calm peace of the meadow. I'm sorry, Custard. Pupcake. We'll finish the story later. I can't relax. I have a strange feeling that all is not right back at the cafe. I just feel like I'd better check on Mr. Longface and... and... those twins. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Shortcake. I tried to stop them, but they're, they're unstoppable. They buttered the floor. <laughs> buttered the floor? Why would a person butter a floor? <laughs> The cafe is closed. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll come back later and help you clean up. We got a little carried away. Uh. Oh, a little help here. Strawberries Cafe, hope you're having
having a very nice day. Oh, hello, Princess Berrykin. Yes, they're cleaning everything up, doing a very good job. I can't believe those two left the juice taps running. I'll talk to you later, Princess. I came to help. Thank you, Blueberry. Strawberry, it's time you sent them packing. Who? You know who. Those house pests. How can I kick someone out that I invited? I mean, are they really that bad? I know you don't want to say anything bad about your guests, but sometimes it helps to confide in a friend. You know, let off some steam. <sighs> you know, you're right. I should confide in someone. So you see, girls, I do want you to stay here, and I want you to feel comfortable, but I want to feel comfortable too. Huh? Oh, <laughs> girls. Are you listening? So, I need you to be more considerate to me and to the customers. And I can help you with your manners, if you'll agree to listen. Listen, I've heard enough. So have I. Oh, have you ever heard such rudeness in your life? Huh? We can tell when we aren't wanted. I don't know how staying with me would work. See, I just moved all my new clocks into the guest room. It's my clock winding room. Sorry. Oh, well, um, you could sleep on my floor. That is, uh, oh, if you know, uh, I didn't have all my dress patterns laid out just now. Huh. Oh, I'm really sorry. All my cousins are visiting right now. There's, uh, Hundreds of them! I'm just, a uh, full up! Uh, I'm leaving for vacation. Tonight. Uh, right, right now. Um, oh, we could house it! Oh, no, I mean, you see, the floor just got polished. I can't walk on it. <laughs> Very pity city is so rude! Yeah, real like those people in Gladiola Glen. And the folks in Melonville. Rude, rude, rude! Oh, people seem so friendly at first. Then they're always turning on us. I just don't get it. Hello. How's about putting us up for the night? <sighs> I'm afraid I can't. Why not? The truth is, I don't like the way you treated your last hostess. My friend Strawberry? Oh! <gasps> Neither do we. Okay, <laughs> we're so sorry, Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. We should have told you the truth. We made up excuses so we wouldn't have to host you. And that wasn't right. You mean, none of you like us? We like you, but we don't think you've used good manners as house guests. You can be funny, but you aren't very considerate. Hey, I figured it out. Don't feel badly, Strawberry. Everywhere else the twins have stayed, they've been kicked out by... by... Why, you are the first host who didn't kick them out. <laughs> it's true. We got something to say. Oops. Oh, <laughs> I mean, um, may we come in? Well, sure. Please do. <clears throat> okay. We'd like to say we're sorry. We thought everyone else was rude, but now we see it was always us. Yeah, you were like the perfect hostess. And you were the first person to be honest with us. And we were totally awful. Uh-huh, icky. Really, ew. Will you still teach us how to have good manners? Uh-huh, and be nice house guests? I never thought I'd see the day. I'll make you a deal. I'll teach you good manners. <laughs> if you also let me teach you how to sing. Oh, deal. But good luck teaching us to sing. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty awful. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> each other down as long as we're together things will always turn around as city girls have the courage we're not afraid to take our chance in the end it's always worth it so make your move and do your dance you might get lost but it's okay when you've got your friends
I'm off to the garden. Here you go, Mr. Longface. Pomegranate tea and apple slices. Oh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. You're very welcome. And thank you for watching the cafe for me. My pleasure. And how is your garden growing? Oh, I'm hoping my flowers will be at their best in time for the flower festival. Come on, Pupcake. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes. The Flower Festival. The event of the year. Oh, hi, Strawberry! How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Hi, everyone. Hi, Berry Can Bloom. Well, your roses look very lovely this year. <laughs> As usual. You just might win again, as usual. Thank you, Lemon Meringue, Strawberry Shortcake. Here, Strawberry, your flowers might want some water before the day gets any hotter. Why, thank you. Those are beautiful, Lemon. I think that this year your flowers are going to be the ones to beat. Oh, no. You can't mean my violets stand a chance against your award-winning roses. Oh, I'm telling no lies. You could win the first prize. You're so kind to say so. <sighs> first prize. <laughs> and now, to the individual who has toiled from sunrise to sunset, growing the most perfect flowers, I award first prize to... Lemon Meringue! Oh, wow! Well, 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 It's getting late. Are you coming in? We were worried about you. You've been out here for hours. I'll be right there. Soon as I tuck them in for the night. Good night. See you in the morning. <gasps> My violets! Awful! Tragic! Weird! We're so sorry, Lemon. My poor Violets. What could have happened? It's certainly a mystery. We'll find out how it happened. But who would do such a thing? Who? You think someone took your Violets? A flower thief. <laughs> oh, good morning, Miss Meringue. You're here early today. So are you. Good morning, Mr. Blue. <laughs> how are you? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Lemon? Oh, my. Oh, me. Is that sadness I see? I... Uh... Lemon's had a misfortune, Mr. Bloom. One of her violets went missing. Oh, no. But... but how? We don't know. Oh, that's so sad for you. Now I feel bad, too. I'm sure you do. Come on, Lemon. I'll make you a pancake breakfast and wake me up fruit juice surprise at the cafe. Lemon, you don't really think that nice Mr. Bloom would do a thing like that, do you? Of course not, but, uh, well, didn't you see? See what? His garden is right next to mine. That's true. Well? It's also true that we've known Barrican Bloom a long time. Lemon, you've got to be careful of accusing people. You could really hurt someone's feelings. Uh, I'd never want that to happen. <sighs> You're right, Strawberry. Barrican Bloom would never do a thing like that. <gasps> what is it, Miss Meringue? More of my violets are missing! Stolen! Oh, goodness me. I didn't see. I was here the whole time, but I... I witnessed no crime. Well, we're actually not really sure there's been a crime. If Barrican Bloom didn't see anything, there must be another explanation. <laughs> I can kind of see Lemon's point, though, Strawberry. No one else was around all day except Barry Kim Bloom. And he told me I'm his biggest competition. Maybe he's only complimenting you. He is nice that way. 
Why do you think he would steal your violets anyway? Because his roses win the flower show every year, and he wants to make sure he wins this year, too. <laughs> oh, you? You come back here, you little troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lemon, I'm so sorry about your violets. I know how much you care about them and how awful it feels to lose something so special. Thanks, Strawberry. But it would feel pretty bad if someone accused you of stealing when you didn't. I know, but why is he there all the time when no one else is? Maybe he's there all the time working on his roses because he cares about them so much, just like you care about your violets. <sighs> That's true. Just don't make up your mind about what happened until we can figure it out for sure, okay? Okay, Strawberry. I'll try. And in the meantime, hope that whatever happened to your flowers doesn't happen again. Believe it! Mine are gone! Mine are gone too! How could it? Who did this? Just like lemons! Everyone has flowers missing! Not everyone! Bear can bloom! Did you lose any? Thank goodness all my roses are here. I'm so sorry for your flowers, my dear. Who else could it be? It's gotta be him. Oh, it's like Lemon said. This is serious, Strawberry. Very serious. Whoa. <laughs> my garden is like yours. It's just as I feared. My very best roses. They... <laughs> They've disappeared! <laughs> oh. oh, Barrack and Bloom, I'm so, so, so sorry. You don't know how sorry. What will we do? Flower Festival is two days away. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Princess. Hey girls, what did everyone find? Well, with all the flowers missing, whoever carried them off... If someone carried them off. Okay, if someone carried them off, they are either really big or there is a lot of them. But we didn't find any tracks. Yeah, no tracks except ours. No, that's spooky. Uh, maybe the thief flew in. Could be. At this point, anything's possible. Where were you on the night when this terrible tragedy occurred? <laughs> asleep? Mm, me too. Oh, asleep, huh? That seems mighty suspicious. Uh, Lemon? They always sleep at night. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Ah, uh ha! Yeah. Violet petal salad, huh? Why, hello there, Miss Meringue. Uh, yes, my favorite. My precious violets. Lunch! Mr. Longface, how could you? Oh, but they're not your violets. <laughs> I weeded and watered and worked for weeks growing my... They're not? Oh, no. I grew them myself. I'm afraid they're not fine enough to enter into the festival, uh, but good enough to eat. Huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Longface. Strawberry, it's just I can't get over this bad feeling I have from hurting Mr. Longface's feelings. And after you warned me, too. I know. Sometimes it's hard not to jump to conclusions. I won't do it again. I want to get all the facts. That's what we're going to get. Yep. Ready for Catch a Thief Camp Out. This is going to be so scary. I can't wait. <laughs>
them. <laughs> Popcake's the thief? <sighs> it's always the cute ones. Funny. He's too small to be the thief. Not to mention too nice. So let's, you know, check the pictures? <laughs> <laughs> nice! <laughs> There's a great one. <laughs> Ew, look at me. You? <laughs> look at me. Hey, Lemon, this shot of your violets came out great. Nice one, Strawberry. Thanks. Hey, everybody, come here. Look at this. What? what? What is that? I don't know. But whatever it was, from the angle of the photo, it was right over... there. Come on, Lemon. You want to check it out, don't you? Uh, uh-huh. Sure. Oh, shh. Very quiet. Very quiet. Shh. Careful. <gasps> ah! Do you see it? Yeah. There it is. Oh, oh, maybe we better run! Now, don't be scared. There's one of it. Six of us. Yeah, but f f five of us are frozen in fear. I told Princess Berry, can we get to the bottom of this? And we're going to do it. Right now! <gasps> huh? Just shadows. Ugh, I should have guessed. Like when we think we see animals in the clouds. So, um, now what do we do? I know what I'm gonna do. You're coming home with me where you'll be safe. <laughs> festival instead. Guys, I'm telling you, it's like something was under the ground. Things were going up and going down and sideways and forwards and shaking. It was like the end of the world. The end of the world? Not the end of the world. Close to the end of the world? No. The day before the end of the world, when it's getting into the part where all life as we know it ceases to lum. Huh? Oh, oh no! no. See? Oh, no. I, I just don't... Oh. Calm. Calm, everyone, please. It is something <gasps> under the ground. Over there! That's where the garden is! Come on! Look! More of Bear Can Bloom's roses are missing! Oh, he'll be so upset! I calculated that three of mine are gone. Two left here. Good thing I moved my best violet inside. There's only four violet plants left out here. I could be wrong, but I'm thinking the missing flowers and the ground shaking have something to do with each other. Whoa! Did you see that? Uh, how could... How... How did... Look! I'm coming to the conclusion that the flowers are not being picked up. Yeah, they're being pulled down! <gasps> Grab it! Shine some light on this mystery. Okay, Strawberry, if you say so. Monster? Why did he have to say that? 
Our sure first prize with somebody. <laughs> Just my luck, it's a gopher. Wait, it's cute and all, but what will we tell Princess Barrican? With this critter around, we won't have any more flower festivals. Or flowers, for that matter. I think I have an idea. You don't have any flowers to enter in the festival. <sighs> so do I. Can I help you with that, Mr. Bloom? Hello, Lemon. Uh, thank you. Mr. Bloom, I wanted to say I'm sorry about... Well, you see, I thought maybe you took my violets because you wanted to win. Oh, Lemon. In my heart. Oh, I knew you'd never do something like that, but somehow I let myself think it before I found out the truth. Will you forgive me? Of course, Lemon. You know, I do want to win. But what fun would it be if I was the only one in the contest? I heard how you gave up the flowers you loved best. By doing that, you saved mine and all of the rest. Thanks. And good luck. I hope you win. Thank you, Lemon. And second prize goes to Barrican Bloom for his lovely roses. Second prize? He didn't win first prize? I can't believe it. I think his roses are the nicest. And now, the first prize for the most beautiful flowers in Berry Bitty City. The first prize goes to Lemon Moran. Yeah! Congratulations, Lemon! Congratulations, Lemon. Your violets really were first prize. But I didn't even enter a flower. Strawberry entered it for you. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Strawberry! You're very welcome, Lemon. But it was Berry Can Bloom's idea.
Strange. You'll see. There. There you go, Orange. Thanks, Raspberry. It's perfect. But I still don't understand what it's for. This! <laughs> No standing on each other's shoulders rule. I know what it needs. <laughs> hey, Orange. That's not fair. <laughs> Wait, can you do that? There's no rule against it. In fact, I haven't made up any rules yet. <laughs> is no match for two birds. Orange, what do you call it? Uh, I don't know. It's a ball stuffed with dandelion fluff. So how about we call it Dandy Ball? Yes, <laughs> Dandy Ball. Great. <laughs> Way to go, Orange. Great idea. I love it. <laughs> Ever so carefully, the little berry can tiptoe up the stairs of the cat. <laughs> time in here this morning? Sure, but it's such a beautiful day outside. It's, um, a little busy outside. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't imagine a more perfect day for a needle-pointing picnic. <laughs> you needle pointing today? Well, we got so caught up in the excitement of Dandy Ball. So, we thought maybe we'd finish our picnic in here. <laughs> so, you know, we won't get distracted. <laughs> Hi, Plum. Hi, 
my strawberry. I was wondering if I could ask a favor. Of course. What do you need? I need some help clearing part of the meadow. Sure. I'd be glad to help. Huh? So, what are we clearing this for, Plum? So I'll have space to use for my dance recital. Wait a minute. I thought the dance recital was going to be near the gazebo. It was. But with Dandy Ball being so popular, I thought it'd be easier to just move. Hmm. There's plenty of room outside for everyone. Dandy Ball shouldn't be getting in anybody's way. And there should be plenty of room to play Dandy Ball, too. Right! Everyone should be able to enjoy themselves and the outdoors with just a bit of planning. Oh, yeah, yeah of course! Right. Yes. Good idea! So, who should do the planning? I'd volunteer, but I have to finish the costumes for Plum's recital first. That's right! Hmm. And I need to practice. Who would be good? Well, since I was the one who sort of got the ball rolling... Make that floating. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should be the one to figure out a way to keep things fair for everybody. Maybe I could figure out, oh, I don't know, some sort of schedule. Oh, what about lemon? Me? <laughs> yeah! You schedule appointments all day, and the problem here seems to be all about scheduling. Huh. I guess it is about scheduling. Okay, I'll give it a try. Is that okay with you, Orange? You did volunteer first. Oh, no problem. I think Raspberry's right. Lemon will do a really good job. Besides, I'm pretty busy with my store right now. And with the new game, I've kind of gotten behind. I'll see you later. Okay, Orange. See you later. Once upon a time, there was a big baby berrykin who loved to do somersaults. Mmm, I love that story. What's going on? How come everyone is just standing around? We're waiting for Blueberry's hour to be up so we can play again. Oh. Where is Blueberry? Oh, she finished a while ago and went back to her store. So why don't you just go ahead and play? Lemon schedule says we can't until Blueberry's hour is up. But that doesn't make... This doesn't seem quite right. Hi, everyone. Oh, hi, Strawberry. Hey, hey Strawberry. Strawberry. Is Lemon around? Huh? Hi, Lemon. How's it going? Oh, fine, fine. Almost got this worked out, I think. One hour for watering plants, one for tasting jam. You know, Lemon, maybe an hour is too long for some activities and too short for some others. Huh? What do you mean? Well, I didn't need a whole hour to read to the Berrykins. And the Berrykins needed more than an hour to play dandy ball. Gee, I hadn't thought of it that way. I'm used to making salon appointments by the hour. I know I can figure this out, but it's taking forever. I don't have any time to do my hair appointments. Maybe someone else could take over while I get caught up? Well, I'm pretty busy, but I suppose... Oh, oh, you know who'd be good at this? Blueberry! Plum's right! Me? Well, yeah, now that I think about it. Research, detail, figuring out numbers. Those are things you're really good at. Well, I do enjoy those things. Okay, I'll do my very best. Oh, thank you. This is great. Here, I'll help you move all the papers. Are you okay with Blueberry taking over the scheduling? Oh, sure. It's the kind of thing she's good at. She's bound to figure out what's best for everyone. Ooh, I still have lots to do in the store. Better get back to it. Bye. Bye, Orange. Hmm. Aha! Just as I thought. Yay! 
Yes, I think that's it. The longitudinal lines have days of the week. Rectangles represent dandy ball. Here's quilting a square. Story time for the baby barricans is a hexagon. Plum's dance recitals are circles. The book fair, two squares. Well, now that takes care of 9 o'clock Tuesday morning. Now on to Wednesday. Uh, hang on. This is Monday. Uh, hang on. Uh, <laughs> well, um, that concludes the presentation portion of my, um, presentation. But I made a copy of everyone's schedules in handy pocket size, so you can always carry it around. Here you go. This is for you. Here's yours. Uh, here you are. Here you go. This is yours. One for you and one for you. And... Well, this is really great, Blueberry. Lots of, um, details. And so thorough. But I don't mind telling you, figuring this out was a bit more complicated than I thought. I'm sure it'll work out just fine once everyone gets the hang of it. <gasps> What's going on? It's supposed to be my turn for the book fair. I thought I got to have my gymnastics class now. But they all think they get to do their activities now. Oh, oh. My turn! Not fair! It says right here that... I checked twice. I know it's my turn. Wait, wait. Oh. Hang on. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, it's here somewhere. <laughs> That's not it. Aha! The outdoors gets used now for... Jadybug's surprise birthday party. My birthday isn't for two more months. Wait, what surprise party? I know it's here. I just saw it. I'm sorry, everyone. Listen, we all like dandy ball, right? So for now, let's all play. And I'll try to figure out a better schedule. <laughs> Why not? Okay, dokey. Might as well. Lovely idea. Yeah, 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 wow, this was trickier than I thought. I think I can straighten out the rest of the day. But maybe one of you could give it a try after that. How about you, Raspberry? Oh, well, I'd be happy to try, but I think the perfect person is... You, Strawberry! After all, you schedule activities in the cafe. Maybe, but I wonder if Orange shouldn't give it a try first. Huh. Orange? Sure. Why not? Oh, no, 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 no. It's not that we don't think she can do it. Oh, no. I mean, she's great at thinking fast. Excellent. But sometimes she kind of... Uh, jumps into things? Yeah. And she's never had to do this kind of planning before. None of us have had to do this kind of planning before. I think if we give Orange a chance, she'll surprise everyone, including herself. Hey everyone! What's going on? Well, Strawberry had this idea. And we wanted to know what you think of it. Her idea is that maybe you should try to organize the outdoor areas. I don't know if I would be good at that kind of thing. Planning, organizing, scheduling. And I really do have a lot of work in the store right now. What work do you have to do, Orange? Well, I have to keep track of what people have bought so that I know what I have to reorder. I have to figure out where to put everything I've ordered once it comes in. And I have to put everything in its special place on the shelf so that everyone can find what they're looking for. Then I have to do my weekly calendar, you know, where I schedule which days I clean the store, which days I stock the shelves. Sounds like a lot of planning, organizing, and scheduling. Oh, it is. That's why I don't have much time to... What are you all smiling about? Because everything you just said is about planning and organizing and scheduling. Exactly the kind of planning, organizing, and scheduling the community areas need. And I should know. Oh, hi, everyone. Oh, this seemed like a pretty big job at first. But I realized it was just like working in my store. I had to start with one activity, then move on to the others. But why didn't I think of that? So I broke it into smaller jobs. And the first job was to organize the game of Dandy Ball. Of course. That makes so much sense. So I set up six teams. Everyone can sign up to be on a team over there. 
I'm gonna be on the orange team, naturally. <laughs> I figured out how long it usually takes to play one game, then added how many games we have to play a week to finish a month-long season. So, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are dandy ball days. I worked out the whole season. There's even a championship! Oh, yay! <laughs> Once I had the game figured out, I was able to fit everything else into the rest of the week. <laughs> Here's Raspberry's fashion show. Oh, that's perfect. Two hours is just the right amount of time I need to set up. And these are perfect times for story reading. The baby bearkins are awake. All my gymnastics classes are scheduled for when the breeze is nice and cool. And here are the smaller versions of the schedule. Wow, Orange, it looks like you thought of everything. We wish we could have been more helpful. You can be. There are a few things we could still use. Oh, hey! <gasps> Those teams will need uniforms. I can definitely design them. And Dandy Ball should have a rule book. I've always wanted to write an official rule book. Oh, the team should have someone to cheer them on. I'll go work up some cheerleading routines. Oh, wow, Orange. I'm so sorry we ever questioned whether you could do this. I questioned it, too. It was Strawberry who got me to realize I could do it. The only way to find out what you can do well is to give it a try. Or to find out what you don't do so well. <laughs> <laughs> Do, 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 do. Orange, wait up! Oh, you were amazing! I'm just glad I could help. That's why I wanted to talk to you. Maybe you could help me reorganize the post office. Sure, Jadybug. I'd be glad to. Orange, I need to ask a favor. Certainly, Princess. What can I do for you? I wonder if you could help get the berry works to run a bit more smoothly. I'll certainly give it a try. Right after I help Jadybug with the post office. There you are. I've been trying to come up with a better way to sort all the books in my store. Maybe you could... Help you organize? Sure. Right after I help Jadybug and Princess Berry. <laughs> I mean, right after one more game of Dandy Ball. Come on! Strawberry shortcake. What are you up to today? I'm creating ways to make flowers different sizes, both very big and very small. Even if you don't have a whole lot of room, you can still have plenty of flowers in bloom. <laughs> That's a very clever idea. Strawberry? It certainly is a fine morning to enjoy the flowers. Oh, well, I'm not just enjoying them. I'm going to make a new perfume with pieces of the petals. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. But it's going to be part of...
part of my new spring fashion line. My very best ever! So I want it to be really super special. Well, with all these flowers to choose from, you should have something really special in no time. Goodbye! I can see halfway 
to the fairy works from here. Thanks to Raspberry. This is a tight fit. Oh, my. I guess you can't work in the berry works or start any jam until you're all back to normal size. What is going on? How did the berry cans get so big? Raspberry, did you see what's happened to the berry cans? <laughs> Say, is anyone else a little chilly? Brr, we should go inside. <gasps> Sorry, Raspberry. Here's your perfume that made us bigger. Thanks! Uh, <laughs> about that. <laughs> Funny story. Done this somehow. So that's what happened. I don't know why the perfume makes things grow. It just does. That doesn't make sense. Perfume doesn't make things grow. <gasps> Berry can bloom. What about him? He was working on a spray to make flowers bigger, right near where you were gathering petals for your perfume. And it was pretty windy. Strawberry. My special spray somehow got away. We think we figured out how. Somehow, your growth spray got into my perfume. And when I sprayed it on the berrykins... You sprayed it on the berrykins? Well, yes. I was having trouble making waders that were so small, so... But, Raspberry, did you think how you were going to make the berrykins small again? Well, I thought they might like being big... Oh. Uh, hmm. Uh, Berry can bloom. You have another spray to make flowers smaller, right? I do, indeed. For whatever size you need. So maybe if Raspberry makes more perfume and you mix it in with the other spray... But why does you need to mix it with my perfume? My spray doesn't work that way. It takes more time. So something about the perfume must have caused the change when it was mixed with Berry Can Bloom spray. Then it's up to you two. We need you to mix some special perfume. <laughs> I'm just about done here, Berry Can Bloom. Let's go! you used this morning? No. That one is over... here. <gasps> oh, very good sparkles. Well, I don't see anything. Too small for you to see, but not for me. Oh, so it wasn't just your growth spray and my perfume, but the sparkles too? <gasps> it's a good thing you're so small, or we'd never have figured that out. Sparkles I can make. I don't know how many it will take. This time for sure. on a hat. 
but it might be best to try another test. Oh, we did it, we did it! Bake and Bloom and I found a way to shrink the barricades back to normal! That's terrific! Great news! We knew you could do it! Way to go, Raspberry! Yay, Raspberry! <laughs> 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 We need lots of sparkles. to match the right kinds of sparkles. Let's try again. This time, blue goes first. Uh, you might want to sort of duck. small enough to run the berry works. You know, you're right. Just show me what to do. I helped cause this problem. Now I'm gonna help fix it. I'll help too. Me too. Me too. Let's go, girls. All right. Raspberry, we're going to need more of your perfume. Uh, but the princess needs me to help run the berry works. And besides, I'm much too small to reach any of the flowers. That's not so. Even though we're bitty, we can do big things! Especially if some of the berrykins reach the flowers for you. Oh, I just thought of something. While we're running the berry works, who's gonna run our shops? Fruit salad, coming up as soon as I figure out how to make it. Hmm. Uh. Where's my waffle? Two cups of tea on table five. Here's the waffle for us at table four. Why well, make a waffle? Don't ask me. I've never cooked before. Neither am I. Not in place. Look at all of these. What do we do? Where are they supposed to go? I know. We'll sort him by color. He's right. Dips on green. What a great idea. So, what do we do? Whatever the Barricans used to do. Come on. Mm, that one. I sure wish we could do it the way the Barricans do it. They make it look so easy. But it's not.
me. You're glad to be little again? It was fun to be tall, but we're more used to small. <sighs> I should have realized you were just fine the way you were. I'm sorry I tried to change you just to make things easier for me. Oh, I ended up making things awful for all of Berry Bitty City. And now we'll mix another batch to change you and your friends back to normal. <gasps> the Barricans are back! Phew! And back! you make more waiters. Thanks! 
up. It's locked. Oh, goodness. I made us late and now Mr. Longface has locked us out. I don't think he'd do that to us just for being late. Who? Oh. Plum? Raspberry, could you please give me a leg up? Sure thing. Here you go. Oh, no, this won't do at all. A little longer there. Oh, that's wrong. Well, he's in there. What's he doing? Um, excuse me, Mr. Logface! Uh, oh! Okay, down, please. Uh, uh, uh. I have to apologize, Mr. Longface. It's my fault. We were late to your opening. Oh, the apology is mine, Miss Meringue. Uh, the opening of my croquet country club is, in fact, well, not opening. Not opening? Why? Oh, it has been postponed due, I am ashamed to say, to an unsatisfactorily trimmed lawn. Shameful. Perfectly shameful, isn't it? Looks very nice to me. Yeah, yeah so it's nice. nice. Really good. Uh, how do you play? This looks like fun. Can I be blue? How do we start? We each take turns hitting our balls through those wires called wickets. But it's not level. Oh, why, if one was to send a ball rolling across something as rough as that, oh, oh, there's, there's no telling where it would end up. Oh, I'm sorry, my friends, but I'm ashamed to say that I won't be ready to open until later. We'd be happy to help you trim the grass. Yeah, I'm pretty good with a pair of scissors. Yeah, yeah we're we're all all right. sure. Oh, thank you, everyone. <laughs> but help is on the way. <gasps> oh, hello. Friend Berrikins, and thank you for coming to my rescue. Hey, no problem. Get your service. Let's get to work. Well, Lemon, we weren't late after all. Only because the opening is postponed. Nah. It would have been okay. Yeah, it's okay, Lemon. Hey, how about we all go for a picnic at the pond? Yeah. I love this yeah. beautiful yeah. day. Oh. <laughs> 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 Lemon? Thanks, Strawberry, but I think I have some work to do in my salon. <laughs> but all your customers are going on a picnic. There isn't anyone who needs a makeover. My salon needs a makeover. I want to fix it up so that everything runs a little smoother, so I can do everyone's hair faster. Okay, I'll save a sandwich for you. Thanks, Strawberry. like magic, pedicures perfectly, styles hair faster than you've ever seen before. Your customers will love you. But what kind of surprise? I don't know, Raspberry. Lemon just called and said to bring everyone over for a reopening of her beauty salon. Reopening? What does she mean? Ta-da! Welcome to Lemon's new salon, where you're in and out then you can say hi and goodbye. Wow! Uh, what is it? This is the all-new Solanomatic. Manicures like magic, pedicures perfectly, styles hair faster than you've ever seen before. So, who will be first? Well, I guess, uh, sure. I'll give it a try. Okay, just, that's right, sit down here. Uh, what do I do? Not a thing. The Solanomatic does it all. Huh? <gasps> Welcome to the Solanomatic. In just a few short seconds, a new do for a new you. Exactly the way you do it. Thank you. 
you. Oh, this new invention thing is great! Where'd you get it? I just called this number. Who's next? Oh, me! 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 me, me, me. Incredible. Even the syrup drips are the same. Amazing. They're all identical. All thanks to the Wonder Waffler, the cook's fastest friend. Wow. Where'd you get it? Same place Lemon got her salon matic Guess what I'm doing right now. Oh, oh hi, hi, Barry. What are you doing right now? Um, standing? Uh, spending quality time with your talented and charming friends. Mm, having a waffle. Thank you. Yes, I'm doing all those things. As well as... I'm cleaning my bookstore. Oh, like, uh, this afternoon? No, right now. <laughs> my new automatic clean-o-matic does it while I'm away. Keeps my bookstore nice and shiny. I don't have to do a thing. Which gives me time to catch up on writing all my book reviews. Ooh, when can I borrow it? Anytime. Excuse me, girls. Hello? Hi, Lemon. Oh, we're all over here at Blueberry's watching her new clean o -matic. Hey, does anybody need a, a, you know, trim, a manicure, anything? Trim? A uh, manicure? Uh, hi, Lemon. Uh, no, nope. we're good. Thanks, lemon. Nope, we're good. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, well then, uh, bye, I guess. See how you're enjoying your time off. Well, it's nice, but actually, I feel like there isn't a lot to do here, and I'd like to be useful. Is there anything I could do at the cafe to help you? Of course. <laughs> Guess what I'm doing right now? Uh, drinking a smoothie and. <laughs> Don't tell me. I'm cleaning my store. <laughs> Can I borrow the cleanomatic next? Of course! Well, how are the smoothies? Mmm. Delicious! What do you think? Yum! Mmm! Mm. Alive with fruit flavor. <laughs> Lemon's a natural. Oh, I think I like the way you make them better, Strawberry. Well, with practice, I'm sure you'll make them the same way I do, in no time. That's really sweet, but I don't want to make you spend time teaching me to do something you can do yourself. I'm not sure cafe work is for me. The Bitty City Bop is all about... Uh, your feet? The beat. Oh, yeah. The... the beat. And step to the left, and forward, and three steps. Oh, I mean to the right. Oops. Ouch. Oh, I meant left. <sighs> you were great, Lemon. Oh, let's take five. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Plum. You're so nice to hire me to teach, but honestly, you do this better than anyone. And we don't really need two dance teachers. Are you sure? I'm sure. <laughs> Sure, but I don't think you really need my help. What do you mean? Well, Orange, I mean, how many times can we re-alphabetize these cans? Uh, but... I just want to make a special contribution, like I used to. Doing something that I have fun at. The way I did with hairstyling. Hmm. Well, you've had so many great ideas about how to reorganize my store. I was thinking... Yes? Why not come up with an idea for a fun new business? Start a new business? Oh, I can't do that. Sure you can. Lemon Meringue's Fairy Boat is open for business. 
Christmas. <laughs> step right aboard. There you go. Oh, watch your step, please. Another picnic? Sure. We decided to have picnics across the lake every day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Great, but three days in a row? Well, sure. Why not? You're all doing this just for me, aren't you? Us? We? Uh, oh, we wanted to support your new fairy. It's such a great idea. Uh, such a great service. Oh, thank you, but not a very much needed service. Hello, Now remember, it's not a picnic, it's bird watching today. Got it. Closed for the season? Oh no. But Lemon, we all want you here. We need you here. What's Big Bitty City got that we don't have? Something for me to do where I can have fun and be useful. Oh. Thanks for caring. But don't look so sad. I'll come back and visit. A lot. Promise. Come on. I have an idea. You want us to put honey in our hair? But... How's that gonna keep Lemon from leaving? Watch. Ah! Oh, no! Lemon! You can't leave! Huh? Why not? Look what the salon did to us! Oh no! Quick! Back to the salon! I'm not sure what Strawberry will think of this plan. Even do anything. What a bust. Boy, it sure is a good thing we caught you in time. Can you help us? At your service. But are you sure you can't join us? Uh, just for lunch. Everyone misses you very, very much. Oh, thank you, Miss Shortcake, but every hour I'm not preparing the lawn is another hour my grand opening is delayed. Oh, that looks wonderful! Oh, what would we have done without you? Thank you, Lemon! You're our hero! Magazine? Oh, how did these get here? Uh, um, how did we get where? We just wanted you to stay. <gasps> but it's important the lawn is level. Isn't the important thing that we all have fun together and enjoy each other's company? A nice boat ride. Oh, a nice picnic lunch. I'm sure it would mean a lot to Lemon. Oh, well, I... Uh... I didn't think of it that way. I wouldn't want to let Miss Meringue down, but my lawn. Mr. Longface, we want you back. You are so much more important to Berry Bitty City than this lawn. Am I? Of course. Don't you know that? Oh, uh, can you excuse me? There's something I need to tell someone. Hmm. I'm more important to Berry Bitty City than you. <laughs> I know, and I appreciate what you're trying to do. Please, girls, I'm gonna miss the bus. Good. What's happening? Strawberry! She's moving! Please stop her, Strawberry! Don't let her leave. Lemon, you're leaving? Oh, Strawberry, I just feel there's no need for me to stay in Berry Bitty City. 
Not unless I can do something useful, something that everyone needs. I'll tell you what we need. Someone to take care of the complaints about this machine. What complaints? Oh, where do I begin? One, the machine is lousy at conversation. And boy, is it useless at giving advice. Two, it doesn't tell you how nice you look or offer any fashion hints. Three, it won't laugh at any of our jokes. Four, it doesn't fit in a sleeping bag for sleepovers. And it won't even respond when you send it an invitation. How rude. Five, it doesn't have a shoulder to cry on. And six, and this is by far the worst, it never hugs. Yes, yeah, that's, that's right. right. Uh -huh. We love you for who you are as a person and friend, Lemon. And that machine can never be any of those things. I sent back my Wonder Waffler. Too perfect. There just wasn't the individual touch of the cook. Does this mean I have to send back my Cleanomatic? It hasn't cleaned the dance studio yet. We don't have to send the Cleanomatic back. What I'm trying to say is, oh, Lemon, will you please stay with us? Yeah! Ah, Miss Shortcake, you're right. I've been neglecting you all. Miss Meringue, oh, I'm sorry I never visited your fairy. How can I make it up to you? Well, could you help us push the salon matic over to the post office? I'm sending it back. At your service. Oh, no! Sorry, Mr. Longface. Not at all, Miss Meringue. Your machine has trimmed the grass to perfection. Oh, I hereby declare Mr. Longface's croquet club open for business. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Meringue, oh, would it be too much to ask? It's all yours, Mr. Longface. Splendid! Would you do the honor of hitting the first official ball? My pleasure.
Oh my goodness, this is the greatest thing ever. It is the greatest thing I've ever seen. And here you go, Lemon. And thank you for the wonderful Glamacure. <sighs> this is the greatest beautification success I've ever had. Mr. Longface. Something. It would hurt her feelings to learn the truth. I'm not going to be the one to tell her. If she found out that we don't like her glamicures, well, she... she... <gasps> she might stop giving manicures altogether. Why, she might even stop giving hair stylings. And she might not speak to us ever again. She might close the salon and move away. And it'd be our fault for being so cruel. You're right. Strawberry would never do something like that. She's too considerate. Yeah, yeah that's true. Right. She's really nice about things like this. I 
take back what I said about telling Lemon. I would go to the ends of the Earth rather than hurt her feelings. I would go beyond the ends of the Earth. Well, I would... Uh, I would... I would put up with my glamour forever. Us too. Well, then it's decided. We'll never tell Lemon her glamour cures are driving us crazy. Right! It's a really simple step, Orange. Just do exactly what I do. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, three. One, two, three. Four, one, three. Two, seven, eight. Nine! Isn't the signal for nap time? Nothing is. Huh? What? Oh. Could they be? Who are you looking for, Lemon? Oh, raspberry and orange. They were supposed to meet me for a picnic, but they haven't shown. That's odd. I wonder what happened. It seems as if Blueberry and Plum have been avoiding me, too. I wonder if they're mad at me. Mad at you? Maybe I did something wrong, or maybe they just don't like me anymore. I don't see how anyone couldn't like you. I know. How about if I do my pruning later, and I'll picnic with you? Oh, Strawberry, thank you. And then, when we're done, you could go by the other girls' places and ask them if everything's okay. Ask them? Oh, oh my, no. I couldn't do that. I know it's scary sometimes to ask difficult questions, but wouldn't you rather know the truth than imagine bad things? Oh, but what if the truth is something just... Terrible! Could it be more terrible than what you're already afraid of? Maybe they don't like me anymore? Well, uh, I guess you have a point. What if you ask them for me? Uh, I think it's better coming from you. More direct, you know? But I'll be happy to go with you if you'd like. I'll think about it. After our picnic. Sounds good. <laughs> Strawberry had the same idea. <laughs> Gardening gloves. That's good. But isn't she afraid Lemon will catch on? Oh, oh, looks like she's taking them off. Oh, poor Strawberry. Such a kind soul to picnic with Lemon and endure that music. Oh, I feel so bad avoiding Lemon's invitation for a picnic. Uh, me too. But I just couldn't bear to listen to my glamicure. Be strong. We made a vow to live with our glamicures and not tell Lemon. No matter how tired we are, no matter how many picnics we have to miss. Deal? Deal. You're right, Strawberry. I have to talk to my friends. And now's as good a time as any. But you'll come along, right? Sure. Everything's, you know, okay. Okay? Well, sure. What wouldn't be okay? Everything's just great. Oh, sorry about the picnic. Just got so busy in the store. Oh, I see. That's fine. Strawberry, join me. Uh, so is your glamicure working okay? Okay? Well, sure. Lights nice and bright? So bright, you almost need sunglasses. <laughs> oh, good. Plenty of music? Ooh, morning, noon, and night. <laughs> well, thanks. I just wanted to see if everything was okay. As okay as an O and a K can be. Oh. Big 
Mission. Adventure. Cookbook. Hi, Blueberry. Hi. Oh, uh, hi. Um, is this a bad time? Is everything okay, Blueberry? Okay? I uh, couldn't be better. Why, I was just sorting books to the tune of my Glamacure. <laughs> See? Oh, good. I was just, well, I haven't seen you in a couple of days. I just wanted to make sure I didn't do anything to, well, you know, bother you? Bother me? Why, no, no! Okay, that's good. Well, I'll see you around then. Nice to see you, Lemon! Strawberry! <sighs> that was close. Bosley! <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my. Hi, Raspberry. What are you sewing? Oh. Everything okay, Raspberry? What are you making? Oh, just stuff. You know, stuff. Just, uh, trying my new over, under, through, and back stitch. <laughs> Did I mention how much I love my glamicure? Thanks, Plum. See you later. You were right. Everything is fine. I think. You think? Well, everyone said so, but I had a teeny tiny feeling that maybe something wasn't right. Huh. Oh well, it must have just been me. I guess. I'm just glad that you spoke to everyone. That took courage, Lemon. Thanks. Yeah, I do feel better. I guess. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Poor things. I'm sure you're wondering why I asked you here. I need your help with something. <gasps> Strawberry? Where'd they go? What happened to your Glamicure? Oh, it wasn't working out for me. It was a little too bright and distracting. <gasps> I know! I can't dance with it. I can't stack my shelves. I can't sleep. And it clashes with everything I wear. How did you get rid of it? We tried everything. Soap and water, ketchup and peanut butter. How'd, How'd you, you do, do it? it? I just told Lemon how I felt, and she removed it. You told her? But, 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 is she all right? Uh, did it break her heart? Oh, Strawberry, how could you? I just figured that part of being a good friend is having the courage to give constructive criticism. You know, telling them the truth about something so they can do better the next time. And the other part is taking that criticism in a friendly way, <laughs> which Lemon did. She's fine. Oh, it was driving me crazy. I couldn't think straight. I wanted to hide my head under a pillow. I tried that. It didn't work. But we've been putting up with it because, well, so we wouldn't have to tell Lemon. We kind of avoided it. Completely. We even kind of avoided Lemon. I know. She told me. She was worried you might be upset with her. Oh, no. That's just awful. Poor Lemon. And she even dropped by today to make sure everything was okay between us. And I didn't tell her the truth. Well, there's only one thing to do. You'll just have to tell her. Could we? We... we won't make her feel... bad? You can't make her feel worse than you did by hiding from her. I guess. Yes, we should. We definitely better. I agree. We really ought to... Tell Lemon the truth! <laughs> so? What are you waiting for? You go. Now you go. After you. No, you. Hi! Wow! Do you all need appointments right now? Come on. It's what friends do. It's the... Uh... The Glamicures. We kind of think they sort of aren't right for us. Not 
right? Stop it! Stop it! Stop! <laughs> You're laughing, but why? <laughs> I never, I never realized how bothersome these glamicures could be. Whew. We didn't hurt your feelings. Well, I'm disappointed they didn't work out, but. I really wish you'd told me sooner. I mean, you're my friends. I'd rather you were honest with me. I'm sorry we weren't. I've got a great idea. New and improved Super Glamicures. Uh, super uh, Glamicures? Really? I don't know. Don't worry. I'll listen to any suggestions you have. Ooh, ooh, controllable colors. And a way to change the tune. Oh, a way to change the beat. A way to turn them off. Yeah. Especially the off switch. It was a dark and not so stormy night. Everything was quiet in the sleepy little town. No one knew it then, but strange things were about to happen. was followed by a bright and not at all stormy day. Using my brilliant brain, I, Patty Persimmon, genius detective, tracked down the suspect. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Looking wonderful, wonderful. Uh, coming along beautifully. A glorious glimmerberry crop this season. My goodness me! How could it? It couldn't! But it is! How peculiar! What a mystery! Raspberry! Blueberry! Orange Blossom! It's time to get going! It's a very beautiful day for a swim! We don't want to miss a minute! What are we fighting yes. for? <laughs> Whoa! Hold on! <laughs> Where's Blueberry? Wherever she is, it isn't here. Come to think of it, she's been missing out on a lot lately. Yeah. I was supposed to have lunch with her yesterday, but she called and postponed it until next week. Same with her haircut appointment. She called and canceled. Huh? Blueberry? Uh, Blueberry? Aha! <laughs> Strawberry, raspberry, come in, come in! Oh! You're just in time to help me with these new books. Happy to help! Books I ordered. Of course, they should go in the mystery section. Then again, I 
could put some under bestseller. Because I know they'll be bestsellers. <sighs> Where are all your other books? No room. I had to move them out. I only have Patty for Simon Mysteries now. It's all I read. <laughs> Blueberry. Mysteries are great, but... You love all sorts of books. You like learning about all kinds of things. But Patty Persimmon Mysteries are the best books I've come across in ages. And she's such a fantastic detective. I wish I could be that smart. <laughs> you are smart, Blueberry. And such a good memory for details. <laughs> well, you could use a little help there, I might say. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> well... You did forget we were all going swimming today, remember? Oh, no. Was that today? Oh, I'm sorry, girls. I'd like to get all these books organized. Perhaps another day, okay? Okay. There's our nature hike tomorrow. I'll be there. You can count on me. It's just today. I'm so busy. Okay. Come on, Raspberry. <laughs> Strawberry, raspberry, come quick, come see. Berry can bloom. What is it? Can't you tell us what's the matter? Oh, if I told you, you'd never believe me. Better you should see with your own eyes. Oh, well, see what? Uh. to that glimmerberry plant. Oh, it's caught a case of the rare, the unusual, the mysterious Platus spotus. What is woozus? Platus spotus. It's a condition which causes the plants to turn plaid and polka dotted. Oh, is it bad? Oh, it's not good. And from a fashion sense, plaid and polka dots, awful. What causes it? That's a mystery. I recall reading somewhere. It's a lack of a certain vitamin. But which one, I can't recall. Does it hurt the berries? Uh, not that I remember, but I don't know for sure. Oh, can, can you do anything? Hmm, well, maybe if I mixed up a batch of extra special vitamin plant food. Why, yes, that's it. Wonderful idea, off I go. Well, guess we'd better get to the pond if we want to go swimming today. Yeah, I guess. Let's make sure we have everything we need for the nature hike. Lunch, check. Binoculars? Check. Guidebooks? Uncheck. Blueberry was supposed to bring them. She forgot to bring them? She forgot to bring herself. Oh, Blueberry. Hmm. Let's swing by and see what's keeping her. Blueberry, did you forget about our nature hike? Gun detecting. Wonder what that means. Blueberry, are you in there? Hello? You there! Blueberry? Detective Blueberry. How do I look? Like... <laughs> Patty Persimmon. Thanks! What are you up to? Wait, don't tell me. Let me figure it out like Patty does. She really knows how to get into the mind of a criminal. Criminal? Mm-hmm. 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 Well, my keen powers of deduction tell me that you're... Going on a nature hike! How'd you guess? It was no guess. I asked myself, why would these girls have butterfly nets and binoculars? What a coincidence! We were just asking ourselves, why don't we have nature guidebooks? What nature guidebooks? The ones you were going to bring? Oops, I think they got boxed up to make room for all the new Patty Persimmon mysteries. Well, are you going to join us for the hike? You might want to change. Oh, girls, I'm sorry. I don't want to hold you up. See, I really need to practice my detecting skills. We have muffins, your favorite blueberry. You do? Oh, no thank you. I don't care for muffins. Huh? Huh? See you later. I'm off to solve another mystery. Uh, isn't it Patty Persimmon who doesn't like muffins? Not Blueberry. I mean, I like Patty 
persimmon books too, but what happened to our friend Blueberry? <sighs> That's the real mystery. If you ask me, Blueberry's getting way carried away with those patty persimmon mysteries. I know. Let's try and find a really new and interesting plant specimen to bring back for her. Something to remind her of her other interests. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! You mean, maybe something like that? What is it? Oh, no! It's called Platus Spotus, <gasps> and it's spreading! Ugh, indeed it is. My extra special vitamin and rich plant food didn't work. Does that mean all the plants could end up like this? I'm afraid that's true. I just don't know what to do. Oh, what if we cleared away the plants that are close so it couldn't spread? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Just might work. <laughs> oh. Thanks, everyone. Break and Bloom says that should take care of the problem. Phew, that sure was a lot of work. And it would have been easier if we had some help from you know who. Yes, I know. Why don't we plan something fun for tomorrow? We deserve it for working so hard. Maybe a big picnic in the meadow. Sounds good. But right now, I need a nap. An all-night nap. <sighs> See you guys in the morning. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well. Blueberry? You there. I'm just about to solve the mystery of why these flowers would want to close up like this. Maybe they feel sad. Maybe they feel embarrassed. Uh, maybe because it's getting dark? And that's what flowers do at night? Aha! Uh -huh. It's because it's getting dark, and that's what flowers do at night. This mystery is solved! Hmm. If you're finished with this mystery, would you have time to solve another? Of course! Really? What is it? No, 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 wait, don't tell me. The mystery of the mysterious mystery. What could it be? Why would a mystery want to be mysterious? What kind of thing would Strawberry find mysterious? Oh, uh, why don't I give you a clue? <gasps> you there! Why do the plants look like this? That's the mystery. Something's making them turn plaid and polka dotted. But I'm sure you can find the answer in one of your books. No, 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 no. I'm going to solve this case the Patty Persimmon way. And she always begins by gathering clues. And then comes the fun part. Fun part? Yes. Getting into the mind of the criminal. Asking herself how a criminal thinks. Hmm. Why would plants want to be polka dot and plaid? Maybe they were bored. Uh... Aha! I know what's wrong with these plants. Someone has been painting them. Why would anybody do that? Exactly! That is what I'm going to find out. I'm going to wait for the criminal to return to the scene of the crime. They always do that, you know. I learned it from Patty Persimmon, genius detective. <sighs> I'll stay out here all night if I have to. Not a thing will escape my keen eye. And the other one, too. even more plaids and polka dots now. Well, hey, maybe Blueberry solved the mystery. Where is she, anyway? She was around here somewhere. <gasps> Blueberry? Uh -huh. Aha! You there! So it was you all along. And you're a criminal accomplice. This case is solved. So, what made you do it? Uh, do what? Paint plaids and spots on the berry plants. Uh, we didn't paint anything. Then what are you doing here in the middle of the night? We came to check on you, to make sure you were okay. Actually, it's morning now. 
Ha! I knew that. I just wanted to see if you knew that I knew. <laughs> you know? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a mystery to solve. Somewhere out here is a master criminal, a fiend with no sense of fashion. Oh, no. What are we going to do about Blueberry? We never see her anymore. And even when she's here, she's not really here. She's pretending to be Patty Persimmon. Yeah, I think I just may have an idea. Now, I'll need everybody's help. So, what do we think? There's another mystery, Blueberry. One that has us all stumped. Well, I am still working on the spotted plaid plant mystery. But I think I can fit another one in. In the multiple mulberries mystery, Patty Persimmon juggled ten cases at the same time and solved them all. She's just so great. So, you there. What's the new mystery? Well, it's sort of a... a missing person case. Aha! Why would a person go missing? As Patty Persimmon would say, time to get a clue or two. This missing person, they haven't been seen recently? You might say that. Aha! I knew it! Now, what is their favorite color? Favorite color? Uh, blue! If it was Wednesday... It is Wednesday. Where might I find this person on a Wednesday? I mean, if they weren't missing. Uh... At the cafe? At book club. Say no more. Your missing person is as good as found. You're probably wondering why I called you here today. Because, uh, we're having book club here today? Besides that, you, uh, figured out who's missing? Aha! Close. It's because I've almost figured out who's missing. Just a few more questions, and this case will be closed like a door slammed in a strong wind. My keen detective mind tells me the answers to those questions are in... this very room! What, uh, sorts of questions? What is this person's favorite food? That'd be... muffins. Aha! Especially blueberry muffins. Aha! What about hobbies? Uh, uh, well, um, uh, oh, she loves to read books. Aha! It's a girl! You said she! I've gathered the clues and I'm putting them together. She likes the color blue and has a suspicious fondness for blueberry muffins. She likes to read books and should be here at book club if she weren't missing. And the only person like that is... Yeah? Well, who is it? Come on, the suspense is too much. The only person like that is... Me. Oh, Wait, I no. think it's you already. You did it, Blueberry. You solved the mystery. So I'm the missing person? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, uh, guess I haven't been around so much lately, huh? And we've been missing you. Come quick, everyone, to the grove! Just look, look, look! Plan to spot us a spread to everything! That does not look good. It's as bad as a curse, and watch this, it gets worse! What happened? Your glimmerberry sparkles didn't stick. Indeed. And if the sparkles do not stick, the glimmerberry cannot be harvested. But if the glimmerberries can't be harvested, oh, there will be no power to run the town. There has to be something we can do. Whatever are we going to do? Maybe Blueberry can help us. Me? You could do some research with your books. I'm very sure you can find a way to stop the Platus Spotus. I can try. <laughs> this book, we need half a smidgen of this. Yes, yes, that's just what it says. And this book says we need a quarter pinch of this. 
Now, let me check my notes. Yes, it says it right there. Page 324. Indeed, it does. And finally, a little dash of this. There, that ought to do it. Oh, I hope this works. Give it a second. I didn't make a good detective anyway. You made a very fine detective, but you make an even better friend. And that's no mystery. <laughs> is where it happens, right here. The whole town's gonna show up right here for the Glimmerberry Gathering. So we want this place spotless. Now, everybody, look lively, look lively. <laughs> Come on, let's move it, move it, move it, folks. I'll get it. You don't need any help. I can do it. Oh, we're working on this together. season of the year. Okay, now, let's make this whole place sparkle. First Frost. <laughs> yes, here it is. It tells all about the first winter in Berry Bitty City. I bet everybody would love to hear it again. I'll read it here in the cafe and invite everyone in Berry Bitty City. Come on, you two can help. What's 
all this? Well, I'm finishing up my winter fashions. It's very beautiful. So original. So one of a kind. Well, thanks. I've been putting my whole heart into this entire collection. <laughs> you outdo yourself every year, Raspberry. I just feel, what's the point of doing something unless it's the best? So, I'm not stopping till I get it totally, completely, absolutely right. Like you said, I really want to make something original, one of a kind, never been seen before. Well, come on, Custard and Pupcake. We better let Raspberry work. Oh, I'm having a reading tonight at the cafe. I'd really like it if you could come. Huh? Oh, oh yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I'll be there. Pupcake. <laughs> Strawberry. In the old days, this was my favorite part of First Frost. This is a very fun time of year, with celebrations and the Glimmerberry Ball and Glimmerberry Gathering. But sometimes, maybe we forget how important it is. That's why we always used to read this book, The Great Glimmerberry Gathering. It tells the story of the very first First Frost. Long ago, when Berry Bitty City was a very bitty place, everyone worked hard to help the new town grow. Together, they planted the seeds that would become the beautiful, bountiful Berry Grove. Oh. But the first winter of that first year was not easy. The weather turned quite cold. Some of the townsfolk were trapped in their houses by snowdrifts, and others had to dig them out. Some townsfolk ran low on food they stored for winters, and others shared what they had. As the days went by, it only grew colder, and colder, and colder still. It looked like the young berry plants might die. That's when the first glimmerberry was carved and made into a beautiful glowing lantern, because it was important to... Wow! They've been carving glimmerberries that long? That's right, for many years. <laughs> I have no idea. Me too. And so today, when we take the carved berries to the I field, never knew there was a, a real reason for it. I thought we did it because it's fun. It is fun, but it's also important because... This year, I'm going to carve the most beautiful berry ever. Of course, we have to remember why we carve the berries. See, in the story, it says... Oh, oh, I'm going to start work on my daring design right now. Oh, me too, me too. But don't you want to hear the rest of it? Oh, yeah, but I really want to get working on some designs. Well, why wait till the last minute? I am going to absolutely outdo myself this year. Great idea. Let's hurry. Time's wasted. Gotta get busy. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. But, um... Oh, I guess they didn't think the story was so important. I'm sorry, Princess Berrykin. Maybe the time wasn't right. But someday, Strawberry, you'll help them see the real reason for the gathering. I know you will. <sighs> hmm. Good. But not good enough. Not original, one of a kind, never been seen before enough. <laughs> Hmm. I'm going to put my whole heart into this one. It's got to be the greatest, most beautiful. Hmm. No, that's not it. Aha! Yes, oh yes, I think I'm on to something. A little bit more here, a little bit less there. That's it! I bet no one has ever seen a design like this before. <laughs> Raspberry? <gasps> what? Is that your Glimmerberry design? No. I mean, me. 
maybe? I mean, I don't know. I mean, why? I was just asking. I didn't see it. Not even for half a second? Well, maybe half a half second, but that's not why I stopped by. <laughs> I just want it to be a surprise. <laughs> I understand. I want my design to be a surprise, too. I just wanted to ask if I could borrow some drawing paper so I can make my Glimmerberry design. I have it in my head, but if I don't draw it soon, it might disappear. <laughs> of course. That's how my idea came to me. It just seemed to magically pop into my head. <laughs> Here you are. Ooh, this one seems pretty good. Nice shape, great size. I think I'll go for it. How about you, Strawberry? Any luck? I'm leaning toward this one. What do you think? It's a beauty, all right. Huh? Hey, Raspberry, have you picked a Glimmerberry to carve for the gathering? Oh, uh, yes, I have. And I better hurry home to carve it right now. <laughs> what was that all about? She wants her berry to be a big surprise. <laughs> Where's everybody going? Over to Strawberries. We're going to show each other our Glimmerberry designs. Are you coming, Raspberry? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm certainly sure not going to show anybody my design until my berry is carved. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love oh, this. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Can I go first? Can I, please? Sure, Plum. Go ahead. It took a while to get it just the way I wanted it. But what do you think? <gasps> it's oh, almost exactly like mine. That's fantastic, Plum. Check this out. I did one sort of like it. Hey, I did too. What do you know? Me too. Wonder how that happened. It happened because Orange copied my drawing. But, but, Raspberry, I haven't even seen your drawing. Uh, well, of course not. Then how could she have copied it? Uh, well, she saw blueberries, and blueberries saw plums, and plums saw lemons, and lemon saw mine. You're just, uh, joking. Right, Raspberry? <laughs> I do not think this is a joke. Now, let's stay calm and figure this out. I worked very hard on that design. I wanted to make something special and totally original for the Glimmerberry Gathering. I put my whole heart into it. I'm sure there's a very simple explanation. Of course there is. Everybody copied me. You can count me out. I'm not going to carve a Glimmerberry this year. But Raspberry, we need you. We can't have the Glimmerberry Gathering unless... Everybody's there. You know, I don't like to say this, but maybe Raspberry's right. Maybe Orange did copy my sketch. I didn't want to say anything either, but I was thinking Lemon might have been copying too. I hate to even think it, but I have a feeling maybe Plum did copy my sketch. Uh, Strawberry? We have a little problem. I'm starting to think that there has been some copying going on. Oh, Plum, really? Blueberry was hanging around my place that day and... I heard that. Am I being accused of copying? Look, I'm just saying... But it was Orange who copied me. I didn't copy anybody. Are you sure it wasn't you who copied me? Now, come on, everybody. Let's not get carried away. Carried away with what? We're talking about copying. Oh, I didn't did copy. It. Girls, who's copying? Girls, who's copying? Who's copying? Who's copying? And one accused the other, and on and on it went, and now no one wants to carve berries. And without everyone cooperating together, well, the gathering just cannot be. Oh, I'm afraid we'll have to cancel the celebration. Thanks, Custard. Oh, Cupcake. I know you want to help, but there's nothing we can do. Won't be needing this anymore. Hey, hold 
on a minute. Oh. oh, oh, now it all makes sense. Now I know exactly what to do. <laughs> meeting, meeting time. Meeting at the cafe. Blueberry, raspberry, orange, lemon, everybody. Come on over as soon as you can. Tell everybody, anybody. Everybody, important meeting right now. What's this all about, Strawberry? Yeah, what's so important we had to run over here? I wanted you to hear the rest of the Glimmerberry Gathering. We never got to finish. But why? There's not going to be a gathering this year. Please, everybody, just stay and listen. When I'm done, I think you'll understand. Custard, the lights. <laughs> When that coldest of cold winters hit Berry Bitty City, the whole community worked hard to save the newly planted grove. But the weather kept growing harsher, and they knew the young plants weren't going to make it. Then, the littlest berrykin had an idea. We can carve out the frozen berries we do have, he said. And we can put glow bugs in them. Why would we do that, the others asked. If we took them to the groves, he explained, they might keep the plants warm. At first, they only laughed at the little berrykin. But then, they understood. It was their only hope. If the plants didn't make it, they'd have no food to eat and no power to run the little city. So they worked together and took the glowing berries into the field. <laughs> and it worked! The plants were saved. But only because every single person in Berry Bitty City brought a lantern to help warm the berry plants. The people of Berry Bitty City saw that they had to depend upon each other, the way they depend on the glimmer berries. And so we celebrate the glimmer berry gathering every winter. Every person in Berry Bitty City carves a frozen <laughs> berry lantern. The whole town comes together and lights their lanterns in a circle. It is a promise everyone makes that the community will come together and help each other in the hard winter days to come. Friends helping friends. And that is what the gathering is really all about. Oh, oh my. I've really been acting so very silly. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. Do you see this? Here. Wait. That's, that's, that's my design. That's right. And I drew one just like it. Hey, me too. So did I. We all did. I think you all saw it when I opened the box, but you didn't realize you'd seen it. That's how you came up with the same design. We all did. Oh, then, then, I accused you all of copying me when you didn't. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you can kind of, sort of, oh, forgive me. Well, sure, Raspberry. If you can forgive me. And me. Me too. I think we all overreacted. Oh, look, everybody. It's getting really frosty outside. I bet the berries are very frozen and perfect for carving. You had better hurry if you're going to get the glimmer berries carved in time. <laughs> Let's do it! Come Let's on! Do it. Come on, everybody! How's this looking? Awesome! How about this one? Looking good, Orange. Uh, you missed a little spot there. Is everybody just about done? Yeah! Oh, give, me another oh, second. Second. Yes. give me another second. I'll let them know it's time. Could you please tell the glow bugs we're ready? Thank you! When things aren't looking up And it seems you're out of luck Just think behind the clouds could be a beautiful
do this tomorrow with the rest of the girls. Yeah. So peaceful, so quiet, so... Ah! <laughs> oh, huh? Rose! Oh, Orange, oh! what's wrong? Some, something touched my foot! An eel! A sea monster! Maybe just a water plant, huh? Kinda cute. Kinda? Aren't those the cutest, fattest, most adorable cheeks you've ever seen? Aw, hey little guy, hey sweetie. Hi there. Don't be scared, are you all by yourself? You're too little to be all alone. Oh, poor little guy. Oh, I'm sure he's fine and, uh, what are you doing? I'm taking him home, but someone's gotta take care of him. Poor little guy, all alone in the big world. Come here, little girl. Orange, wait, we... Come on, little. What? You can trust me. Yeah, I won't hurt you. Huh? Hey. Orange, listen for a sec, okay? I'm listening, I'm listening, but <laughs> he's going to get away. <laughs> hey, that I just asked that you consider something. He might be cute and little now, but he's going to grow. And then he might be harder to take care of. You are most <laughs> you are most likely right, Strawberry. But you always say, even though we're bitty, we're capable of big <laughs> things. <laughs> I mean, someone's got to take care of him. <laughs> hey, where is he? Look, you see? He wants to come home with me. I think I'll name you Butch. Butch? He looks like a butch. He looks like trouble, cute as he is. But it's up to you, Orange. Aw, oh, come on, Strawberry. Don't you trust me? Of course, but... Well, I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna take better care of this fish than any fish has ever been taken care of before. I'm going to feed you and read to you every night. <gasps> oh, I can't wait to read you my favorite stories. And I'll give you a beautiful home where you'll be safe and warm. Oh, I mean cool. <laughs> Just wait till you see. You're going to love it there. What's his name? Stuart. Isn't that the cutest name you ever heard for a fish? Stuart? Where is he, Orange? Oh, look! He's super cute! Hi, Lemon! Hello, Plum! Hi, Raspberry! Hi, Lemon! Oh, what a doll! Where's your fish? You can name him Fish! Or Mush! Or Swish! His name is Todd. I thought it was Stuart. <laughs> Catchy and cute. And dignified to boot. And look what I taught him to do! Strawberry. I have one with pictures. Oh, I love the ones with pictures. Blueberry? Oh, hi, Strawberry. Uh, seen Blueberry? I'm right here. Emergency. Todd sick. I, I need books on fish care, fish diseases, fish cures, fish medicine. Oh, no. What's wrong with him? List the symptoms, please. Well, he has growths. Ugh. 
and lose his tail. This process is called metamorphosis. So, um... So, at least he's not sick. But it might be best to take him back to the stream, huh? What? I, I can't do that. I, I promised to take care of him. But that's when you thought he was a fish. It's just that, well, isn't a frog more than you bargained for? I am not going to turn my back on him just because he switched species. He... Tad can't help it if he's a frog. Okay, ready? And lift! <laughs> there, that's the front panel. Front panel of what, Raspberry? Oh, I didn't show you. You didn't see? Well, here, come here, come over here. <laughs> this is great. I know, I know. You don't have the words. Um, fabulous, maybe? Inspired? Tremendous? Cutting edge? <laughs> See, um, Orange appointed me fashion designer. I'm designing all the outfits for her and Tad. See, next week, she'll ride him in a dressage and jumping show with both of them sporting Raspberry's Frog Forward Fashions. <laughs> Orange says it'll be great publicity. You know, I'll probably, most likely, well, hopefully, well, maybe, you know, have, a, have my own pet apparel line in stores by next fall. Uh-huh. Please, still. I can't tie the bowl, you huh? behave! Oh, no, we do not drink the shampoo! Oh, now, please! <gasps> Quick, close the door! We'll get loose! Orange thinks I'll do great business if I branch out into pet grooming. Huh? And now, some cologne. He's kind of stinky. All right, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Catch him! Dad? I'm sorry, Orange. He looked perfectly adorable. Then something scared him. Maybe he doesn't like Berrylicious Lavender. Maybe the bow's too girly for him. Maybe he doesn't like the color. Or maybe frogs don't wear bows. Huh? Orange, it's just that... I don't think frogs are supposed to be washed. Or dressed up. Maybe it would be best to let him go in the wild. Out there? All alone? Oh, no, 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 no. He, he's much better off with me. Uh, come on, Dad. Uh, thanks, Lemon. Uh, I'll bring him back tomorrow, okay? I'll have a talk with him. He'll be better behaved. Uh, I promise. Can't wait. What is that? I promise, it's not my stomach. We believe you. I have a feeling I know just what it might be. Oh no, Tad doing his night croaking. How can we do our night sleeping? Maybe the croaking is just a stage, and he'll grow out of it. That'll probably be the only thing he doesn't grow out of. Where's Orange? She turned in early. She was tired from chasing Tad around. Come on, girls. Let's think of a way to get him to go to sleep. Uh, hot milk. No, not that. Uh, a uh, blanket. No, never mind. Hmm. Oh, a, a lullaby? Uh, no. Wait, what was that? Uh, a lullaby? Sing a lullaby to a frog. I like it. Good idea. Yeah. Close your eyes, little frog. Time to please stop your croaking. Let 
pleasant dreams, little frog. Won't you finally go to sleep? Huh? Who? What? Is he? Shh, shh, shh. Let's go. Back in five minutes? It's been more like five hours. I wonder where she could be. Ugh, I need to get some light bulbs for my reading lamps. Still closed, huh? She was closed yesterday, too. I want to paint this beautiful tulip in the meadow, but I'm out of brushes. Well, I guess I'll just have to make a sculpture of the tulip instead. I wish you could sculpt me a light bulb. Make sure this end stays shallow enough for Dad to get out. I wouldn't want him to hurt himself having to hop too much. Orange! What are you doing? Building a swimming pool for Tad. Isn't it great? Orange, um, promise to let me use it to teach water ballet classes if I help dig. <gasps> <laughs> well, I gotta admit, Orange, you're sure giving him the best. Everything he needs. <laughs> Mrs. Drewberry came home and discovered the kittens had unraveled her yarn. Oh, excuse me. Strawberry's Cafe, hope you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, my. Yes, right away, Princess Berrykin. I just turned around and see what I found? Our berry juice ruined! I'm very sorry, Princess. I'll talk to Orange. Thank you, Strawberry. And a graceful lift with the left arm. Uh. Please, everyone. This is water ballet, not wood chopping. <laughs> <laughs> and now, everyone, with grace and style, I'd like you to <gasps> look out! Yeah, I think. Uh-huh. Oh, Strawberry. Orange promised to let me use this pool, but every class gets interrupted by Tad. I'll talk to her. I promise. Oh, Strawberry! It's the very I mean, I can't tell you, it, it's... What is it, Raspberry? What's happened? I'm upset! I can see that you are. What upset you? It's all my work! My sewing and stitching and... Your frog forward fashions? Let me guess, Tad didn't like them. No! He loved them so much, he ate them! My goodness! And all Orange said was, he's just a frog. He didn't know what he was doing. That doesn't sound like the Orange we know. No, it sounds like the orange who's got a pet that's become more important to her than, than manners. I'll talk to her. Strawberry! Orange, what's the matter? It's Tad! He's, he's gone! <laughs> Now, don't worry. Everyone's out looking. I'm sure the Berrykins will find him any minute now. He couldn't have gone very far. I did everything I could for him. I kept him cool when he was hot, warm when he was cold, bathed him, sheltered him, rented him. No frog has ever been so loved, and, and, and now he ran away. Huh? <laughs> Orange, I found your pet. Look, there! There he is! Yeah. 
Now he's asleep. <laughs> oh, wake him up! <laughs> um, I don't think that's such a good idea. Hello! Wake up, Froggy! <laughs> Everyone knows you to be so kind and considerate. But I think maybe you've been trying to be so kind and considerate to Tad that you've forgotten about everyone else. But you guys are my friends. My very best friends. I could never forget you. What I mean is, Tad has caused a bit of trouble and... But he doesn't know any better. Exactly. I think being responsible for a pet means taking responsibility for any trouble he causes. Because the pet really doesn't know any better. I know. I need to do a better job of being responsible for Tad. I'm doing everything I can think of. I, I don't know what else to do. Well, maybe the best way to care for Tad is to not care for Tad. What do you mean? Orange? I just don't know if Tad belongs here. Oh, Strawberry, please give him, I mean me, another chance. I promise he'll never be any trouble to anyone in Berry Beauty City again. But how? You'll see. I'll, I'll train him. You said even though we're bitty, we're capable of big things. And I know I can do this. I won't turn my back on my responsibility to Tad. Well... Wow! I've never seen it so neat and tidy in here before. I wanted to do something nice to make it up to you for Tad eating the fashions. Thank you, Orange. Really? It's all mine? I promise Tad will never bother your classes again. Thank you, Orange. I'm hoping the Berrykins will accept some frog rights to make up for all the trouble we caused. Oh! Well... <laughs> Not having much fun, huh, big guy? Yeah. Oh, hi, Strawberry. Hi, Orange. I came to tell you everyone is so pleased about how you apologized for Tad's troubles. <laughs> Everything is back to normal in Berry Bitty City. Oh, that's good. I know it's been difficult, but I know if it meant doing the right thing for Tad, you could do something even more difficult. Of course! I'd do anything for Tad. What is it that's more difficult than all the things I've done so far? I mean, those were big things. What's bigger than that? Letting him go. Oh, Strawberry. Sometimes the very biggest things we have to do are the things we can't even see. Going to think I don't love him? Oh, I'm worried he'll never get over it. Oh, Tad, I know this is difficult. Try to be strong. <gasps> Did you see how happy he was? Yeah, you're right. 
right. He wasn't just happy. He was the happiest I've ever seen him. Oh, and that makes me happy, too. How about a picnic? I think that is a very good idea. <laughs> <laughs> But I must admit, I'm not sure what a Berry Fest princess does. You've got to judge the flower show. Go for that Oh, I have to judge a flower show? I'll be sure not to forget the honey. Got it. You like the carrot? And twirl the Berry Fest princess baton. Really? I have to twirl the Berry Fest princess baton? I'd better practice. Love the buffet. Right, the buffet. Apple the cobbler. Cobbler? Get all the wings! Oh, the Before, after... <sighs> I'm sorry, but I still don't know what my duties are. It's quite simple, actually. Princess Berry King's Bitty Book of Berry Fest Princess Duty says, the princess shall preside over the festivities of Berry Fest. Especially the parade must be the very best. What does that mean exactly? It means you're responsible for getting everything ready. Uh, wait, please. This is a great honor, but I'm not sure I know how to put on a parade. Oh, of course. So silly of me. Here's the things to do list. Thank you. This doesn't look so bad. <gasps> oh, galloping grape leaves. This is a lot to do, Custard. Oh, how am I going to get it all done? Hmm, what would a leader do? I know. She would give tasks to the members of her team. But who's my team? <laughs> my friends, of course. And you know, Custard, they've already said they want to help me. Now, all I have to do is assign some of these tasks. Hello, Blueberry. Hi, Lemon. Oh, Plum, my friend. Would you be able to help me with the parade, please, Orange? Raspberry, could you please help me with something? We'd love to. Oh, I knew they'd help me. See you later, Custard. <laughs> I'm on my way to plan the buffet, but I thought I'd stop by to see how the garland is. Huh? What are you doing? I'm sorting these nut pieces for the squirrels. The real nuts got mixed in with the metal nuts. I want everything in my store organized so I can focus on making the garland like you asked. Maybe sorting nuts should wait till after the parade. I'd be happy to help you then. When the box said mixed nuts, <laughs> they weren't kidding. And just when I have so much work on my hands... You know, that garland is very important to the parade. <gasps> oh, no! Look at the time! Uh, I'm late to pick up the petals for my garlands. Um, Strawberry, could you watch my store for just a few minutes? Uh, sure, Orange. Go ahead. Oh, and if you're bored, feel free to sort the nuts. Orange? Oh, she just ran off on an errand. Say, am I glad to see you, Plum. Have you finished the Berry Can Dance for after the parade? Not yet, but I've decided that Orange and I should perform the Berry Bitty Bunny Hop during the parade. But the Berry Kins have to... Since Orange isn't here, I need you to try out some steps with me. <laughs> I'd love to help Plum, <laughs> but I'm actually in the middle of a sorting project for Orange. Oh, that's okay. You can keep sorting while you hop. Come on, Strawberry! <laughs> now left, right, left, two, three, four. <laughs> Do I want to know? Come on in, Blueberry. We're trying out my parade dance. What do you think? 
borrowed it. Oops. <laughs> That's right. I think I left it in my bedroom somewhere. I'm sure that Plum is sorry, Blueberry. Well, I had to make do with a common, ordinary, everyday pencil. So this just isn't as nice as I'd like it to be. I'd like you to look over the map route and see if it looks too long. Uh, I'm a bit busy right now helping Orange and Plum. Uh, 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 could you please come by the cafe in an hour and I'll look at it then? It'll only take a second or a minute, depending on your speed reading ability. Uh, all right. for this parade. Perhaps I can come back later and help all of you. Or better still, perhaps you three could help each other. Sorry, I'm in over my head. I have this entire map to read you, in pen. And my dance has a hippity right where there should be a hop. And these flowers aren't going to string themselves. <sighs> all right. <laughs> Raspberry? Oh, hi, Strawberry. What's going on? Well, I know you're already helping me on the float, but would you also be able to make me a gown, please? Oh, don't be silly. Of course. I'll design it as soon as I finish these wonderful wings for the butterfly float. Oh, at last, someone is helping me. Thank you. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Oh, <laughs> hi, Lemon. Say, Lemon, could I please hear the music you picked for the parade? That's what I came to talk to you about. Wow, is that the butterfly wing I'll be standing next to? Sure is. You want to hold it? Of course. Um... <laughs> See? A perfect match. <laughs> <laughs> that looks great, girls. But could we please focus on our parade tasks? Say, do you know what would really make this wing spectacular? Rhinestones! I've got a rhinestone fastener at home. I'll just add some sparkles to this, and it'll be much more springtime paradier. Oh, but wait, the wings are supposed to look exactly the same. <sighs> I'm sorry Lemon decided to change your design. Oh, no, no, no. She's so right. They should be sparklier. Hey, you know, I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter glue to my wing, too. <laughs> or maybe a lot. Yes, sparkles would be nice. But don't we have more important things to do right now, Raspberry? Like for the parade? <laughs> oh, no, but making the wings more sparkly is helping the parade. <laughs> right. Then maybe you and Lemon could decorate the wings together. You know, help each other. Speed things up. <laughs> Well, since you're here, you can help me, <laughs> you know, speed things up. I apologize, Raspberry, but I just can't right now. I have a dozen unfinished things to do. Thanks for all your hard work on the float. Gotta go, bye! <sighs> I've tried to be a good leader, Custard, but things haven't gone well. I assigned tasks to my friends and then followed up with them and motivated them, but somehow nothing got finished, Custard. Uh, custard? <laughs> That's exactly right. You got distracted by something, and so did my friends. It's easy to do. I just wish they could be more helpful to each other. It seems like everybody is so stressed. And I don't know how I'm supposed to do each and everything on this list, right down to the last task. Huh? What's this, Custer? Oh, did you find something? Oh, it's the very last task. Oh, no, not another one. It says, I wrote this so fast, I put this task last. But it's rule number one, make the parade fun. <laughs> Everyone knows that. No. Wait, that's what I'm doing wrong. I've assigned so many tasks that no one is having fun. Hmm, maybe I'm expecting too much of everyone. 
From now on, I'll just have to work harder. We like what we do and do what we like. Don't we have a very nice life? Grab some fruit, have some fun. Wait till the work is done. It's time to celebrate, laugh and sing. There's magic in the air. We are the very kids. Decorate carriage. Check. Plan menu. Hmm, check. Baton twirling. Mm, yep. Mm, working on it. <laughs> Strawberry. Huh? I know it's getting late, but this is all the garland I've gotten done so far. Oh, that's fine, Orange. Don't worry. Leave this here and I'll take care of the rest. Thank you very much. Oh, and Orange, keep smiling. Uh, okay. <sighs> Look, Strawberry, I changed the parade route again. I like this one much better. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, just one second, Blueberry. Uh. <gasps> Wait, these posts are in the wrong place. That's the old route. This is the new route. If I'd gotten your map sooner, Blueberry, we could have changed things. But no time now. We'll have to go with your own. But I did this one in ink. Oh, don't be upset. I'll try and move the posts. I want you to be happy. Hey, Blueberry, check out my bunny hop. I made it way better. That's the fifth time you've made it better, Plum. Hey, Strawberry, which huh? of our wings looks prettier? <laughs> Girls, this is a parade, not a competition. It's supposed to be fun. <laughs> they both look fine. See, she likes mine best. Uh-uh, not in a billion trillion years. Oh, oh. Look, Strawberry. I had to make more garland because Blueberry tells me the parade route is now longer. <laughs> what are we supposed to decorate with that? A shoebox? At least I'm doing something useful. Um, can somebody help me, please? Dancing is useful, not when it's too hard to do. I can't possibly learn your new double hoppity in time. It isn't my fault that Lemon took so long choosing the music. Hey, you're hopping on my map! Huh? Whoa. Ow! Would you mind keeping that thing out of my face? Yours is a monstrosity. My map is ruined. Hopping is silly. You're lucky all you have to do is garland. Oh, no. This is no fun. So there. Yeah. Somebody? I gave them so much work, they've forgotten how to be nice to one another. Well, at least one of them has come back to help me. Strawberry, I'm not good with the needle and thread, and this needs some beef. I'll be back in 10 minutes to pick it up. Gotta go. So behind on the music. <gasps> Galloping gooseberries! No princess. She can't be found. <laughs> Have you seen Strawberry? No, but I found her baton in the cafe. She's not in any of the shops. And we've looked everywhere. What if she quit? Why would anyone give up being the very best princess? Well, she did mention having a lot of tasks. Well, I did my task. <sighs> uh, sorta. Yeah, I kind of let her down too, I guess. She asked me to do just one little thing, and I just kept asking her to help me. And I didn't even say please. Girls, I think we all got so wrapped up in our little projects and what we needed that we didn't even pay attention to what Strawberry needed. <laughs> no wonder she took off. If I was her, I'd quit too. 
I was so selfish. She kept asking us to help each other, and instead we were just rude to each other. I was mean, and she only asked us to do one little thing. And I messed it up with my rhinestones. No, no, it was all me with my silly glitter. Trying to have the best wing. Why don't we just help each other out like she asked? <laughs> Here, please take my hanky. Thank you. We're all to blame. And after Strawberry worked so hard. <laughs> what a great leader. Never complained. Always polite. Heart of gold. And she cared so much about us having fun. And now she's left us. <laughs> I can still hear her pleading voice in my memory. <gasps> Please? Wait! That voice is real! <gasps> Look! Up there! <gasps> hey! Over here! Well, we've just got to save her! Come on, everyone! watched you all march here to my rescue. <laughs> I wish you could have seen it. Marching and singing and <laughs> carrying garlands. It looked like a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Once we worked together and were nice to each other. Girls, I was worried for a minute we wouldn't have a parade. But you just gave me the best parade ever. We did? We did! <laughs> Let's be clear about this. Strawberry, it was you who made this parade happen. You never gave up, even when no one was helpful. And we all thank you from the very bottom of our hearts. Oh, you're making me feel like a real princess.
Don't worry. You can do it. Princess Berrykin is always the one to plant the zippy grow geranium seed when the last snow berrykin has melted. I know. Of all the times to be called away by the Biddy Berry Growers Association to Berry Big City. But I'm sure it must have been very urgent. There's no way around it. It's up to you, Berrykin Bloom, to plant the first flower of spring. Mm -hmm. oh. Where's Barry Kin Bloom? There he is! <laughs> Time for the Berry Fest Spring Festival! <laughs> According to my History and Mystery of Berry Bitty City, First edition. There has to be a Berry Fest princess. And Princess Berrykin has been Berry Fest princess since the beginning of the book. So who's gonna do it now? <gasps> the Berry Fest princess has great responsibilities. She must organize and manage and lead the festival. And she must plant the events. Judge all the flowers. Smell all the flowers. Know all about spring. Not to mention the Wanderberry. And of course, she <laughs> must ride in the front of a parade in a beautiful carriage. That's for me. How will we ever choose? Uh, draw straws? A quick game of musical chairs? Find someone with a name that rhymes with drum? It was just a thought. Well, there's only one way to be fair. Berry Bitty City must do something it's never done before. <laughs> Have an election. You know, when I choose someone to work at the post office, they have to show me they can do the job first. Oh, a splendid idea indeed. Let's put the potential candidates through a few tests, huh? Eh? To see if they have what it takes to be very fast princess. Yeah! yeah. The first challenge! The Berry Fest Princess judges the flower contest at the festival. Let's see who knows their flowers. You may proceed. Ah, oh, that's easy. A rose by any other name would still smell as rosy. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> I think I have a double begonia. Don't you mean double pneumonia, Katie Buck? No, no, no. Katie Buck was right the first time. It is a begonia. The flower is a daisy. And you had three slices of cantaloupe at lunch? Uh, you are right. On both counts. <laughs> What do you call a flower that grows in between your nose and your chin? Tulips. Get it? <laughs> Tulips. Oh, good answer. And a lackluster joke. Lackluster? What does that mean? He means not so good. Huh. I thought it was a fabulous joke. Well, everyone has different tastes, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you ate your flower, and you are disqualified. I couldn't help it. I was hungry. I think she ate a honeysuckle. That is correct. <laughs> that is a zinnia, a genus of 20 species of annual and perennial plants of family Asteraceae. Mm, I suppose you are correct. It's a zinnia, at least. Oh, boy, I just don't know. Oh, 
terribly sorry. It was a daffodil. Oh, shucks. No wonder I missed it. Daffodils aren't in fashion this season. With two down, we now move to our final contest. The Berryfest princess must know her way around the berry grove so that she can catch the Wanderberry. She must show enough athletic ability and stamina to lead the parade, and she must show an appreciation for growing things. The final contestants must climb a strawberry plant. Pick a strawberry, climb down, plant the strawberry, and water the strawberry. First two to finish, win! <laughs> On your marks, get set, plant! Huh. Now, which one should I climb? That one looks good, but oh, rather high. What if I fall? Oh, uh, that one's nice, but oh, the berry is so big, I might drop it. Let me see. Oh, here it is. 100 ways to gather strawberries. One, use a basket. Two, use a bigger basket. Three, don't use a basket, but use a chair to climb up and then use a basket. Oh, good climbing, Orange. You're fast. You're doing great, too. <laughs> Thank you. Strawberry, get off your vine! I know, I'll dig the hole first, water it, and then get the strawberry. Nice strawberry you picked, Strawberry. I like yours too. Thank you. Writer. Know any? Don't you worry, soon to be very best princess. I shall take charge and get you the very best. Oh, that's what I'm afraid of. There, all done. That looks great, Lemon. Thanks. Oh, how about my side? Um. <laughs> Aren't I the one who's running for very best princess? I thought she looked kind of familiar. I'll just redraw all of them. You know, Sadie Bug, what I could use more than posters is a speechwriter. And since Blueberry is so good at writing, maybe you could see if she might help. Got it, Berryfest Princess to be. 
I don't know how to say this, but I'm not sure Sadie Bug and I are in agreement on the best way to help you win. Oh, I'm not sure I'm in agreement about any of this. Hey, Blueberry! What, what are, are you, you doing, doing here? here? I asked you first. No, I did. Let's call it a tie. Now, what can I do for you two? You, you have, have to write a speech for my candidate. It would be odd to write a speech for both candidates. And, well, I'm not sure I've decided who I'm going to vote for yet. My candidate's the best. No, mine is. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Stop! You've decided? Well, no, not yet. But my candidate will let you ride with her in the parade. Uh, so will mine, right up in the front. Don't worry, I'll let you know when I decide. Right in the very front. Like, you couldn't ride in a better place. Yeah. What am I gonna do about this? Strawberry! What's the matter, Blueberry? Who do I write a speech for, Strawberry? You, Orange? I love you both. I don't want to hurt either of your feelings. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, no. Worst thing that ever happened to her? I wonder if anyone else feels like that. I'm so sorry, Strawberry, but you're just going to have to find your election fashion somewhere else. What? It's too upsetting for me to make dresses for both you and Orange. But why? You love making dresses. Well, I tried, but every time I added a great-looking detail to one dress, I felt, to be fair, that I had to go back to the other one and add it to the other to be sure both dresses were equally fantastic. Because uh, I love you both. It's making me crazy. But Raspberry, any dress you make for me, I'm sure will be terrific. I won't compare it with oranges, and I'm sure orange won't either. We'll both just be so happy you made our dresses. I don't know what to do. <gasps> oh, Strawberry, I don't know what to do. You too? What is it, Plum? I don't know who to vote for. You, Orange, Orange, you? It's tearing me apart. It's fine, Plum. Vote for either Orange or me. Both are good choices. I think Orange would make a great Berry Fest princess. I know. So would you. I don't even know if I want to vote. Oh, my. This is very, very bad. <laughs> That's not what I want to say. Or that. Oh. No, I can do better than that. Hello, Strawberry. Having trouble writing your election speech? <sighs> not my speech. My resignation letter. Resignation? <laughs> Here you're dropping out of the election? Yes. I don't want to run for Berry Fresh Princess anymore. But why not? It's a great honor, you know, and we really need a Berry Fest princess. I know, but the election is causing too much trouble. Everyone has to make a choice between Orange and me, and it doesn't seem right. We've always been about friends and togetherness. But now, everyone in town is forced to pick one or the other, and some don't know who to vote for and are unhappy. So... So... I think it's best if I drop out of the race. I'm not sure you're seeing why people should have a choice of who to vote for. You think it's, if you vote for me, you like me, and if you vote for her, you like her. But it's not really about that. It sure feels that way. Voting shouldn't be about who anyone likes, but the choice they're offering. And it's good to have different choices in things. A choice in what you want to eat for lunch, or, or what to wear, or anything. And you know that just because the people of Barry Bitty City might not agree on who to vote for, they can still get along. You and your friends have different opinions, yet you all get along. Isn't that right? We do. <laughs> well, most of the time. Too bad my own campaign managers don't. <laughs> How does this look? Great. How about mine? Wonderful. Huh? Hi, Hi Strawberry. Strawberry. I see you two are getting along. 
Mm-hmm. We realized we weren't getting anything done not working together. So, we made a plan of how to work together. I do the posters my way. And I do the buttons my way. And then we both help each other hand out the buttons and hang up the posters. And most of all, we are both nice no matter what. That's the very best thing I've heard all day. <laughs> so good that it makes me want to write a speech about it. So, like I said, I believe in less planning and more doing. Hmm, more doing. Sounds good to me. Sometimes you just have to jump right in to get things done here in Berry Bitty City. And if you vote for me for Berry Fest Princess, you'll be voting for yourself. Well, actually not yourself, but me. But you know what I mean. I think it would be fun to be Berry Fest Princess. So vote for me! Thank you, Orange Blossom, for that wonderful election speech. And now, to hear from our second candidate, Strawberry <laughs> Shortcake. <laughs> I agree that being Berry Fest Princess will be fun, but it will also be hard work. And I'm ready for that. And I believe in more planning before doing. More planning. Sounds good. So I guess I don't agree with Orange on everything. But that doesn't mean that we don't get along. I was very confused by this election. I wanted to be Berry Fest Princess, but I also wanted my friend Orange to be too. So running against Orange made me confused. And I think it may be confusing a lot of you too. Oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Then I realized that there are good reasons to vote for both of us, different reasons. And so everyone in Berry Bitty City has a chance to choose. And choosing isn't bad. Even though we have different opinions, we all get along. Just remember, no matter who you choose, we'll always, always, always be friends. No matter what. Now that we've heard the candidates' speeches, it's time to vote! <laughs> now remember, orange for orange and red for strawberry. we voted, it's time to count the votes. <laughs> one for orange. One for strawberry. Two for strawberry. Two for orange. And the last vote is for... Orange! Plus three, it's kind of you carry the two, and uh... yes, we have a tie. It's a tie. <laughs> oh no, no, no! It definitely can't be a tie. As near as I can figure, somebody didn't vote. Oops! Sorry about that. In all the excitement, it must have slipped my mind. Can I vote now? I think you must, or we won't have a berry fest princess. I'm going to be in the front of the parade. <laughs> the winner of the election and the Berry Fest Princess for this year is... <gasps> Strawberry Shortcake! Yay! You voted for me? I know it would be fun to win, but, well, I, I thought it over, and my opinion is you would make the best Berry Fest princess. Yeah! Yeah! Who's riding in the front of the parade? That's right, me. Actually, Orange and I decided that since both of you were such, um, good campaign managers, that you should both get to ride at the front of the parade. Both of us? Well, I get to ride in the front of the carriage. Uh-uh. Uh -huh. Oh, well, I tried. You sure did. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> it looks like someone is having a very good time. <laughs> oh, the baby berrykins are very cute. And with so many of them in our community, I thought they needed a new daycare center and playground. <laughs> I'm sure they'll love it, Princess Berrykin. I'm sure they will, but... But what? Well, it needs something. The metal is all grey and the wood is all brown. Kind of dull, don't you think? Oh, yes, I see what you mean. It could really use some fun colours. Exactly. And maybe some... Uh... Decorations! <laughs> yes! Designs! Yes! Style! Oh, yes! A makeover! <laughs> Do you know someone who is good at that? I know two someones who are very good at it. Lemon and Raspberry. Excellent. I have always admired the sense of design and style. I'll go tell them. They'll be so excited to get started. They'll jump up and say, Uh, I don't think so. But you're both perfect for the project. <laughs> well, we are naturally very stylish, each in our own way. But we probably should say no thank you. I don't get it. You both like the princess. Certainly. And you both love the baby berrykins. Absolutely. And you're both talented. Definitely. Then what's the problem? She is. You see, see, we're both very, uh, very, very, um, creative. creative. But our ideas don't always match, you know, go together. And then there are hurt feelings and tears and arguments. What do you mean? Uh, she needs a for instance, you know, uh, an example. Uh, which one? Croquet Club. Here's a great example. A poster we did for the Croquet Club. I thought the perfect slogan would be, you'll have a ball. And I said it should be, you'll have a wickedly good time. <laughs> it's more clever, more memorable, more, I don't know, more now. And I thought the color style was gonna be all wrong. My color style, she means. See, we both have good ideas. We just can't agree on whose are better. But you two are friends. You'd make a great team. Lemon with your sense of beauty and Raspberry with your sense of fashion. Thanks for the compliments, but I still think we get on each other's nerves. Well, can you maybe not argue for just a little while? Long enough to at least listen to the princess's ideas? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! The baby berrykins are gonna go wild! They're gonna scream! They're, they're gonna love this! <laughs> I'm so glad you think so. Now, over there, I thought we could have an art station with crayons and easels and... Oh, and finger paints! And modeling clay! Good ideas. And over here, some games and activities, like a... Yeah, a, a colorful, you know, a multicolored, what you call it? A hop, hip? Hopscotch board! Brilliant! It'll be a first and original! The one and only High Style Playground! So, you'll do it? Yes! Oh, wonderful! Oh, I almost forgot to mention, the daycare opens in two days. Do you think it could be ready by then? No problem! Oh, thank you. I'll drop by later and see how you're doing. <laughs> All right, the first thing we should do is give some pizzazz to the dandelion bouncing pit. Its whole color scheme is so zero. Well, that sounds nice, but what the princess wants is style. So let's start on my hopscotch board. Your hopscotch board? Hmm? Oh, uh, I mean ours. It's just I have the perfect idea for it. Well, okay, I guess, uh, I mean, uh, no point in arguing. Of course not. Why would we want to do that? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Doesn't this look cheerful? Hand me the red paint, would you, Raspberry? Raspberry? <laughs> 
<laughs> Raspberry, what are you doing? The kind of design work that makes a baby berry can say, wow! <laughs> I thought we were going to work on my hopscotch board. Well, you were having so much fun painting old-fashioned decorations. I thought I'd leave you alone. Old-fashioned? Uh, it's called retro, and it's very much in style today. Yes, well, I'm sure there are people who like that sort of thing, but, um, you know, I'm going for a more trendy, grab-your-attention look since fantastic fashion is all about being daring, you know, taking design chances and all. <laughs> yes, it's delightful. If you happen to like the chances designers were taking last year... <gasps> Oh, perfect. What? Lemon, what, what, what are you doing? Well, that daring, chancy, modern look of yours is ever so interesting, but it might be a bit, oh, bright for the baby bearkin's eyes, don't you think? No, I don't think. Well, I do. So the choice was simple. Give them sunglasses to protect them from those clashing colors. <laughs> Cute. But... Or, and this one's my personal choice, build a more eyeball-friendly and truly stylish bounce pit. <sighs> there you go again, thinking your ideas are better than mine. Just like with the croquet poster. The croquet poster would have worked if you'd listened to my ideas, but... It's okay, it's okay. I'm not gonna argue with you. I'll just let the princess decide whose bounce pit is better looking. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, Lemon, could you grab that side of the... Oh, I forgot. <clears throat> Never mind. <laughs> Oh. Raspberry, could you give me a hand with... Oh, never mind. If Raspberry doesn't appreciate me, what's the point? I'll just let her do it however she wants. Alone! <laughs> this is getting to be very not fun. If Lemon doesn't like how I do things, she can just do it all, all by herself. Oh. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and that's it! You got it! <laughs> nice! Excellent! Oh, really excellent! Oh, thanks, Plum! I'm glad somebody likes what I do. Aw, I know Lemon likes your stuff. Lemon likes her stuff better. She wants to do everything her way, so I quit. Isn't that play area a two-person job? Oh, believe me, Lemon will be a lot happier alone. Well, why do you think so? Because she won't have me to argue with. Hi, Lemon. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, girls. What's everybody doing? Oh, hey, Lemon. Uh, hi, Lemon. How are you? Getting the refreshments and entertainment ready for the grand opening of the daycare center. How's it going out there? Just great. Ooh, yummy. You girls need any help? Um, <laughs> aren't you and Raspberry working together? We were, but she thinks her ideas are better than mine, so I'm letting her do it by herself. Well, that's a big job for just one person. Doesn't it need two? Not if those two disagree on everything. Oh, so Lemon, I was just working on this new song. Tell me what you think. Um, when stormy grows the weather, it's good to work together. Uh, like birds of a feather, teamwork is better. <laughs> So, what do you think? Oh, oh, do you have anything more, uh, heavy? Oh, Lemon, it's you. Gosh, uh, there you are. 
yeah. Uh, are you uh, finished already? What? Well, aren't you working on the playground? <gasps> aren't you? I, I thought, thought you were. were. I gave up so you could do it your way. Me too. Nothing got done? Hi, girls. Hi, Strawberry. Nice day. Hey, I just heard that Princess Berrykin is on her way over to see how your job is coming. <gasps> Hopefully you settled your differences and everything's... fine. What a mess! I can't believe you just walked out and left it like this. Uh, me? You? Well... You walked out too! If Princess Berrykin sees this, she'll lose all faith in me. Well, what about me? Maybe she'll never even speak to me again. Everyone will hear about it and lose trust in me, and, and no one will come to my salon anymore! Well, what about what everyone thinks of me? My, my reputation is on the line too here, you know. If only it weren't for you and... For me? What about you? Well, you walked out on the job without even telling me. So did you! <laughs> I don't work for you. I don't work for you either. Oh, blaming each other isn't solving anything. <sighs> You're right. I am? Yeah. So, what do we do? Well, we've got to keep the princess from seeing this until we can get it finished. Or at least cleaned up and, and almost finished. I agree. You do? Absolutely. we got to stall her. Come on! Why, hello, princess. Coming to see our work? Yes. How is it coming along, girls? Oh, just uh, splendidly. We can't wait for you to see it. Oh, but wait. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Why, whatever is wrong, Raspberry? The, uh... Chair up. Uh, I mean, tablecloths. Oh, my. Yes. How silly of us to forget. We can't show the princess the playground now because... She has to decide on the right fabric for the tablecloths for the lunch tables. <gasps> Quickly, princess. Let's go to my fashion boutique. Oh, we're so lucky we ran into you. Oh. This plaid is nice, and this color would go fabulously with this color, don't you think? But we just don't know about these polka dots. Well, these are all nice. Uh, I do have to be getting back to the berry works. How many more samples are we going to be looking at exactly? Oh, just a hundred more, give or take a few dozen. <laughs> now, about this fabric, what do you think? Stripes? Or checks? You keep her busy. I'll try to do some cleanup. Good idea. Uh, checks are a good idea, Lemon. Uh, Princess, could you take a look at this fabric, please? Yes, you better get going. <laughs> Huh. So, we're settled on the tablecloths, then. And a perfect choice it is. How are things going? Oh, just fine. The princess has decided on a fabulous spring floral. How are things going with you, Lemon? Oh, you know, always could use a bit more time. <laughs> well, guess you have to get going back to the berry works now. Well, I could spare a few minutes to see how it's coming along. Goodness me! The flowers! We forgot all about those, uh, special flowers. Right, Raspberry? Why, yes. The, uh, the early blooming yellow-tipped basil puffs. Yes, oh, they're a must for any daycare nowadays. They are? I've never even heard of Peasel Puffs. Oh, yes! All the best daycare centers have them. I know. How about if you help us pick one? I'd be delighted. I think I see one. Just a little farther. You're almost there, Princess. Is that really a Peasel Puff tree? There's no such thing. That's just a dogwood tree in bloom. Okay, now grab a couple of flowers, Your Highness. All right, I've got them. Princess, are you all right? Uh, a little dizzy. 
seen, but fine. Here are your Peasel Puffs. Oh, the Peasel Puffs. They're perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm sorry that I have to get back to the Berry Works, so I won't be able to visit the play area just now. Oh, really? Oh, phooey. Well, it will look a lot better in the morning when we're done. See you at the grand opening, girls. <sighs> yeah, we're in very big trouble. If only you'd listened to my ideas. What makes you think you've got the only good ideas? Let's not start that again. Maybe Strawberry can help us. Good idea. Race you to the cafe. You win. Oh, oh, and then the balloon went all crazy, you know, wacky. I mean, we barely got her down safely. And the play area is still unfinished. And the only thing we agree on is that we'll never finish it on time. Strawberry, we're never going to be able to work well together. <laughs> but you already do work well together. Huh? No, really. Look at the clever ways you kept the princess delayed. Fabrics, balloons, flowers. I mean, it'd be better if you told her the truth. But that? <laughs> that took a lot of teamwork. Well, now that I think about it, we did plan that well. <laughs> yeah, your fabric idea was pretty clever. Oh! <laughs> and your Peasel Puff gag. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm not sure I want to know what a Peasel Puff is, but do you understand what I'm saying? So? I think we're going to give the play area another shot. That's great! But it's still going to be a lot of work. Do you need any help? Thanks. That's very kind. But I think Raspberry and I should do it. We have our reputations to uphold. Oh, yes. And we promised the princess together, so we need to, you know, complete it together. Oh, no. We don't have much time. What do we do? We could work on each project together until it's done, and then we'll move on to the next one. What do you think? Great idea. Really? <laughs> really. Very best friends forever. Never let each other down As long as we're together Things will always turn around You might get lost, but it's okay When you've got your friends, you find your way back home Sweet home, a place you can always call your own Look, sleeping on the job However, they finished the job Wow, it's amazing! What a great team! I had a feeling they could do it. Look, the princess is coming. Quick, let's put up the ribbon. It's perfect! Very perfect. Princess, would you please do the honors? I now declare this Berrykin Daycare Center open! A great job. We only did the ribbon. There are your makeover superstars. Lemon, raspberry. I love the play area. It's exactly what I wanted. It's colorful, vibrant, stylish, and fun. Both modern and old-fashioned. Thank you, Princess. And we apologize for all that trouble we put you through yesterday. No harm done. <laughs> She didn't even care who did what. She was just so pleased with the result. She was impressed with the team. And so am I. Thank you, Strawberry. Thanks. Righto. And I can't wait to work with you again. Mm. How about working on a nap? <sighs> yes. You got it. <sighs> Partner. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Does everyone have everything they need? Why, 
Yes, we do, Strawberry. Thanks for asking. Yes, we do. <laughs> then dig in. <laughs> what was that? Oh, is it the Fairy King marching band practice season already? No, that's not for another month. Wait, Let's go find out. out. Yeah, 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 we gotta see what this is. That is very exciting. What's going on? We want to <laughs> announce. <laughs> we, we want to. Oh, I beg your pardon. Oh no, I beg you. Uh, after you. No, after you. No, 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 you first. Uh, no, 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 I insist. Super. One ladybug argument you, coming up. You. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we say it together? What a wonderful idea, Ladybug. We're starting a new club. And we want you to join. A club run by Ladybug and Katiebug? But they're always arguing. How much fun could that club be? Unless it's a debate club. Behold! Our, Our good, good citizens, citizens club! See? We even have membership pins. A good citizens club? Really? They do seem to be getting along. Maybe they've turned over a new leaf. Make it a whole tree. Pardon me, but what exactly does a good citizens club do? What exactly is a citizen? A member of the community. So a good citizen is... A kind and helpful member of the community. Uh, yeah! <laughs> and good citizens do... Good citizens eat things. Like bringing soup to sick berry kids? Donating old clothes to the needy? Keeping Berry Bitty City clean? Uh, sure. <laughs> and if you do something really good citizens -y, you get membership pins. See? Ooh, a membership pin. And we even have a motto. Oh, what is it? Happy to serve others. Oh, oh wow, wow, that's really that's good. Great. 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 <laughs> so, what's next? Do we do helpful things for the community and its citizens? You got it. Just do as many of those things as you can before our first meeting tomorrow evening at the Good Citizens Clubhouse. And then we can talk about uh, those uh, good citizens-y things that we all did. And think up some new ones, too? Definitely. Sure thing. Why not? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, wait! Last minute special delivery! Super duper really important highly special good citizens club first meeting reminders! Sorry, my fault. No, 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 my fault. Not mine. Please make sure you deliver all of them before tomorrow. Hi, Orange! I was thinking I might bring some snacks or something to the meeting tonight. Do you have any crackers? Hi, Plum. Sure, I'll get them. Wow, Orange. Pretty. Oh, isn't it? My Good Citizens Club membership pin. It came in the mail. Where's yours? Um, my mail hasn't come yet. <laughs> hey, Plum, what do you think? I created a whole new fashion statement to go along with my Good Citizens Club membership pin. Wow, that's a very creative idea, Raspberry. I love it. Nice outfit, Raspberry. Oh, wow. Oh, you look great. Oh, yes, fantastic. I have to go check my mailbox. I can't wait to see my pin. <gasps> I didn't get one. Why didn't I get one? How am I supposed to go to the meeting tonight without a membership pin? I don't understand. Well, I'll just have to ask the ladybugs what happened. Maybe she went to do a good citizen thing by herself. Well, I'm sure she'd like to join us. It's way more fun to work together. Let's leave her a note on the door. We'll tell her that we're over at the Berry Grove helping the Berrykins dig a new path for a stream so that it will go around the grove instead of right through it. Very good idea. Over here! No, over here! It'll be way oh, better good. here! You're here! here. Me. Oh, Plum! We were having 
having a um discussion about where to put the banner. Where what would you put it? it? Uh, right in the middle? <laughs> Excuse me, but the other girls have Good Citizens Club membership pins, and I'm just wondering what I need to do to get mine. Is there some sort of test or something I have to pass to show I can serve others? Uh, Plum, would you mind giving us some privacy for a moment so we can have a, um... A, um, hmm, club leaders conference. Of course. I'll be just right outside, ready for my test. You forgot to send her pin. Did not. Must have been you. You're always forgetting something. Nuh-uh. Yeah, huh? Uh, yeah, huh? What are we going to do? We can't lose her as a member of our club. I guess we'd better give her a test like she wants. Oh, uh, right. But we don't have a good Citizens Club test to give. Well, she said she wants a test on serving others. Oh, Plum! Ready to show I can be a good citizen. Do you want to be in the Good Citizens Club? Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. I still can't hear you. Yes. You must take the test of good citizenness. Whatever it is, I'll do my very best. Yes, yes, yes. So, your first test will be to paint the clubhouse inside and out so it looks nice before the first meeting of the Good Citizens Club. Inside and out? Uh, is that too hard? Because instead you could... Absolutely not too hard for me. I am happy to do my best to make the Good Citizens Club look fabulous for everyone. Oh, no, 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 no. Start on that side. You're blocking my tan over there. <laughs> I don't know. I think that blue clashes with my eyes. Can you do a lighter shade? What's that? Here, give me the paintbrush. That's more like it. That looks like a rabbit. It looks like a flower. It doesn't. Does too. It doesn't. Does too. It doesn't. <sighs> Finish. Are you sure you think it's not good? Should you do it over? No, no. It looks terrific, really. Let's wait to get the other members' opinion before we go changing anything. So is that it? Do I get my pin now? Well, uh, you finished the first test. Congratulations! First test? How many are there? Uh, uh, three. Yeah, three's good. Yeah, we always use three. Uh-huh, three. Oh. <sighs> I wonder where Plum is. Yeah, she's missing all the mud. I'm sorry, but I have to ask. Just what exactly does this have to do with being a good citizen? Well, all that painting made me hungry. And all that painting made me thirsty. And obviously, we need snacks and drinks for tonight's meeting, right? Yes. I actually have some crackers I was gonna bring. That's it. We'll need a lot more than just crackers. And drinks, too. And we need to sample the snacks and drinks first, of course. But what does snack tasting have to do with good citizenship? It's, um, making sure it's good. For the citizens, of course. Are you sure? Absolutely. <laughs> Happy, Happy to, to serve others! others. I can make peanut butter and glimmer berry sandwich surprises. Blueberry and lemon will like those. And kiwi smoothies. Huh. Dear Plum, when you're finished, we are over at the berry grove helping the berrykins dig a new path for a stream. Oh no! The other girls are already doing good deeds for the community. I'm so behind. I've got to hurry. <laughs> A little of that, and a 
little more of that. Mom? Are you there? Well, our note's gone, so she must have gotten it. I wonder what's been keeping her busy all day. I know. Let's leave her another note. Sorry we missed you at the Fairy Grove. I'm sure you've been very busy being a good citizen. See you at the meeting. Love us. Ew! You call this a snack? How about this one? Oh. <laughs> but the snacks aren't just for you. I thought this was about the other club members, too. Uh, oh. Well, okay. These'll do. Time to move on to test number three. Number three? You're only one test away from your membership pin. Well, okay. But this is the last one. Just give us a sec to have another club leaders conference. <laughs> Planting flowers in the community garden is a great project for the Good Citizens Club. And I have all the right things to do it with. And I have just the right design for it, too. This is gonna be great. Plum will love it, too. She loves planting flowers. I wish I knew what she was doing all day. It's almost time for the club meeting. She definitely wouldn't miss the first meeting. She came by this morning and picked up some crackers for all of us. That's so nice of her. Let's go by and pick her up. Well, did you decide yet? What's my final test? Uh, this place could use a little color, but I already painted it. Pink, like you wanted. What she means is color and fragrance. So, cut some flowers from the community garden to decorate the clubhouse with. How about I gather some flowers from the forest? But the prettiest flowers are in the community garden. You aren't supposed to pick flowers from the community garden. Those flowers are for everyone to enjoy in the garden, not for us to take home for ourselves. I'll pick some flowers from the meadow. My favorite ones are in the community garden. But community service isn't about what your favorites are. Don't you understand? If everyone picked those flowers for themselves, soon there wouldn't be any left. And no one in Berry Bitty City would be able to enjoy them anymore. Uh, we could enjoy them. We thought you wanted to serve others. Others like us. We thought you wanted to be a good citizen like everyone else in the club. <laughs> well, are you going to pick those flowers? No. Saying no is simply unheard of in the Good Citizens Club. Then I guess I can't be in your club. <laughs> can't be in our club? You, you have to be! I'm sure you've been busy being a good citizen. Fellow good citizen, that you've been doing good citizenly things. <laughs> Gee, was it something I said? Something's certainly not right. Plum? <laughs> What's wrong, Plum? Tell us. We're your friends. I'm not a good citizen. What? But Plum, you're one of the very, very best citizens I know. I... I didn't pass the test that you all passed, so I'm not in the club. Test? What test? I didn't take any test. I didn't take a test. Did you? Nope, not me. I don't think anyone did. What are you talking about, Plum? The ladybugs didn't give you tests? Then how come you all have membership pins and I don't? Didn't yours come in the mail? I don't know what's going on, but I think it's time for us to have a good citizen word with the ladybugs. That one. Oh, that one. You call that a flower? Now that's a flower. <laughs> and like 
You would know. Are you saying I can't pick a flower? I am saying that you couldn't pick a flower to pick if the flower picked you. Uh, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> Early for the meeting, are we? We're here to find out why you gave Plum a good citizen's test and not any of us. Um, sorry. Uh, we can give you girls tests too if you want. <sighs> Why would any of us have to take a test at all? Especially Plum. Plum is always a good citizen. You weren't going to cut the community flowers, were you? Um, well, yeah, because Plum wouldn't, so we have to. Plum wouldn't? No. It was her final test. But she said no. <laughs> Can you believe it? Uh, excuse me. How come I never got a good Citizens Club membership pin, but everyone else did? We don't know why you never got it. We, um, mailed your pin out with the others. But, but what about the tests? We sort of, kind of got the idea from you. Me? Well, you seemed like you really wanted to take one, so... Because I thought all my friends had. You don't have a clue about what makes a good citizen, do you? <laughs> Why did you start this club anyway? Well, um, so we could be in a club. And be, you know, really popular. And be the leaders. Like the bosses of the club. No one's ever wanted us in a club before. I guess now we know why we're not very good citizens. Sadie Bug, oh, Katie Bug. I think your idea for a good citizens club is a great idea. You do? but you definitely didn't follow your own club's mission. Happy to serve others. You have to be the ones to serve others, not others serving you. We're so sorry for not acting like good citizens. And we promise we'll do better from now on. Strawberry, will you take over as club leader? I'm glad to see you've learned your lesson, but... I know someone who has already proven she'd make a perfect club leader. Cutting the community flowers and taking them for yourselves isn't being a good citizen. But saying no to something you feel is not good for the community was a brave and very good citizen-y thing to do, Plum. Me? the first meeting of the Good Citizens Club to order. <gasps> the chair leader recognizes Blueberry. I move that we hold our first meeting as a camp out. Your attention, please. Now, I'd like us to vote on Strawberry's idea that the club do something good for the entire community by planting more flowers in the community garden. And after that, we can spruce up the town gazebo. And maybe some warm scarves for the Americans for the winter. A stylish ones, of course. And we can, um, um, um... Oh, 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 oh! We eat snacks! <laughs> what if we, like, make snacks <laughs> for the Americans and the Berry Marks? Yeah, because they all work so hard. I think that's a lot of good ideas for our club to do. I call for a vote. All in favor? Aye! The ayes have it. Aye! <laughs> and now I officially declare that at the close of our first meeting of the Good Citizens Club, we should sing a song. Everyone listen up and hear my proclamation. About taking dreams seriously Erase your fears, don't worry about perfection All that matters is what you believe Feel inspired, learn, ask a million questions Be the very best you can be, yeah Just imagine all the possible directions Let's make history
lumpy. Needs more mashing. Anyone want a taste? In a second, Strawberry. I've got one more bow to curl. Oh. Anyone here good at uncurling? I would if I could, but I'm a rat tight myself. This is going to be the best first frost ever. Just wait until I wrap my gift in this. Oh, excuse me, girls. I don't wish to intrude on your get-together. You mean give together <laughs> <laughs> Don't go, Mr. Longface. Come on in. We're just finishing up making our wrapping paper. And I need to mash the applesauce some more. Oh, if only I had a good masher. Would you like a taste, Mr. Longface? Oh, no, thank you, Miss Shortcake. I don't care for applesauce, sorry to say. Uh, just some tea, please. Here you go. Thank you very much. Ah, perfect. I noticed that the whole town seems to be gearing up for something special today. Do you know what that would be? He doesn't know. It's First Frost. First Frost? Never heard of it. Is that like Second Helpings? Oh, Muffin Crumbs, I forgot! You haven't been in Berry Bitty City long enough to know what First Frost is. Wow! It's his first First Frost! <laughs> Why, it's just the biggest day ever! Actually, astronomically speaking, it's one of the smallest days, in that it's one of the shortest days due to the sun rising late and setting early. Uh, being winter and all. <sighs> As you were saying, when winter comes, there's a huge special glimmerberry harvest. Everyone carves berry lanterns. And we have a glimmerberry ball. It signifies the first sign of winter time of year. It's tradition. And you give presents. <laughs> oh, no. That's just a fun little custom we girls have. The Berrykins and the Bumblebees and everyone have first for us traditions. Giving presents is ours. Secret presents. We each pick a name of one another and then we secretly give a gift to that person. Without them seeing which of us gave it. Last year, I got a new yellow and pink comforter. And I got a mile-long scarf with sparkles. Leg warmers for dancing on cold days. A beautiful chest set with multiple modeling clay pieces. A retractable stepladder. Oh, Can't wait. Yeah. Well, get this yeah. me too. Well, that sounds wonderful. I think Mr. Longface might be feeling left out. Let's invite him to be part of our secret gifting. That's so sweet. Yes, yes. yes. let's. Mr. Longface? Would you like to join our gift-giving tradition? Oh, my. I really don't think... Well, you needn't... Please say yes, Mr. Longface. We'd love it if you were part of our little tradition. Well, then, I'd be honored. Yay! <laughs> Great. But could I ask a favor? May we borrow your hat? M my... my hat? Okay. Everyone, drop your name into the hat. You too, Mr. Longface. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> around and around, our names all go. Who gets whose is a secret that no one may know. Oh, I wonder who I got. Me too. Me three. And now for you, Mr. Longface. <laughs> Lemon! Oh, she's going to love this! 1,001 ways to keep your books organized. <laughs> this is going to be the best first brush gift ever. A whole chapter on how to stack books vertically. Ten chapters on how to reorganize your books after they've fallen off a shelf. No, no, no. I have to give this gift to Lemon. It's her gift. Don't let anyone see you. Don't let anyone see you. So, I was thinking maybe the green stripe would look better. Shh! Did you hear something? Uh, no. I thought I heard something. Yeah. Uh. Hello? Oh my! That's the biggest first frost gift I've ever seen! 
One shelf? Not as impossible as it seems? Oh, what am I gonna do with this? But it is the biggest first frost gift ever! I got it! This is the perfect secret gift for my secret giftee! Plum! She's gonna love it! So, you know, I just thought and thought about what to give my secret giftee, Mr. Longface. Something he would really, really like. <laughs> Thanks, Pupcake. And then it hit me, a plant for the entrance to his croquet club. And I know just the perfect plant. Oh, oops, I almost forgot my rope. <laughs> wow! That's the most ginormous first frost gift I've ever seen! I knew that was a good choice for Plum! Oh, nice! A book! Chapter 137, Sorting Your Encyclopedias. The A to Z of how to and how not to. Hmm... Maybe not exactly the most must-have gift I've ever received for First Frost. I know! My secret gift, the Orange, likes to sort things. I bet she'd love this! <gasps> oh, yes, yes. Indeed, yes. It is getting chilly these days, Miss Jadybug. Uh, you know, I have an extra hat you could borrow. Very warm. <laughs> Hello? Well, hello! <laughs> Aren't you the most wonderfully oversized first frost gift? Grab and move. Grab and move. Here it is! Mr. Longface will be thrilled when he sees his gift. And I'm gonna get it for him. Ugh. No matter what! Ta-da! Raspberry will love a gift uh, this big. She could use it as a footstool when she sews. Or to hide her refrigerator. I did it! Oh, Mr. Longface is gonna love you, little plant. Huh? 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 Yeah! Oh, muffin crumbs. Ooh, hibiscus always makes my nose itch. Okay, let her down. <laughs> Blueberry is going to flip over getting such a great big book. She loves books. Oh, hey, thanks, guys. I wonder who that could be. Hello? Is anybody out there? Wow! That's the most incredibly gigantic, enormously splendiferous first frost gift I've ever seen! Uh, uh, uh. <gasps> Just what I always wanted! Oh, look at this! And this! Oh, cross-referencing by data printing! Who would have thought of that? Wait a second. This is the book I gave to Lemon. Didn't she like it? And how did it get back to me? I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Secret gift or no secret gift. So, Lemon, um, how about 
this first frost, huh? It was as first frosty as a first frost can be, I thought. Very firsty, as a matter of fact. And our presents. Oh, I've already given. Yes, I did. First frost thing in the morning, actually. Really? Wow. Well, um, not me. I haven't given my secret gift yet. So you couldn't be my secret giftie, so you can tell me what you got, because I didn't give it to you. <laughs> right? <laughs> What? I said... What? I said that I got a very big gift, but it wasn't quite right for me, and it was too big to store in the swan, so I gave it to Plum, who has more space in her studio! Plum! Aha! Oh, oh, where are you going? Uh, you haven't been rinsed! Very good. And one, two, three, one, two, three, twirl, two, three, twirl, two, three. So, two, three, um, two, three, did you get your secret gift, two, three? Well, two, three, really? Two, three, I don't have it anymore. Two, three, one, two, three, what? Two, three, I kind of felt my gifty would have more use for it. Two, three, since she's always sorting stuff. Two, three, oh no, I gave it away. <laughs> now you'll know who my secret gifty is. You mean orange? Sorting? Yeah. <gasps> Don't worry, I won't tell. Where are you going? We still have the foxtrot to practice. Oh, it was tense, I'm telling you. I zigzagged past the cafe, ducked into the bushes, sneaked through the gazebo, hid under the bridge, doubled back, and I was there. Nobody ever saw me. And then I carefully set my gift down, knocked on the door, and ran. And what was your gift? Well, it was something I felt my gifty might use to rest her feet on while she's sewing. <gasps> Oops! Oh, I guess I gave away who my gifty was. I don't have a clue, but I have to run. See you later. Wait a minute. So Raspberry got the book from Orange, who got the book from Plum, who got the book from Lemon, who got the book from me. Did Raspberry give the book to me, or did Strawberry? And what about Mr. Longface? Oh, I forgot about Mr. Longface. This is very complicated. I can't believe no one likes my gift. I know I did. Strawberry? Oh. <sighs> don't look, don't look! Oh, I'm sorry, Strawberry. I guess I spoiled your secret. Don't worry, you're not my secret giftee. It's Mr. Longface. But Strawberry, hibiscus makes your nose itch. Achoo! I know, but it's not a gift for me. Mr. Longface has been wanting one for the entrance to his club, and I just knew it would be the perfect gift for him. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. What's the matter, Blueberry? You seem kind of sad. You, um, didn't happen to get a big gift that was a big book that you didn't like big time. Excuse me? No one liked my first Frost gift. See, I had this book on sorting books that I thought was great, so I gave it to Lemon after wrapping it up all in yellow paper and yellow bow. And then Raspberry gave it to me with blue wrapping paper on it and a blue bow. Unless it was Mr. Longface, but I don't think it was. So no one liked my gift. I'm so sorry, Blueberry. A book is a wonderful gift. That's what I thought. But... Maybe if it's for Lemon, it should be a book about something she likes. Like watercolor painting or skin care. You know how much Lemon likes those things. Oh. Oh. You're right, Strawberry. I was thinking about what kind of gift I would like, not Lemon. Not very first frost of me. You know, I know a book Lemon would like. I better get it wrapped and give it to her right now. Well, I'm glad that's settled. <laughs> I better get this to Mr. Longface. Right now. Hi, Blueberry. Come back to let me finish your hair? Um, no, Lemon. Uh, I know this is supposed to be secret, but I need to give this gift to you in person and explain why. But what for? It's for First Frost. But, uh... Uh, I already got a secret gift. I know, I gave it to you. But it wasn't a secret gift that you would like. It was something I would like. So, here's a secret gift I think you'll like. Oh, 
Oh, Blueberry! The very big book of bountiful braiding, just what I always wanted! That's the perfect first frost gift for me! <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? Uh-oh, I just realized I didn't give Plum the perfect first frost gift. I just gave her the book you gave me. I know. Sorry, Blueberry. Wait! I have just the thing for Plum. <laughs> is the very big book on book sorting. This gift is even better because it shows me that you really thought about what I like, something only a friend would know. <laughs> Isn't this great? Oh, wonderful! <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, that's lovely, Raspberry. And look how high you can go, Orange. And those shoes really make you dance even better, Plum. Um, I know that this has been a strange first frost, and I just wanted to apologize for not thinking of my friend Lemon when I gave her a gift. And I want to apologize to Plum. And I want to apologize to Orange. Oh, and I want to apologize to Raspberry. Oh, and I want to apologize to Blueberry. Do you forgive me? Yes! <laughs> I know I'll always think about the person I'm going to give a gift to in the future and not myself. Me too! <laughs> now that's what I call a great first frost. Oh, but hey, Strawberry, you never showed us your secret gift. Yeah! yeah! A super duper apple masher! Just what I always wanted. Mr. Longface must have gotten it for you. And he doesn't even like applesauce. Aw, isn't that sweet? Oh, what a nice gift! And so thoughtful. He gave a gift he knew you needed and would love. Seems like we could learn something from Mr. Longface. Yeah, that's, 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 that's right. right. That's true. Achoo! Happy first frost, Miss Shortcake. Thank you so much for my apple masher, Mr. Longface. You're very well. But I thought it was a secret. Some gifts are so thoughtful, they can't be kept secret. And what did you get, Mr. Longface? I must admit that I've not received any gift at all. Did I do something wrong? Maybe there was some form I forgot to fill out. Hmm. Maybe you should check your hat and see if your name got accidentally left in there. My hat? Ahem. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> this is the best gift I could have gotten. And your smile is the best gift I could have gotten. Happy first frost, everyone. Then the Glumphalot glumped closer and closer and closer until it went. Woogie, woogie, woogie! <laughs> 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 hey, Orange. I have your lunch all packed and ready for you. Thanks, Strawberry. Um, are they reading what I think they're reading? The Galumphalot story. You should stick around to hear the end. Um, no, thank you. The beginning and the middle are enough for me. And what did the Galumphalot say? Wuggy, wuggy, wuggy! Thank you.
you decided to have a special <gasps> style under the stars hair extravaganza? <laughs> I can't think of a more thrilling way to spend an evening. Oh boy, I just can't wait to see how my hair will turn out. It's so super exciting. Raspberry, when I'm done with you, your hair will be completely different. Excitement. Thrills? I'm here for the relaxation. Oh, I've had a busy week. Junction over in Very Bitty City. We'll have to go over there to start the repair. Better keep the baby barricans here until we get the power back on. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have no fear. I am here, ready to take charge and fix this problem. Now, everyone, follow me. Come on, Mr. Longface. The problem is not over there. Oh, oh yes. Uh, I was going to suggest we check there too. Sorry. So what do we do now? I can't style what I can't see. I think we should head outside and see what the trouble is. The Barricans might need some help fixing the power. Out uh, outside? Um, maybe we should just wait in here. What's wrong, Orange? Is something bothering you? Uh, I guess... I guess I'm just a little bit scared. You? But you're at least the very last one of us to be scared of anything. Oh, um, really? Well, yes. Remember the time when... You picked the fruit from the super high branch. You were the only one brave enough to swing into the pond. And then you were the one that tight roped across. Oh, uh, never mind. You're not scared of anything. Well, I'm scared now, and I think we should stay inside. Are you saying you're afraid of the dark? I am absolutely not afraid of the dark. I didn't think you were. I'm afraid of the things that might be out there in the dark. Things? What things? Oh, like the moon and stars? Things like, well, Galumphalots! <gasps> Wuggy, Wuggy, Wuggy! Wuggy, Wuggy, Wuggy! Wuggy, Wuggy, Wuggy! Okay, guys, stop. She's serious. I'm sorry, Orange. Are you really afraid of Galumphalots? From that cute story I was just reading to the baby berrykins the other day? But they aren't afraid of it. Well... I am. <laughs> but Galumphalots aren't real. They're just a silly story. But... but... Uh, how do you know Galumphalots are just a story? Because... because... Uh, well... Uh, Blueberry? Well, it must be just a made-up story because... I got it from the fiction section. You know, the make-believe section in my bookstore. But don't people who make up stories sometimes base them on real things? Well, yes, that is true. And it is a very old story. Can't call the author and ask. I told you! See? Maybe Galumphalots aren't real, but how do you know for sure? How do you know they couldn't be out there? In the... dark? <laughs> because, well... Oh, come on. I've been in the dark lots of times, and I've never, ever seen one. 
But then we wouldn't see them. I mean, if they were real, it'd be hard to spot them in the dark because of the darkness. Not to mention, they could be really good at hiding out there, outside, in the dark. Oh, come on. This is silly. <laughs> One, two... <laughs> Do you think th th that's one of them? <laughs> now, wait a minute. How can we be sure that's a galump a lot? Yeah. I thought they sounded more like... Woogie, woogie, woogie! Well, whatever it is, let's keep it outside and, and, and us inside. Wait. See? It stopped. Glumphalot. There's no such thing. Oh. <laughs> I say! <gasps> it heard you, Blueberry. And it's answering back. Hmm. I would recommend bringing in the Big Banging Bolt Remover. <laughs> What's that? It sounds like... Assemble this entire juice pipe junction and rebuild it from the ground up. Uh, uh, you know, Mr. Longface, the Berrykins might be able to find a way to get the pipe open on their own. Without my leadership? But then, what will I do? I have another job that is very important. <gasps> you don't say. At your service, Miss Shortcake. How can I help? We need someone to tell everyone in Berry Bitty City that the Berrykins are working on the problem and the power will be out for a bit longer. You are just the caterpillar to deliver the news. That I am. I'm on my way. Execute plan juice pipe junction double knot seven slash six one. There's the problem. <laughs> Do you think the Galumphalot will do next? What if it's hungry for food? Food? Do you think it might... Do you think it likes food that, that tastes like... like... us? <gasps> I've never read anywhere that Galumphalots eat something like us. But I've also never read that they wouldn't eat something like us. <laughs> <gasps> it sounds like it came from Orange's store! <gasps> the Galumphalot security trap I put outside my store! <gasps> I must have caught one. Oh, sir! What's falling on top of me? <laughs> oh, pardon me! Oh, I hope I didn't break anything. Oh, can someone please? Catch it, Orange? Uh, did we? Did we? Did we? <gasps> it's getting closer. There's only one thing to do then. Run? No. We must defend the beauty salon. 
once read a book about booby traps. Well, if a book can do it, so can we. What's first, Blueberry? Um, bucket of suds over the door. Everybody knows that one. Well, hopefully not a galumph lot Let me handle it. I'm a pro at this. First, get one bucket of water. No! It's the only way. When the Galumphalot comes in, whammo! Okay, 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 What's next? We must find a way to get the Galumphalot off balance. Squeezy, squishy, bitty, beauty batter for plants. I slipped on some ones and slid all the way over to strawberries. Oh, uh, careful where you step! Okay, the last thing we have to do is find a way to get rid of the galumph lot once it's here. Aha! Uh -huh. What you got? A headache. I think I'm thinking too hard. Wait, I have it! Anyone have a hair elastic? I do! Right here! I got a couple. I got one. Stand over there, please. And if you can stand over on that side... Outside! Lemon! Are you in there? <gasps> he knows my name! No! 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 Very much. Oh, it's good to know the lights are back on. What's this about a galumph lot? At Lemon Salon, the poor girls. I tried to save them, but I was completely <coughs> galumphed. Oh, but galumph lots aren't real. Yeah, yeah they're, they're not true. real. It's just a story. Oh, this one most definitely was. <laughs> we must do something. Do you have a plan? <laughs> No, no, no! This is a galumph lot we're dealing with. <gasps> Much better! Uh, follow me! Woogie, woogie, woogie! Follow me! F f follow! Woogie, woogie, woogie! Woogie, woogie, woogie! Oh, no! The galumph lot's coming back! And it sounds like he's bringing friends! And lots of them! There's only one thing we can do. We have to face him. Show him we're not scared. Even though we are. <sighs> That's the spirit. On the count of three. One, two, on three. Or after you say three. Oh, you know, I was wondering the same thing. Me too! I'd hate for you to run out on three, and I was left waiting here for you to say three. Maybe we could...
could go out on four. Four is a good number. Yeah, yeah four. That's, that's a good okay. idea. Okay. in your salon still out. The Berrykins fixed the juice pipe junction a while ago. The power's back on? Oh, Bitterberries, I had the light switch off. Sorry, girls. What is this all about? There was a galumphalot. And we booby-trapped it. But it came back. No, that was us. <clears throat> and, um, uh, me, I I'm afraid. What got you thinking about galumphalots in the first place? Blueberry said she read a book that didn't say there weren't any galumphalots. Well, I only said that because the rest of you were sure there were galumphalots. But it's just a story. Woogie, woogie, woogie! It... it was me. Oh, ever since I heard that story, I started imagining what if there were galumphalots. And the story said they liked the dark, and I imagined some more, and, and well, soon I was booby trapping all around my store, and then Lemon Store, too, and then... Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. You never know what's in the dark, and, and well, how could you see if the galumphalots were out there anyway? Because it is dark. Look around you, Orange. Now close your eyes. Are they closed tight? Now open them again and look around. Any galumphalots there? No. I always remind myself that there's nothing in the dark that isn't there in the light. You're right. And if you can imagine the galumphalot being scary, then you could probably do a good job imagining one funny, too. <laughs> You're right. We are all bigger than our fears, no matter how bitty we think we are at times. That's right! And Orange, you were the one who got your old courage back the end, even when we were all scared. I was? Oh, yeah! And you were the one that said, four! I was! And you were the one that fired the elastic trap. I was! You were always the bravest of us. I am. You're right, Strawberry. There is nothing in the dark that isn't there in the light. Not even golem for lots. Woogie, woogie, woogie! Woogie, woogie, woogie! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone inside for my special Style Under the Stars hair extravaganza! Spout? Isn't that the orange spout? Hmm. 
This is orange flavored, but it's the wrong color. What's going on? What flavor is that? Kiwi? Honeydew? Spinach? Uh-oh. I'm running out of time. Look! Oh, no! Oh, well. <sighs> I wonder what's wrong with these juice spouts. Maybe something's up at the Berry Works. Princess Berrykin, what's causing all this? Oh! <sighs> Him. Berrykin? Yeah! Good idea! He's so cute! That'd be fun! We'll all babysit him. <laughs> that is, if we can catch him, I would be ever so grateful. It's my pleasure. Looks like our work's cut out for us, girls. What's the plan? Chase him till he's so sleepy he takes a nap? Yell ice cream, and when he comes up to get it, grab him? Hmm. Separate and encircle. Yeah! yeah! Favorite. 
Plum purple. Raspberry. Blue. Orange. Yellow. Blue. Orange. Strawberry! Ooh, pretty. Nice. I like it. Hello there, baby berrykin. Hello. My name is Strawberry Shortcake. And strawberry is my favorite color. <gasps> Me too! <laughs> strawberry, come play! Strawberry, come play! Adorable! <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds like fun. But don't you think we should ask the princess if it's okay? Ask? Uh-huh. That's when you want to do something, and you ask how somebody feels about it. <laughs> huh? I feel it would be fun. Baby Barrican might learn a thing or two. If he was to spend the day with you. Day with Strawberry! Day with Strawberry! <laughs> All right, then. What do you say to Strawberry? Take care, Strawberry! You're very, very welcome. World. It should be no problem babysitting. He's such a darling. <laughs> Baby Berrykin, did you change the color of this water? Baby Berrykin? bottle. Wait, it is baby oil, but the baby oil is supposed to be in a blue bottle. What's going on? <laughs> Sorry, Lemon. He must have changed the color of the conditioner bottle. Now how am I supposed to tell what's what? <sighs> Let me rinse your hair again, Plum. Sorry. Baby Berrykin. Now Lemon has to redo Plum's hair. Why? I don't think he understands. Oh! Better catch him! Mr. Longface, you've just about won. <laughs> well, this would be the first time. <laughs> I think I've finally gotten the hang of my own bitty mini golf course. I must say, this is marvelous fun. <laughs> huh? What's happened to my ball? It's a bird vanished before my very eyes. Oh, oh, here's mine. But somehow it's turned green. <laughs> This is the wrong color. You can't see it. Isn't this strange? <laughs> you there. Did you have something to do with this? Oh, now I've lost it again. Oh, oh. oh you poor dear. Looks like our game is ruined. Oh, but I was about to win. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Raspberry? Well, I like it. Great color on you. I like it too. But the other one is very nice as well. <laughs> you want to try it on again? Um. Yes, please. Stop! Oh, come back here. Wait for a... Strawberry! What do you think? <laughs> I like this 
nice one, too, but... Oh, I just... I just wish I had a bunch more colors to show you. Okay. Kim? Yes, Strawberry? You need to ask before you make things change colors. Why? <laughs> Ick! That really clashes. Well, for example, what do you think of this color hat with my outfit? Pretty! <laughs> oh dear, he'll never have a future in fashion design. Oh. How do you get somebody this young to realize that what they do has an effect on everybody else? Oh, there he is! It was him! Oh, I was this close to a winning round at my miniature golf course. That's it! Your miniature golf course! Can we bring Baby Barry Kim to come play? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah! Uh, but, 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 but he'll change the balls the wrong colors. Exactly. Let's go. Oh, but... Trust me, Mr. Longface. I think this will work. You'll be doing a great service to Berry Bitty City. Shortcake, uh, those are the last ungreen golf balls that I have. I know. Thank you for letting us use them. Don't worry. We'll be very careful. Won't we, baby Berrykin? So, what do you say? Would you like to give it a try? Oh, oh. Yes, please. Okay, baby Berrykin. Try and make your ball go up the ramp through the windmill. Like this. <gasps> Yay, Strawberry! <laughs> Thank you. Now it's your turn. Whoa! <laughs> oh! Don't worry. <laughs> You'll have another chance. But first, it's Blueberry's turn. belongs to which player? Oh, sorry, Miss Shortcake. Uh, perhaps another time. <sighs> Come on, Baby Berrykin. We'll find something else to do. Play! I want to play mini golf. Please, Strawberry! Well, the only way we can play is if we know whose ball is whose. Oh, if only there was a way to make the balls go back to the color they used to be. I know, I know. I can take out Berry Sparkles and I can put them back, Strawberry. Promise. Really? Oh, that's great. Keep playing. Yeah, you did it! Uh, yay! Oh, brilliant! Very good! Yay! <laughs> Say, can you help us? 
Yes, you did such a good job taking the berry sparkles out of the golf balls. Could you do the same with the other things you changed? So everything looks like it was before? You see, because they're the same color, I can't tell the nice, smooth flannel from the itchy burlap until I'm wearing it. Oh, whatever shall I do? Oh, I don't know. Hey, do you know? Yeah! she's pretty, but she doesn't think she's pretty. Oh! No? No. You see, everyone likes different things, and Lemon likes how she looked before you changed her. Oh! Okay! Pretty! Thank you, Baby Bearkin. <laughs> You're welcome, Lemon. to try my rainbow smoothie. Now that the right colors match the flavors again, I could finish it. Mmm, pretty and tasty. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Oh, that's very pretty. Thank you, Swabelly. Oh, the color I want. Well, it's not here. <gasps> I know. Say, can you make this crayon a color that's a little bit more like this one? Uh-uh. Why not? Using belly sparkles to change colors is bad. Oh, baby Berrykin. Your sparkles aren't bad. They're beautiful. It's wonderful. It is? Yes, it is. All you need to do is think before you do it. Think. How will it make other people feel? Strawberry? Yes. What if I don't know? Well, then you ask them. Is it okay? <laughs> Very okay. Oh, pretty. Thank you, Baby Berrykin. You're welcome, Strawberry. is in charge of the Wanderberry hunt. 
And you're the Berry Fest princess this year, so you tell us where to look. Lead on, oh fearless leader! <laughs> Very well, faithful berry hunters. As your most leaderly leader, I hereby decree we look... Hmm, um, how about over that way? Begging the princess's pardon, but the really amazing plants grow over by the creek. I bet it's that way. I read somewhere that wanderberries like shade. I say we check under those tall flowers. <laughs> I'm so sure we'll find it hiding in there somewhere. Wanderberries need sun. It's gotta be over there. <laughs> Guess they all have their own ideas, huh? I have a feeling we'll find it over here. Just a hunch, but that's what my heart's telling me. Come on, you two. <laughs> okay, Custard, Popcake, keep your eyes open. Only one Wanderberry plant grows at a time. And it could be anywhere. Could be right under our noses. <laughs> oh! <laughs> there it is. The one and only, one of a kind, <gasps> Wanderberry. <gasps> Isn't it the most very beautiful thing you've ever seen? Careful, Pupcake. This berry is going to be our dessert at the Berry Fest feast tomorrow. Look out! Whoa! Are you all right, Berry Kim Blue? Uh, yes, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Had a little stumble, took a little tumble, as I was looking for. You found it. Oh, my, 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 yes, yes, yes. A fine specimen this year. About the biggest I've ever seen. Oh, the color so rich, the shape just so, the texture, oh, amazing. Oh, and the aroma, oh, yes, perfect in every way. Oh, Custard, no. Yes, Pat, we must take care. There is but one of these delicious, nutritious berries at any given time. And how fitting that you, our new Berry Fest princess, should have found it. Found it? Found it? Who found it? Strawberry! Strawberry found it! <laughs> Look at it! Isn't it something? Unbelievable! It's incredible! Now, now, you know the tradition. It's the Berry Fest Princess who plucks the berry. Oh, I knew that. Didn't you know that? I wanted yeah, to see yeah. if you yeah. sure. yeah. uh -huh. Princess Strawberry? I'd be honored. Mm. Mm. Uh. Oh, harder! Do it. Come on, oh. Strawberry. Give it a good shake. Oh, that's it. Uh. Oh. Oh, look, there it goes. At this moment, a new Wanderberry is springing up somewhere. Could it be here, or there, or there? We never, ever know quite where. This thing's pretty heavy. It's gonna take all of us working together to get it back. Is everyone ready? Ready! Uh, Miss Shortcake? <gasps> What's the matter? Did you hear that? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Me neither. Me neither either. But listen. Very close. Oh, there it is again. How very beautiful. Oh, quite a lovely sound. I still don't hear anything. I hear my stomach growling. Oh, just thinking about our picnic tomorrow and having this berry for dessert. Oh, it stopped. I wonder why. All I know is, we have to get this berry back. Uh, you're right, Orange Blossom. Let's get moving. Hee! Ho! Hee! Ho! Hee! Ho! Hee! Ho! And heave! And... Oh, no! Quick, get the car! 
How will we get the berry back now? Yeah, what'll we do, a wise leader? Just gonna have to carry it back, I guess. Oh, that thing must weigh at least a lot. We can do it, together. Come on, everybody, grab hold. Let's go with your legs. Okay, guys, count to three. One, two, three! Better hurry. It's getting dark. Yeah, can't leave it way out here. Gotta get it back tonight. Right. We have a tradition to keep, you know? Oh. Take a little break. <sighs> Me too. I think we all need a rest. <sighs> we'll catch our breath, then we'll start again. Why can't we just leave it here? Yeah, just for one night. Oh, I don't think we better. Please, Strawberry. Um, it's tradition to store it at the Berry Works, right? We should keep moving, right? Oh, it is tradition, <laughs> but you are the Berry Fest Princess, and this decision is yours to make. I know everyone is very tired. We're having the picnic here tomorrow. That's true. So we just have to bring it back. Yeah, I guess it'll be okay. Oh, Pupcake Custard, do you hear that? It sounds somehow different now. Almost like something's wrong. Maybe we should go look for it to make sure it's all right. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry! It's a disaster! Disaster, disaster! What is? What's the matter? What's wrong? Oh, come on and see. Why won't you tell me what... Is everything all right? The berry kids tell me that... Oh. oh. My. We've been robbed by rabbits, burgled by bunnies, and they ate almost every last berry bit. Oh, I was really looking forward to a big berry dessert this afternoon. It just won't be the Berry Fest feast without it. Yeah, it's a tradition. When the old one disappeared, a new one popped up. Somewhere, right, Berry Can Bloom? Oh, yes, uh, that's true. Quite true. Oh, right. We'll have a Wonderberry after all. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find it. I think there's something wrong with that bird. I think it needs me. I think we need you. You know, she's right. There's only about a ton of things to do around here. And since you're the Berry Fest princess this year, you're in charge of everything. You have to judge the flower show. And you need to help with the Berrykin Band concert. And there's the whole Berry Fest feast to plan. And you can't do anything till we find another Wanderberry? You're the leader. You have to decide what we do next. All right, all right. I will decide, Orange Blossom. You help the Berry Kim Band set up for their concert. Will do. Lemon Meringue, you get the flower show set up and pick the top three for me. I'm on it. Raspberry Tort, Plum Pudding, Blueberry Muffin. You'll help me get the food ready for the feast. And you, yes. I want you to go look for the new Wanderberry, okay? Okay. <laughs> Forty-six and forty-seven. Right. Need about another dozen. All done with the flowers. Need any help in here? Oh, we'd love some help with the sandwiches. The Berry Convance 
ready to go. Can I help you? We can use all the help we can get. You and I can work on the salad, Orange Blossom. See? We're going to be fun. As long as we work together, nothing can stop us. <gasps> Did you find the new Wonderberry? We looked everywhere. Two times. No, three. We couldn't find it. And we're as sorry as can be. <sighs> oh, no. How can we possibly have the Berry Fest feast without the Wonderberry? It's almost time for the picnic. You still have to pick a winner at the flower show. And there's the band concert, too. So what are we going to do, Strawberry? What are you going to do, Strawberry? You're the leader here. Yeah. Tell us, Strawberry. Well, what's going to happen? What do we do? Yeah, what? I don't know! I need a minute to think by myself. Was it just me, or did she seem a little stressed? Ugh, I have no clue what to do. It's all just oh, too much. Oh, there it is again. It's coming from over there, isn't it? It sounds like it's having some real trouble. I better go check on it. Oh, but they're waiting for me back there. What should I do? Oh, it's so hard to decide. It's never easy, is it? Oh, I want to make everybody happy, but they all want something different. I can't decide who to listen to first. Oh, you'll do the right thing. Don't worry that the others might disagree with you. Just listen to your heart, Strawberry Shortcake. You have a very good one, you know. Thank you. I'll tell your friends that you need a few minutes. I know what I have to do. I have to find that bird, but... <sighs> Which way now? Do you think it sounds weaker? Seems like it's coming from this way. Come on, you two, let's hurry. I still hear it. It's up here somewhere, I'm sure. You can do it, Pupcake. We're getting closer. Oh, I don't hear it anymore. Do you? Where could it be? What is it, Custard? Oh, you found the Wanderberry. It's smaller than the other one, but it's still very beautiful. I'll be careful not to lose this one. Strawberry! You found it! Oh, we were worried about you. Didn't know you were out here finding the Wanderberry all by yourself. Lucky for us, you're the Berry Fest princess this year. Come on, let's get it back to town. In just a moment. Uh, but why not now? Because first, I have to find that bird. Do you know where it is, Pupcake? <laughs> there it is! Oh, poor little fella. Oh my, this sweet little thing. What's the matter with it? I'm not sure. Oh dear, it's all tangled up. Can you get it loose, Strawberry? I think so. There, you're free. Go on, little birdie, you fly away now. We have to get this berry back home. Uh, Strawberry, you coming? Something's still wrong. Oh, it can't fly. Why not? I don't know. Uh, maybe it, it hurt its wing. Oh, we better leave it here and, and get a doctor. Or we could build a stretcher and carry it back to town. Yeah, those are very good ideas, but what is it? Are you hungry? Uh, Strawberry? 
It's for the feast, remember? Let's see if it wants some. Does that make you feel better? I have some more. Oh, well, uh, uh, don't give it all. We can find some seeds or something. But this is helping. It's a very special plant. The wonderberry is especially nutritious. If we don't get the berry back for the feast, everybody's gonna be really disappointed. Well, if they are, I'm sorry. But this is the right thing to do. I know it is. But how can you be so sure? I can't be completely sure, but I have to make what I feel is the best decision and go with it. I guess that's what being in charge is about. I've considered everybody's ideas, but now I have to do what I feel is right, even if it doesn't please everyone. You can't make a better decision than that. It is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, kind of beautiful. Here, little fella. That berry was just what it needed. I'm glad we listened to you, Strawberry. Otherwise, we never would have made up our minds on what to do. <laughs> That's why you're the leader, because you know how to stick with a good choice, even if it wasn't what the rest of us wanted. Thanks, guys. Strawberry! It's wonderful! What? What is it? Guess we're having a very fest feast after all. Is everybody ready for dessert? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's enough to go around. Yay! But first, first, my friends, let's thank our hostess, our very fest princess, for this wonderful feast. Thank you, everybody. I'm just glad that... that... What's the matter, Strawberry? You speechless? No. Listen. That's the song it was singing the first time I heard it. No, I think it's a little different. I think this song is a song meant for you. True friends last forever. Forever friends stay strong. True friends go together like men. Ready to start making finger sandwiches for the tea party? Oh, better than that, Miss Shortcake. I spent the entire night thinking up new culinary treats, perfect for tea parties. What do you think of a wheat, grass, corn, husk, and pickled butter puff? It sounds very... uh... interesting. I... <laughs> can't wait to try it. Oh, neither can I. <laughs> 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 I can't play now. Do you want to come in? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Cupcake custard. 
word. You two. Come on. You'll have to stay out of the way. Are you ready to try my spectacular wheat, grass, corn husk, and pickled butter puff? Oh. Um, <laughs> yes. Mmm. 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 <laughs> that is very, um, hmm, different. <laughs> Maybe an acquired taste. You know, something you have to get used to. Not for everyone, are they? <laughs> you need a sense of adventure to enjoy them. <laughs> Honestly, Mr. Longface, it might be too much adventure for me, but maybe others will take to them. <gasps> How'd you... Oh, are you all right? Oh, you want to play? <laughs> I'm sorry. I told you, I'm just too busy today. My next creation! The first ever strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, lemon orange plum tea sandwich. Oh, strange. Strange? Oh, I'm sorry. I meant that is strange. Custard and Pupcake didn't come back for lunch. Ooh, oh, my. Uh, that's not only strange, it, it's. Why, it's unheard of! Oh, dear! I hope something hasn't happened to them. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Longface. I'm sure there's a very simple explanation. They're probably just... Oh, out playing and just lost track of time. Beware the metal tear. What a day. <laughs> Everything got to... Watch out for the pops. Mr. Longface is pride and joy. His wheatgrass corn husk can pickle butter puffs. Strawberry? What's so interesting out there? Oh, <laughs> nothing. They're not back yet? Who's not back yet? Oh, Custard and Pupcake. Have you seen them? Are they missing? Oh, I'm sure they're just plain. <laughs> you know those two. Poor things. What if something's happened to them? Now, don't worry. They'll come back when they're ready. Creatures out there. Maybe lost in the big world. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Longface. After the tea party, I'll go out and find them. If there's anything I can do to help. That's very kind of you. Perhaps later you could keep things going here while I step outside and call them. Happily. Uh, just say when. Uh, now. this long, have they? Don't worry, girls. I'll find them in no time. I know all their favorite spots. Please, go back and enjoy the party. 
Sadie Bug and Katie Bug will think they've been abandoned. But we can help you look, Strawberry. But they've been looking forward to this party for weeks. The Ladybugs won't miss me. But if you leave, I mean, <laughs> the party just started. Party is over. I do apologize, Miss Shortcake. I couldn't stop them. We can have a tea party any old time, but right now, we're having a search party to help you find your pets. And we brought finger sandwiches. Good oh, morning. Yeah. yeah! Thank you, everyone. What are friends for? <laughs> Okay, I'm reading a Patty Persimmon mystery book that Blueberry recommended, and there's a search party scene, and they were able to find a missing Glimmerberry by splitting up. Great idea! Oh, uh, Katie Bag and I will distribute food and drinks to all parties as soon as she gives me the basket! <laughs> oh. <laughs> You all, search party snacks! Why, thank you, Katie Bug. Don't mind if I do. Oh, thank goodness the rain is stopping. Now, quick, guys, we're off. Have to supply the merry kids! <laughs> thank you! Wait! That looks like a Mr. Longface special. Oh, uh, thanks for reminding me. Uh, I'll just save this for later. Hmm, I think I'll do the same. Hmm, an Arboralis linaria usually stands straight up. The pets must have been through here and bent it. Oh, wonderful observation, Berrican Bloom. Wow. This is really reminding me of the mystery Blueberry gave me. The search party was in a dark woods like this. And while they were tracking the missing Glimmerberry, the mean, nasty, very naughty thief was tracking them! Oh. oh, hey! I read that mystery. Patty Persimmon, genius detective, on the case of the mean, nasty, very naughty Glimmerberry thief. Exactly how mean, nasty, and um, uh, what was the rest? Very naughty. Oh, dear. But it turns out it wasn't a thief at all. <sighs> Thank goodness. It was really a forest oh. monster. Yeah, they call it the Slither Slider. <laughs> Did you? Here. Uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, perhaps something that sounded sort of like a... Slither? Uh, uh, not, not at all. Wait for us! Printed out, and there's no path. Oh, I've just got to look everywhere. They have to be somewhere. Let's head out a little farther. I certainly wouldn't want to get lost out here in this rainy weather like they might be. Lost? My pets? I know. I read in a story about two kids who made a trail of breadcrumbs so that they could find their way home. Oh, I know that story. Um. Doesn't, um, the breadcrumb trail get eaten? But no one will eat this. You're clever, Blueberry. Come on, now we won't get lost. Seen any sign of them? Nope. 
but we aren't giving up. Remember, Raspberry? Yep. The slither slider always strikes in the rain. Well, come on. Let's keep going. Into this rain? Well, we have to find the pets. Uh-oh. Uh, quick, up here. This way. Uh, let's go in here. Oh, it's Ryan here. Come on. <laughs> Just look at that. Someone's been littering. Strawberry always says, pack it in, pack it out. Whatever you bring into the wilderness, you should bring out. Did you hear that? Oh, I'm afraid that I did. It couldn't be the slither slider. Oh. Orange! Raspberry! Oh, my. Handing out search party snacks is super hard. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, let's have a rest. Oh, why not enjoy a snack ourselves? Oh, hey, I was saving that sandwich for me. Finders keepers, losers, weepers. Uh, no, uh. What? Who is doing this littering? <laughs> Orange, raspberry, if you can hear us, we're over here. <laughs> It's coming closer. Oh, Tothrot! Patty Persimmon Genius Detective Magnifying Glass? Then they're gone. My pets? No, with those puff crumbs. I can't believe someone ate them. Goodness, now we'll never find our way out of here. Don't be scared. We've got each other. We can handle this. But the sun will set in approximately 44 minutes, and the pets are lost, and we're lost. I'll call the others. Hi, Orange. Any sign of Pupcake or Custard? Nothing here, except... Well, we really aren't sure where here is. Yeah, we're lost, too. Oh, uh, call you back, Orange. I've got another call coming in. Hello? Hi, Lemon. Slow down, Lemon. What's wrong? Uh, there's something very weird out here. Be brave. We'll find you. <gasps> Great. Now we're all lost together. Hey, is that a map? Uh, it was. <laughs> Quick, let's hide in here. Oh, I don't know if I can fit. I'll help you. Try back again. I know this trail. Thank goodness. Oh, but still no sign of the pets. Oh, this is terrible. Chin up, Lemon. We're going to find them. Oh, Strawberry. Well, what would we do without you? You always tell us everything is going to be okay. I only hope it is. Ah! <laughs> 
a cake bug. What's wrong? Do you know something about the pets? We lost the tea sandwiches and the puffs. Puffs? We've been finding and picking those up all afternoon. You cleaned up our puff trail? Well, sure. Puff it in, puff it out. Oh, strawberry! Princess, any... <sighs> I see. Guys, look! The sun is going down, and we still haven't found Pupcake and Custard. What if we never find them? And I lost Mr. Longface and Berry Can Bloom. <laughs> It's behind me! Coming for us! Wherever you are, I hope you're okay. What if there's somewhere where we can't find them? How could they be lost? They know their way around. But maybe they're terribly lost. <gasps> maybe just too tired to come home. But they'll be back tomorrow. What if they're trapped somewhere? I don't think that's likely. Oh, I miss them so much. Could they have run away? <laughs> oh. Strawberry, are you just the night air uh, making me sniffle? <laughs> Strawberry, you must be so worried. And all we've been talking about is how worried we are. You poor thing. You love those pets so much. I didn't want to make everyone upset, but I'm just so scared I won't find them. And, and maybe they did run away. You see, they wanted me to play with them, but I was too busy. Oh, I was silly to say that. They would never run away. Not with someone like you taking care of them. They know how much you love them, and they love you. Don't you worry, Strawberry. We will find them no matter what. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I'm so glad you all came to look with Quick, me. Quick, run! <laughs> run for your lives! <laughs> We heard it coming from underground! We heard weird noises underground, too! Wait a minute! Underground! What if that's why the pets didn't come home? What do you mean, Strawberry? Well, all of us have searched everywhere from above. And if the pets were underground and didn't know what time of day it was... They might lose track of time? Exactly! Mr. Longface, Barry can bloom. Where did you hear the noises? <laughs> Back there. Custard? Pop cake!
for your picnic. What happened to the boat? Whoever used it last didn't tie it up. How can we get it back? Strawberry, here! I know who this belongs to. Once upon a time, there was a princess who lived in a far, far, far away land, and she was... Oh! Ah! Uh, oh. Uh, oh, excuse me. Here, let me help you up. Sorry. Yours? No. Mine? Mine. And the prince married the princess, and they live happily ever after. <sighs> There, finished it. Just in time for Blueberry's Book Club. Oh, here, Plum. Huh? Oh, thanks. I forgot where I left that. In the boat. Oh, yeah. That was it. I've been so busy practicing for my dance recital, I'd forget my hair if it wasn't attached. It, it is attached, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. The boat drifted away, though. Maybe you forgot to tie it up. Mm, no, I tied it up. Maybe you forgot to use two knots? One knot, two knots, not that it matters. <laughs> well, it mattered to the Berrykins. They had to get the boat back from the middle of the lake. Uh, just saying, you know, two knots is the rule. Whose rule? I do not recall. <laughs> well, Lemons, it's her boat. Well, maybe it's a silly rule. But don't tell her I said so. I do not want to get in trouble. <laughs> Hi, Plum. What you mailing? Invitations to my dance recital. Great. Hey, I'm, I'm getting one, aren't I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, J.D. Bug. Wow! There must be enough letters here for... for... For everyone who lives in Berry Bitty City and every last Berrykin in Berry Grove. Uh-huh. Wow! They all need to go out right away. Could you please stamp them extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery? <gasps> I... Uh, I get to use my extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery stamp? <laughs> They'll be delivered faster than you can say! Extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery! Thanks! An invitation to Plum's dance recital! Wow! Oh, wow! 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 What? Is something wrong, Miss Shortcake? The date of Plum's dance recital. She's holding it here at the Cafe Cabaret stage, which is fine. Except that I think the date she invited us for is already taken. Oh, no. Blueberry signed up for that very date. Wait a minute. Plum didn't sign up at all. Oh, it must be some mistake. She knows the rule about signing up. Everybody does. Strawberry! Oh, hello, Mr. Longfeet. Hello, Miss Muffin. Strawberry, did you give Plum my Cafe Cabaret night? The baby Berrykins are gonna be so disappointed. I'm supposed to read their favorite story to them. I did not give her your night. Plum must have forgotten to sign up, or, or to check if the date was taken, or... 
<sighs> it's all right. She'll have to reschedule her dance recital. But but she already sent all the invitations. Oh, poor Plum. I know. I feel badly, but fair is fair, and you followed the rules, and she didn't. Don't worry. I'll explain it to her. <sighs> well, okay. Thank you, Strawberry. I don't envy you having to tell Plum. I don't envy me either. Somebody's going to be very disappointed. Uh, Plum? Do you have a minute? Sure. Oh, did you get my invitation? Um, yes. That's just it. The day you invited everyone, the cabaret stage is taken already. <clears throat> Why? Well, you never signed up for it. But, okay, so I'll sign up now. It's too late. Blueberry reserved it weeks ago to read to the Baby Berrykins. Oh, no. Could she switch it to another date? It's not her. It's the rules for the cafe. It's my rules. Well, can't we just change the rules this time? She could read to the Baby Berrykins any night. That's not the point. She followed the rule, so it wouldn't be fair for her to have to move her night. Oh, but all those invitations! I made them myself, by hand! I'm sorry, Plum. I'll help you redo your invitations if you'd like. No, that's all right. I'll do them myself. Well, I'm really sorry, Plum. I'm here to help if you need me. Did you see Plum's new dance recital invitation? <laughs> she's ever played. Oh boy, I haven't checked my mail yet. What does it say? She moved the date of the recital and the place. Now it's in her dance studio, not Strawberry's Cafe. And she says there are new rules for entering the studio. Listen, to gain admission to dance studio, please, one, wear a yellow hat, two, knock three times, and three, guess the secret password. <laughs> Plum, what a jokester. Um, I don't think she's joking. Of course she is. Isn't she? She's mad about my sign-up sheet rule at the cafe. But that's a rule that makes sense. Wear a hat and knock three times? That's just nonsense. Yoo-hoo! Miss Pudding! The door's locked. <laughs> We're here for our dance lessons. I hear knocking, but not three times. Strawberry was right. She wasn't kidding. I thought maybe she was being silly. She's definitely being silly. <clears throat> Password, please? Betcha it's a ballet dance step. Plie? <laughs> nay, nay. Sorry. It's her favorite pie. Uh, um, is it? Gooseberry? My favorite pie. But not the password. Hmm. How about... Ridiculous? <laughs> ridiculous it is. I'll say... Uh-uh-uh! Yellow hats? But we don't have any yellow hats. Then I'm afraid... Are you serious? You're not going to let us in because we're not wearing hats? Yellow hats. Oh, but Miss Pudding, I've been practicing my foxtrot for a week. I almost have all my feet together. <laughs> fair is fair. Rules are rules. Oh, I've never heard of anything so silly. Hmm, me neither. Oh, but it gives me an idea. Oh, shoot, shoot. Okay, so we're all... She's never late for book club. Maybe I'll give her a call. Hi, Plum. It's Strawberry. We're all waiting for you over at Blueberry's for book club. Uh-huh. Okay. I understand. She says she needs to practice for the recital. Hmm. She should have had plenty of time to practice today, given that she wouldn't let anyone in for class. I know. I don't know what's gotten into her. Sesame? Sorry. Tickle? Nope. <sighs> well, 
I'll have to come by another time then. I can't guess. That's it. You got it. Hmm? The password. It's guess. <laughs> Pretty clever, huh? Uh, uh, but you're not wearing a yellow hat. Plum, I think we need to talk. I know you're upset with me, but it seems like you're taking this grudge too far. I don't know what you mean. All these nonsense rules? If you think my rules are nonsense, what about Raspberry's rules? Raspberry has rules? Come in. <laughs> but don't forget, you may only stand on the dots. What? Oh, Strawberry, <laughs> it's you. You don't have to stand on the dots. May I ask who does? Well, when Plum comes here for her fittings of her dance costume, she has to. Ooh. Fair's fair. If Plum's going to make me obey silly rules for her dance studio, then she's going to have to obey my silly rules, too. <laughs> and besides, I'm not the only one who feels this way. Lemon and Mr. Longface have silly rules for Plum, too. What kind of rules? <laughs> well, uh, a lemon makes Plum wear a green hat to come to the salon, then whistle while she's getting her hair and nails done. Oh, and she has to recite a poem called Ode to a Caterpillar and call Mr. Longface, Sir Highness Longface, before she can even enter his mini bitty golf course. <laughs> I know, I know. I think Plum's rules are silly too. Holding a grudge does not do anyone any good. But I think you're making things worse by holding a grudge too. Besides, rules should be for everybody. It's not fair that you just make Plum follow your rules. Oh, that is a good point, Miss Shortcake. Excellent point. Okay, Strawberry. I understand. Me too. Oh, I'm glad. More tea? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, Strawberry. <laughs> hats. We gotta. Lemon's new rules. Oh, really? <laughs> Wonderful shot, Sir Highness Longface. <laughs> Ooh, I, I thank you. <laughs> oh, too bad. <laughs> yes, it's your turn again, Sir Highness Longface. <sighs> That's my ball, Sir Highness Longface. Oh, my mistake, Sir Highness. I, I mean, uh, oh, oh, this doesn't work playing miniature golf against oneself. Oh, uh, hi. Orange, are you going to come try on your new shirt? It's ready. I don't think so. It's too hard hopping from dot to dot. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. Bye then. Hi, Blueberry. Are you coming for your manicure this week? You haven't rescheduled. Sorry, Lemon. My lips are still sore from whistling at my pedicure. Think I better wait till next week. Okay. Uh, no problem. <sighs> Strawberry? Hi, it's Lemon. I'm having a special on facial scrubs today, and, um, well, what I'm trying to say is you don't have to whistle. Oh, you were right. Our acting like Plum doesn't solve anything. Thanks, Lemon. I'm glad to hear you say so. I'll see you soon. Oh, those smell heavenly. <laughs> Thank you. That was Lemon. She's decided to get rid of her silly new rules. So have I, Miss Shortcake. Too much trouble for everyone. No one comes to play mini bitty golf anymore. Now, if only Plum would get rid of hers. <laughs> oh, Plum, you don't have to stand on the dots. I... I, I don't? No, <laughs> I decided it was a silly rule. People got so tired of it that no one wanted to come to the boutique anymore. Here you are. Oh, it's beautiful, Raspberry. Thank you. Uh, you RSVP'd no to my invitation. Oh, uh, well, you see, the only people who are coming are 
blueberry and strawberry. Oh, it's my new rules, isn't it? Hmm, well, to be honest, yes. I've been too busy to make a yellow hat. Well, guess what? For my recital, I'm waving all the rules at my studio. Now will you come? No hats, no knocking, no password. I'm in. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I wanted to let you know that I'm waving all my dance studio rules tonight. So please come to my recital. <laughs> Hi, Orange. Hi, J.D. Bug. Need some help? Almost there. We're going to break this up into bags of nut mix. Aren't they cute? Raspberry made them. She made my dress for my recital tonight. Uh, oh! oh that's um, nice. Uh, gee. I wanted to let you know that for one night, and one night only, I'm waving my dance studio rules. So I'm hoping you'll both change your minds and come to my show tonight. Okay. I'll be there. <laughs> Me too. Thank you all for coming. And please enjoy some refreshments outside. You were wonderful, Plum. And what a beautiful costume. Oh, thank you. Raspberry did a great job. Ah! What's wrong? My dance floor. Oh, there are little holes in it. It's ruined. Jady Bug. Yes, Plum? Stop. Don't move. Your shoes. What is it? I'm afraid your heels made little puncture marks in Plum's dance floor. Oh, goodness. I feel terrible. But everyone knows my rule about footwear in my studio. No heels. It was my first and oldest rule. But you told us you were waving all your studio rules tonight. I... Well, I thought that meant the shoe rule, too. <sighs> I am so very sorry. I just didn't think about why you had that rule. But now I see why it was needed. Oh, Plum, what can I do? I'll help you refinish your floor, Plum. You will? Certainly. Me too, Plum. Thank you, J.D. Bug. Don't feel bad. It's my own fault. I didn't make it clear about the rules. Strawberry, you'd... you'd help me? After I've been acting so foolish and holding a grudge and everything? Of course, Plum. I'd be very glad to help. You were right, Strawberry. Your sign-up rule was a good one, and I should have respected it, even if I didn't understand why it was important at the time. If you don't understand why a rule is important, next time, just ask. I will. Don't forget to use two knots. <laughs> we would not want the boat to get loose. And it is Lemon's rule. And it's a good one. It sure is. It won't drift away again now. Most certainly not. for getting me this pogo stick. Very thoughtful of you. <gasps> Look what I can do now. Oh, it helps when you're busy. But do you ever get busy? Oh, no, it's fun! And I love the built-in hopometer. Janie Bug, did a package come into the post office back there for Berry Can Bloom? It's definitely one of these. Oh, watch out! Oh! Oh, here it is. Well, do you think it's the vacation brochure you've been waiting for? Uh, well, you see. You must be so excited. Finally going on a vacation. Well, actually, uh, I'm not going. You 
art? Well, I decided it was more important to buy these special berry seeds, so I can't afford a vacation just now. These new berry plants will really do great things for the berry works and everyone in Berry Bitty City. Oh, but Berry can bloom. You gave up your vacation last year to sit with my sick petunias. And the year before that to help bring in the berry harvest. <sighs> Maybe next year. Well, I'd better get these seeds into pots. Wait, don't you want to see the new issue of Berry Bitty World Traveler? Oh, I'll, uh... Take a look when I'm closer to taking the vacation. Works too hard, that bloom. Not good for a berrykin. Hi, Orange. I just saw Berrykin bloom, and he seemed not very happy. Fantastic! Well, not really. I'd say more sort of mm, sad. No, I mean, look! The magazine is holding a contest. Anyone who can break a Berry Bitty World record wins a vacation of their dreams. That's what'll cheer up Berry Can Bloom, a vacation. And I have an idea how to get him one. It's a very good idea, Orange. Good. Oh, it's great. Berry Can Bloom really deserves a vacation. But breaking a world record to get him one? What can we do that's world record worthy? Well, what are we all good at? You're an expert cook. Raspberry's an amazing fashion designer. <laughs> and Plum, you're such a talented dancer. <laughs> Thank you. We're all good at lots of things. So which one of us should try and break a record? Well, that's my other idea. If we all try to break a record, each of us doing something different, we'd have a better chance of one of us winning the contest. Oh, let's do it! Orange, you're in charge. Oh, uh, okay. The Berry Bitty World Record is twice as high as this souffle. Well, gotta keep trying. Shh, don't tell. Hello, Mr. Longface. Berry can bloom. Good day, Miss Shortcake. Good morning. Any specials today? Uh, why, yes. Strawberry souffle. Oh, sounds delicious. I'll have some too, please. <laughs> Coming right up. As I was saying, Mr. Bloom, I've been reading this fascinating history of strange sicknesses. Bizarre ailments that anyone could catch. <gasps> My goodness. How catchy are these, um, things we could catch? Oh, very catchy. Sneak up on you without warning. I'm on a chapter now about a disease called Goofa Lupus Wackyitis. It causes people to do strange, funny-looking things. Things they've never done before and that don't make any sense. Enjoy. Mm, wonderful. Oh, thank you. Blueberry, anything else I can help with before I leave for lunch? No, that's everything, Bosley Bookworm. Thank you. Well, see you after lunch, then. See you, Bosley! <laughs> Hello, Berry Bitty World Traveler magazine? I'm calling about your contest for the free vacation. Well, I just wanted to let you know that there are some very big records that are about to be broken over here in Berry Bitty City. But, but, how many? I'd say about six records. Oh, I don't know what they'll be. Just that they'll be big. Very big. You'll send an official contest, Judge? Friday? Perfect. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Well, it's all set. All set? But, Orange, I'm not sure we're prepared. Prepared? 
I've been stacking cans in my store for I don't know how long. I'm an expert, and that judge is going to see a stack of canned goods like never before. Uh, okay, but, but what? Remember, you're in charge. What should we do? Oh, I guess I kind of jumped ahead. I'm sorry. Um, okay. I'll make sure everyone has picked something to break a record with. Good idea. What are we gonna do? Maybe if I help you come up with something, it will help me come up with something. Oops. Oh, I guess we're not going any higher. I can't stack them outside. They'll get dirty. I know. How's it coming along, Raspberry? <laughs> well, I'm trying to make the very biggest dress ever. <laughs> I tried to make the smallest dress ever, but I couldn't see that small to make those silly stitches. Looking good. Keep at it. The contest judge is coming Friday. Oh, what? Looking good. Ah! Sorry, Lemon. I didn't mean to startle you. Oh, it's okay. It wasn't really record-breaking anyway. <sighs> I tried everything I can think of, even painting toenails faster than anyone did before. Ooh, how'd that work out? Oh. Well, think quick. You've got until the day after tomorrow. That's when the judge gets here. Ah! Oh. Uh, Merba Arnold shoot slipper? Oh, what? Uh, the record for reading stuff upside down is safe. I simply cannot stand on my head for that long. I'm sorry. Good try, though. Having fun? You try and dance while walking on your hands. Hmm? <gasps> Show me. Uh, I don't think I can. I've been practicing for hours. But, okay, for you. That is incredible. Sick. Sick. Oh, no. Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they. Top the to get could they only if. Oh, that time was slower than the last. I'm not sure that breaking the record for reading backward is what I'm best at. Come on. We may be bitty, but I know we can do big things. Okay. <sighs> Times many mountain, the climb to try they. Treasure the find, could they top the to get, could they only if. Times many mountain, the climb to try they. Treasure the find, could they top the to get, could they only if. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> what? Oh, my hair! Um, I'm having a problem with the dyes. Can I help you with something, Barry Kim Bloom? Uh, I was worried about. Uh... <laughs> Whoa! Uh, oh, bitter berries. <laughs> Plum? <laughs> what are you uh, worried about? Well, uh, she. Uh, I mean, uh, that is, uh, Miss Lemon. Don't you think she's acting a bit? Strangely? No. But... Oh, well, you know, she just really loves to exercise. Oh. Oh, well, if that's all it is. Would you like a mineral salt foot soak? <laughs> uh, no, thank you. I think I'd better get this plant into the ground. Well, uh, see you soon. I mean, around. Okay, bye. Ugh, foot soak. Good one, Lemon. Nothing I try seems good enough. In a record-breaking way, I mean. Not to mention, Barry Kim Bloom is getting suspicious. Which he wouldn't have if you hadn't been practicing your record-breaking in broad daylight. Where else can I practice? My studio's too small. Girls, please, let's not pick her. Who said that? She did. Why do we have to meet like this anyway? Because Barry Kim Bloom is out there tonight checking his night-blooming jasmines. I think my big dress is just silly. The judge is gonna laugh at me. Guys, guys, where's our can-do spirit? Orange is the only one who has can-do spirit. 
stacking can-do spirit, that is. Ha, ha, ha. That's good, because the person in charge should have can-do spirit. Being in charge is harder than I thought. Oh, come on, girls. You must be able to think of something, but not for me. Remember, this is for Berrykin Bloom. Wait, Orange, your can stacking. It gives me an idea. What? Maybe we need to share ideas instead of doing it all alone. Maybe instead of cooking things, I could stack fruit. <laughs> the highest fruit tower in Very Bitty World. Yeah, and after you win, we can eat it. You know what, Strawberry? Your poofiest highest souffle idea gives me an idea too. Maybe I'll try a poofiest highest hairdo. Oh boy, that's terrific. Oh, but what about me? I'm running out of material for that big dress I'm stitching. That's it. What about a dress with the most stitches? I mean, you've done so many of them in that big dress already, and no one can stitch faster than you. Oh, yes! Thank you, Blueberry. I'm using it. And you know what? No one can read out loud faster than you. Why don't you go for the record of reading really fast instead of upside down and backwards and, well, you know. I can't believe I didn't think of that before. Thanks, Raspberry. See, girls? I knew we could do it if we helped inspire each other a little. What about you, Plum? Uh, I don't know. What about pirouettes? Oh, the most pirouettes in a row! Hey, yeah! Girls, we've got it! All our worries are over! Skipping backwards, eh? Yes, and this orange has been taking her merchandise and snacking it outside. Ooh, a classic case of goofalupus wackyitis. <laughs> Thank goodness you brought this to my attention. There's no time to lose. Oh, dear. Uh, but are you sure that we need to bring the doctor? Very sure. <laughs> Okay, time to take charge. Today's the day. You ready? Wow, you look like the world's biggest souffle. Is that good? No, that's great. Oh, hi, Bosley Bookworm. Are you off and running? Uh, pogoing? Well, yes. I'll let you hop to it then. See you later. A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? Not fast enough for the world record. Faster, faster! The judge is coming this way! The wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke! <laughs> it's so good of you to come, Dr. Nutby. At first it was just Miss Plum, but then it seemed to spread. Oh, my. Hmm, I personally have never come across this. You'd best inform Princess Berrykin. No telling how far this is going to spread. <sighs> Tragic. Very sad. What can be done? See the other patients. The judge is around the corner. Oh, keep poofing. Miss <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Barang, are you in there? Miss Meringue, she has other girls she needs to see. You're right. It wouldn't be fair. I've never seen anything like this. Hi. Well, 
What do you think? I think you better stop, Miss Plum. <gasps> oh, well. I just get too dizzy. Dizziness. Hmm. But wait until you see Raspberry. We were just on our way. Now, now, it's best not to exert yourself, my dear. Oh, no. You mean you can already tell? It doesn't have enough stitches. Oh. Oops. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll be amazed by what Strawberry is doing. Yes, I'm sure we will. <laughs> I'm afraid this is beyond medical science. It is worse than you described. I'm going to call in more doctors. There's no telling how far this could spread. Oh. Take cover! No, 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 no. Oh, too late. You didn't get to take a measurement. I'm going to take your temperature. I've never seen anything so severe in all my days as a doctor. Doctor? Dr. Hazelnut Bee. Now, stick out your tongue, say, ah, uh, and tell me, why have you been stacking fruit? To break a world record so we can win the contest. <sighs> she believes she's in a contest. But, but we are in a contest, all of us. Aren't you the judge? I'm the doctor. Mr. Longface called me in to help you because you are all sick. But we're not sick. Now, girls, you can't deny your strange behavior. Hopping and twirling. And stacking cans and cartwheeling and... We were trying to help Orange win a vacation for you. A vacation? For me? If we break a Berry Bitty World Record, we'll win a free vacation from the travel magazine. And we... we're going to give it to you. Oh, oh dear. That's the most wonderful... I can't believe it. But we failed. I don't think we failed. Orange, you really took charge and inspired us to do much better. <laughs> Higher, bigger, faster than we all imagined we could. Even if none of us broke a world record. Uh, but one of you did break a world record. We did? How do you know? I am the contest judge from the magazine. You? Bosley Bookworm? Yes, they have representatives all over. My. It is hard keeping up with you girls. My stack of cans? Is that how we broke the record? No, your pogo stick bounces. I have been counting them since I saw you on it a while ago. And look, your hopometer confirms it. You've had 10 more continuous bounces than the old record holder. Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations, Berry Kinbloom. The girls have won you a dream vacation to anywhere in the world. I don't know what to say. I'm just so relieved they don't have a goofaloop. Uh, what was it? Goofaloopus wackyitis. It's all right here in my medical book. Goofa what? Oh, Mr. Longface, this isn't a medical book, it's a joke book. It is? Yes, it's just a comedy book full of silly made-up maladies. My goodness, uh, I, I'm very sorry. I guess uh, <laughs> the joke's on me. Don't worry, Mr. Longface, it all worked out. Now that my tower of fruit is on the ground, who wants to come in the cafe and celebrate Berrykin Bloom's vacation with a big helping of... <laughs> Strawberry Souffle! for you. <laughs> Come on, Custard. Down you go. So, you just squeeze the bag gently, make the frosting come out as you go. Like so. <laughs> nice. Really nice. You're so good at that. Oh, pretty. <laughs> just takes a little practice. Anyone want to try? Lemon? Oh, I just know I'm going to mess up your pretty cake. Don't worry. No matter what it looks like, it'll taste the same. Hey, these don't look half bad. Whoa! Wow, guess what? <gasps> well, <laughs> you didn't mess up the cake. Oh, I apologize for bursting in. I'm just excited because I have some special news. 
Sounds like something very special. What is it? We Berrykins are bringing back an old Berrykin tradition, the Berry Bitty Buggy Derby. Oh, I remember hearing about that. I don't. What is it? The Berry Bitty Buggy Derby used to happen every year. Berrykin drivers race their cars around a track for a championship trophy. Oh, that sounds neat. Uh, why did they stop doing it? We got too busy with the harvest for a few years. Everyone sort of forgot about it. It's a shame. You sure seem to have high hopes for it now. Oh, yes. It used to be so much fun. If things go well this year, maybe it could become a regular event again. Oh, wow. That'd be so nice for you. Why do you keep frosting me? Do I look like a cake? <laughs> you do now. The Berrykins are getting the racetrack ready. Would you girls be willing to arrange all the social events that happen before the race? Sure will. Yeah! <laughs> It'll be fun! Absolutely! Oh, uh, if I remember correctly, the Derby was very formal with a lot of peculiar traditions. Yes, that's true. There are some very formal manners associated with the Derby. Manners that we rarely use in everyday life. Uh, you might want to... Oh, girls, I'm sorry I'm late. I was researching cake decorations and forgot about the time. Is the demonstration over? <laughs> Blueberry, you interrupted the princess. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry for interrupting. I didn't see you. That's all right, Blueberry. Now, as I was saying, manners. <laughs> I'm sorry, Blueberry. I was only kidding. You gave me a perfect opportunity for a joke. Yes, we all know it's very unlike you to be late or interrupt. I was just about to say to you all, you might want to brush up on the traditions and etiquette of the Derby while you're preparing. Here's a schedule of the events to be planned. Thanks again. You're welcome, Princess. Planning? What are we planning? The Bitty Berry Buggy Derby. You mean the old Berry Can Car Race? I've read about that. Great! You can help us plan the events. Introduction ceremonies, where the drivers show off their cars. Oh, and the buggy ball. Oh, I bet everyone gets to dress up. Decorations for race day itself? Ooh, I've got some great stuff in my store. <sighs> Let's make this the best derby anyone's ever seen. For the princess. Yeah, so she can get her wish to have it every year. <laughs> Actually, that's starting to be my wish. I want to help the princess, too. It would help me make up for having such bad manners and interrupting her. Don't worry, Blueberry. You're about to become our resident manners expert. Me? Of course. I'm sure you're the only one here who would have a book about derby etiquette. You know, proper manners and behavior for the derby. Actually, I think I just might. It took a while to find, but... The Big Book of Berry Bitty Buggy Behavior. This should tell us how to act in any buggy derby situation. Oh, look! It says that on Berry Bitty Buggy Day, everyone is supposed to bow before talking to the princess. Why? Nobody usually bows to her. It's a formality. Kind of... a special set of manners just for the occasion. But... Aren't manners something you do to make people feel comfortable? Yeah. If the princess isn't usually uncomfortable when we don't bow, why would she be uncomfortable now? Well, it's also a tradition, which is a way to show respect for how things used to be done. Oh, here you go. For the introduction ceremony, it's traditional to wear one pink flower. Why pink? It may not match my outfit that day. Because that was the favorite color of Princess Bertha Berrykin, who had the idea for the race. It's kind of a way of thanking her. Oh, that does sound nice. Okay, so we gotta remember to bow, wear a pink flower. What happens if we forget and do something wrong? It's okay, Blueberry. Don't worry about being perfect. We'll just do our best. Now, let's go. We've got lots to do. But keep researching, Blueberry, and we'll see you later. See you Bye -bye. later, Blueberry. I don't care what Strawberry says. I don't want to goof up in front of the princess ever again. 
The Derby is the perfect opportunity for me to prove I can have perfect manners. The stage looks beautiful, girls. Oh, that was all orange. She has some amazing decorations at her store. Well, for all of your help, you girls will be the first ones introduced to the drivers when they arrive. Okay, I don't understand this one either. Why do we have to be introduced to the Berrykin drivers? Yeah, everybody knows everybody in Berry Bitty City. Acting extra polite can make an event feel special. It's just another tradition. Oh, Strawberry! Oh, hi, Baby Berrykin. What's a tradition? Well, a tradition is something that keeps being done the way it was in the past. Ooh! Why? Traditions are a way to remember the past and to celebrate it. Ooh! <laughs> I like celebrations! <laughs> <laughs> Me too! <laughs> Speaking of traditions... Oh, I hope I can remember all the ones in the ceremony. Yeah, that's why I read the whole derby book three times last night. Uh-huh. Okay. Bowing, handshake, flowers, headstand. No, not headstand. Where did that come from? Look! Here they come! Why does every car have three bows on it? Oh, I know, I know! Because the very first race included only three racers, so we remember them with the three bows. Umbrellas! Time for the umbrellas! Okay, now this tradition really makes no sense. Why would we open up umbrellas just because... Someone is driving. Because it's a tradition! <laughs> very helpful. Thank you. Welcome, everyone, to this year's Very Bitty Buggy Derby. <laughs> You're all going to have a wonderful time. So please, help me welcome the official Very Bitty Buggy Derby drivers. <laughs> present our esteemed Derby Drivers. <sighs> oh, no. They've forgotten how to do the introduction. Oh, yeah. I remember now. <laughs> Thanks, Blueberry. Phew. Done. <gasps> I bet she forgot. And with this traditional ceremonial derby scepter, I hereby declare that the derby has begun. <laughs> what a wonderful ceremony! Just like the old days. Thanks to you, Blueberry. I think you've shown the princess very good manners by so closely following the traditions of her favorite event. Thanks. I do feel I'd made it up to the princess for my bad manners earlier. At least a little. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Blueberry. You're also looking... Offer to shake hands. Oh, yeah. Blueberry, what are you doing? Good evening, Miss 
pudding. My, you're looking well this evening. That's what you said to the postmaster. It's me, Plum. I just want to have the best manners possible so everything goes well. For the princess, don't you think you're overdoing it just a little bit? When it comes to good manners, there's no such thing as overdoing it. Hi, Berry King Bloom. Don't forget to shake hands. Huh? Uh. This is the Derby Ball, after all. We have to be proper. Raspberry, it's impolite not to wait your turn. But, uh, Jadybug told me to go ahead of her because she's still deciding. No, no, no. No bad manners at this ball. <laughs> Orange, what are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm just going to rest a second. Ooh, I was dancing my feet off out there. But, but you're slouching. That's not good manners. It isn't? Oh, oh, it's okay. No one can see me. But somebody might. And what if it's the princess? There, perfect. Psst. Plum, is your napkin in your lap? Uh, yes. Don't chew with your mouth open. Wasn't going to. No elbows on the table. Do you see them on the table? Be sure not to slurp your tea. Ugh. Anything else? Yes, sit up straight. Hey, where's Blueberry? She's busy, minding everybody else's manners. What's that? Well, you see, she's been running around correcting everyone's manners whenever they make a mistake. She corrected me before I even made a mistake. She really needs to relax. Hmm. Hi there, Blueberry. Enjoying the ball? Well, no. Why not? Oh, Strawberry, I'm just so worried someone is going to offend the princess with bad manners. I think you should just try to have fun. You don't need to worry about how things are going. Okay. Just as soon as I finish the chapter on the salad fork, the misunderstood utensil. Go, go, go! Woo! Plum, <laughs> uh, uh, nothing's happened yet. I know, but I'm so excited, I can't wait to cheer. Crumbling muffins, blueberry! You look exhausted. What happened? Oh, late night. Up studying. What were you studying? All the different times that it's good manners to say please and... <gasps> oh, thank you. <sighs> <gasps> what is it? I yawned! At the derby! I yawned! Oh, Strawberry, do you think anyone saw me? The book says that's terrible manners. I really think it's okay to yawn. Uh, what? What? Raspberry is standing in front of someone shorter than she is. She may be rudely blocking his view. Bad manners! Bad manners! Bad manners! Uh-oh. Manners maniac coming our way. Quick, hide! Where'd they go? I could have sworn they were here a minute ago. Hello, everyone. It's just about time for the race to begin. Before we begin, I just want to let everyone know we Berrykins could not have done this race without the help of Strawberry Shortcake and her friends. I also wanted to say I've so enjoyed having the race back again. I hope you've enjoyed it too. Maybe next year we can repeat it. So without further ado, I believe it's time for us to start. Oh no, that driver is about to interrupt while the princess is talking. The worst manners mistake ever, and I should know. Driver, don't interrupt when the princess is talking. It's bad manners. <gasps> oh. oh no. But. Uh, all I was trying to say is we, we can't start the race because this driver has a flat tire. Oh, dear. Oh, my. I, I guess I wasn't paying attention. Thank you for letting us know, sir. I have never been so embarrassed in my life. Oh, no. Please don't leave. I was only trying to... Bad manners. But pointing it 
out to him in front of everybody, it hurt his feelings. And now he won't even come out of the cafe. And it's holding up the race. The rules say they can't start unless all the drivers are there. But I was just trying to make sure everything went well. I mean, why is the driver upset? He's the one who goofed up his manners. Um, actually, Blueberry, it's even worse manners to correct someone's bad manners in front of other people. I've been doing that to all of you, haven't I? Well, not exactly. I mean, not really. I mean, uh, yes. Yes! I'm so sorry. Can you ever forgive me? <laughs> of course, Blueberry. We understand. Learning the right manners can be very confusing. Oh, and I'd better apologize to the driver, too. Now that's good manners. Excuse me, sir. I just... I mean... I wanted to apologize for embarrassing you like I did. In front of everybody. I was nervous and just was trying too hard to make everything go right. I'm sorry. Well, uh... Thank you. I, uh... I know what you mean about being nervous. This is the first race I've ever been in. I was pretty nervous, too. Well... Do you think there's any chance you might be willing to go back and finish the race? Yep. I'd say those chances are pretty good. Sorry, the race was just so exciting, I forgot. I'm so glad you guys can understand and forgive me when I goof up. What can I say? That's what friends are for. <laughs> now, that was the most fun I've had in ages. Somebody ought to tell the princess that we should do that every year. Did you hear that? The princess will be so happy. Hey, Blueberry, you know what else friends are for? <laughs> Celebrating when something great happens. Rehearsal. Bright and early? Is it bright and early already? I'm afraid so. Oh, 
Would you like a muffin? Oh, I'm sorry. Come on in. It's just, I want it to be perfect. Wow! What's all this? My extra special super duper with a cherry on top dance routine. The one that's gonna beat the big bitty city dance team in this year's dance off. It looks, um, uh, complicated? You better believe it. Every year, the big bitty city dancers pull up a super complicated routine. But this routine will top them all. Uh, but, Plum, the dance off is only a week away. All this? Yeah, I don't know. Learn this dance? All in one week? We have to. Let me remind you what we're up against. In case you've forgotten the humiliation, the shame, the disappointment of last year's dance off. <laughs> well, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I remember having a lot of fun. If you call losing fun. They're great! Splendid! I can't wait to see what they do this year. Whose side are you on? Oh, Plum, I think the important thing is that we have a good time and do our best. That's what I'm talking about! Our best, our perfectest. Ahem. Uh, perfectest is not a real word, but you might say our perfect best. Well, that's what I am saying then. Our perfect best. We will win. This year, we dance perfect. Perfectly. Perfectly. Thank you, Blueberry. I'm glad you all agree. This is going to be our year. The year Very Bitty City takes the dance off prize. But we can't dance that perfect. We, Plum. Oh, we will. Just watch me. <clears throat> Music, please. Nothing to it. Um, that's nothing like the dance we did last year. Exactly. We lost last year. Oh, but the outfits I designed were gorgeous. And I did a triple pirouette. Everyone in the audience cheered for us. It was spectacular. Do you see what's on that shelf? There isn't anything on this shelf. Except dust? Do you know what should be here? Uh, a dusting cloth? Uh, no! A dance-off trophy! Plum, I can see how important this is to you. And we're your friends, so you know we're going to do our very best to win that prize. Huh. Thank you, Strawberry. Finally, somebody understands. We understand, Plum. It's just... What if we help you simplify the steps a little? Yes. For example, this step could be simpler if we did just the first part. Or we could divide up the parts so each of us is doing the steps we're best at. Like, I'm really good at kicks, and Orange is so good at spins. That's a great idea. But that's not my vision. We have to do this dance. My dance. Or we won't stand a chance. Well, this is important to Plum. Let's give her way a try. All together now. Five, six, seven, eight. This foot goes here. This foot is over there. Like so. Up here and hold it just like this. And five, six, seven, eight. Since it's night. All right. Because it's our first rehearsal, I'll keep it short. <sighs> but be back here tomorrow, bright and early. And when you sleep at night, I expect you all to dream of the dance. <laughs>
Uh, do you think Plum's taking this too far? If you asked my feet about it, they'd say, yes. I know, but it means so much to Plum. Besides, it's only for a week, and then comes the dance-off. Oh, six more days of this? My toes are gonna fall off. Practice, practice, not a moment to lose. And five, six, seven, eight. It's how you dance the dance. Huh? <gasps> Here they come! Welcome to Very Bitty City. We are so very delighted that we can be here to dance in your always delightful dance-off. Yeah! <laughs> How can we possibly beat them? We have to work even harder. And to give us the edge, I've designed some special additions to the dance. Oh, no! More stuff to learn? But, but we haven't learned the first dance. I've designed a new hairdo for everyone to wear when we dance. It'll make us look like a team. For me, please, could you try it out? Are you sure this will work? Of course. I designed it. Oh, Raspberry, I've got an exercise to help you with your posture. Please balance this vase on your head. And whatever you do, keep it there until tomorrow. Whoa! I don't know about this. We'll have to design a whole new outfit to go with this vase. Trust me, it'll work. This is the greatest book ever written about dance. Please have it read by tomorrow, Blueberry. I'll try. Orange, I would appreciate it if you would pick as many glimmer berries as possible. Glimmerberry juice is super nutritious and will help give our team mega endurance. So please get tons. But tons! And me? Just keep practicing, even while you cook. Please, don't ever stop. Over twice and under once. Then around the side, roots to ends, and back again. Huh? Ah, my hair! <laughs> <laughs> These new lovely leotards are going to look spectacular. Whoa. Oh! Oh, oh, bitter berries. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <sighs> oh. How can I possibly read all of this tonight? A very large harvest. Only the glimmer berries on top are left, and even our highest ladders cannot reach them. And there's no higher ladders? <laughs> I've got an idea. Huh? <laughs> Just a little higher. Almost there. And she said tons, so we're going to get tons. Five, six, seven, eight. Here you go. Je take and reach. Right. Oh. 
By tomorrow, my dancers will be so good, nothing can stop us from winning. Close! Please go away. Uh, it's me, Plum. We have one more rehearsal before the dance-off. Can't! Won't! Impossible! What? But I can't leave the salon! Maybe ever again. But why? Remember your new team hairdo? <laughs> Great idea, wasn't it? I can't be seen in public. People will run screaming. It's not so bad. Okay, maybe it is. I'm sorry, Plum, but I'm sure it'll work out much better without me. But, but, there has to be a way. Is there anything I can do? Yeah. Bring me an extra large paper bag to put over my head. I'll just have to replan the dance a bit. Coming! Okay, Plum, ready, willing, and able to dance off. What's that noise? Oh, no. I'm sorry, Plum, but it fell off my head and I stepped in it and it's stuck. Well, we have to get it unstuck. <laughs> <laughs> I have a better idea. Why, Raspberry, what are you wearing on your foot? Her new dance shoe. Looks like a vase. Oh, I'm sorry, Plum, but I'm sure it will work out better without me. But, but... Okay, okay, stay calm. I still have three other dancers. I read the whole book, Plum. It took me all night, but I did it. But now my eyes are so tired, I can't see straight. Okay, how many fingers am I holding up? Are you sure that's your hand? I thought it was your foot. <laughs> wow! I asked for tons and I got tons! This is great, Orange! Uh, Orange? Orange? Thanks for mashing all the glimmer berries into juice, but aren't you gonna come dance? No! Why? What's wrong? <gasps> what happened? I got some on me. Oh, I've been washing and washing what it's gonna take until tomorrow to get these stains out. But, but the dance off is today! Hi, Plum. Your feet. What happened to your feet? Uh, all that dancing while cooking you wanted me to do? Oh, it gave me blisters on my feet. I can't dance. I'm sorry, Plum. But at least the other girls can dance. No, they can't either. What? I've lost my A-team. What am I gonna do? Hmm. What about your B-team? B-team? B as in Berrykins. B as in bad dancers, you mean. They were on our team last year, remember? I think that's part of the reason why we lost. But Plum... Remember, Berrykins have different skills, so you might want to modify the dance a bit to suit them. Well, I'll try it. I don't know what else I've got to lose. And five, six, seven, eight. Together, stay together. <laughs> on the beat, on the beat. <laughs> Stand still, not on your head. <laughs> Stop! Stop! Please! You've got it all wrong! No! That is not the way my dance is! <clears throat> it's just about time for the dance-off, everyone. Oh, the dance-off? Now? Welcome, everyone, to the annual Berry Bitty City Dance-Off, featuring the Big Bitty City Dancers versus the Berry Bitty City Dancers. <laughs> Our distinguished panel of judges will decide the winners. First up, the Big Bitty City Dancers.
a wonderful dance by the Big Bitty City Dancers. And now for a short intermission before the very Bitty City Dancers begin. Uh, I can't go on. We can never be that perfect. It would just be too humiliating for me. For you? What would it be for the Berrykins? What? The Berrykins? And what would it be for all of Berry Bitty City who pitched in to help put on this dance off? Um, but, but. And what about the other girls who rehearsed your dance? Everyone works so hard for you. But all look silly! Maybe. Maybe not. But this dance off has to do with all of Berry Bitty City. And our guests, the Big Bitty City Dance Team, too. Not just you, Plum. Those dancers came all this way to dance for us and to see us dance as well. But we dance like we dance. The Berrykins are different. Why not let them dance the way they dance best? Wouldn't that be more fun for them? You're right. I haven't been making this fun for anyone. Berrykin dancers? What kind of dance steps would you like to do? Oh, wiggle! Build a tower? Do some leapfrogging! Bouncing! <laughs> all right, everyone. Those are all great ideas. What do you think? Uh -huh. Yeah! Good idea. Be a big yeah. 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 yeah! So let's dance. But don't do it my way. Let's do it our way. Let's have some fun. Yeah! And now for our second group of dancers from your very own Very Bitty City, the Very Bitty City Dancers! This is a friendly contest. We do have to choose a winner. And it is the decision of the judges that for originality, teamwork, and enthusiasm, the winners are... the Berry Bitty City Dancers! I guess their way isn't the only way to dance well. You're right, Strawberry. Everyone's ideas, yours, the other girls and the berry kids. They all made for a better dance. <laughs> Just wait till next year. I'll design an even better dance with everyone's ideas in it. And my only rule, it has to be fun. And five, six, seven, eight. You just warm up some apple cider with a little orange rind. Mmm, orange. My favorite. A tiny smidgen of lemon juice. Mmm, <laughs> my favorite. 
a bit of cinnamon, and my secret ingredient. What's that? Warm wishes. I imagine my friends enjoying it, and somehow it just comes out better. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, uh, maybe if we drink enough, it will really feel like winter. Well, it's certainly cold enough, but some snow would be nice. I want snow so badly, I sometimes think I can hear it coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's snowing! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, nice. <laughs> that means snow crunching yeah! boots and bundly warm jacket. Cozy fire. Strawberries, cranberry cookies. Mmm. And best of all, the Glimmerberry Ball. <sighs> I can't wait to start decorating for it. The food table will go here, and the streamers across there, and we'll put chairs along that wall. Plum, I'm starting to think we won't be able to hold the Glimmerberry Ball in the cafe this year. Why not? Hot cider coming right up. Excuse me, coming through. Because Berry Bitty City isn't so bitty anymore. That's right. The town has grown since last winter. There just won't be room. If not here, then where? I've got it. We'll split up and hunt for a bigger place. We'll all look hither and yon. Hither and yon? Here and there. Ah, great. An adventure in the snow. Oh, good idea. Fun. for the ball? No. Oh, me neither. Oh, uh, well, I found a nice flat tree stump. There's lots of room, but no shelter from the cold. Oh, we might freeze or catch colds or even just uh, shiver a lot. Well, we're definitely not giving up. After you get warm, we'll go looking again. I'll come with you. You guys, I found the perfect place. Come on. So? What do you think? It's perfect for the ball, right? Uh, I don't know, Plum. If someone fell off those branches, they'd hurt themselves. And where would we put the tables? <laughs> no, no. Down here. Oh. Warm, spacious, and inviting. I call it perfect. Congratulations, Plum. Good for you. Good job. I did it. Yay for Plum. I knew you would. Plum, since you did such a wonderful job of finding the perfect spot, would you mind being in charge of the party preparations? Oh, I'd love to. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'll bring the dishes, cups, napkins, and tablecloths. Uh, Strawberry, can you take care of the party snacks? <laughs> of course. Okay, raspberry and orange. Would you help decorate? Fun. <laughs> Ooh, yay. What do you think of crepe paper streamers draped tastefully across the ceiling? Draped crepe? You got it. Blueberry, lemon. Can you please round up as many glow bugs as you can to light the hall? Of course. We're on it. Raspberry and I will get started, too. And I definitely better get started if we want to put this all together in two days. Thank you, everybody. <sighs> I'm gonna make this the best Glimmerberry Ball Berry Bitty City has ever had. Very nice, girls. Oh, it looks great. And the best part? We're a full day ahead of schedule. Oh, which means I have time tomorrow to sew up some fancy tablecloths. And I have time to pick up some great music. <laughs> <laughs> the ball is going to be so much fun. True, but there's still plenty of work to do tomorrow. Let's get some rest, and I'll see you here bright and early. <gasps> what in the world happened? The snacks are all gone. And the glow bugs flew away. Oh, and our streamers and tablecloths are all torn up. If they 
this is a prank, it's not funny. Who could have done such a thing? I don't know, but this is really cozy. Oh, I could take a nap in here. This is no time for a nap. We have to start over. All that work we did. It'll be okay, Plum. We still have a whole day to put everything back in order. Sure, and I'll go round up some more glow bugs. What I want to know is who would do something so... so... mean? Well, nobody in Berry Bitty City. Exactly! So it must be an outsider. And I'm gonna find out who. And they will answer to the Rat of Lump. <laughs> Oh, now you don't like cranberries. Cupcake? <laughs> Watch out! Oh, how can I make cranberry cookies with you in the way? I told you I have a bunch of baking to do. <laughs> oh, come on, you silly puppy. We'll have playtime another time. Huh? <laughs> Strawberries Cafe, hoping you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, hi, Plum. What? Uh-huh. You're all going to stay in the tree tonight? It's the only way to make sure nobody messes up the party stuff again. It sounds like a fun sleepover. Maybe I can join you later. I just have to make one more batch of snacks. Oh, well, hold on. Pupcake, go fetch. Bring me that oven mitt, okay, boy? It's the cranberry cookies, Blueberry's winter favorite. Oh, it makes me so happy imagining how much she'll enjoy them. Pupcake! Pupcake, no! <sighs> Plum? Looks like I'm not gonna be able to join you after all. Why? Let's just say it was something out of my control. Good luck! And have fun. See you in the morning. Bye. Goodness, what's gotten into you, silly puppy? Huh? What? <coughs> oh, you think the cranberry is your ball. No wonder. You thought I was going to cook your favorite ball. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't understand. Come on, let's look for your ball. Now maybe you'll let me finish my cranberry cookies. Oh, and everything else. Do you think we'll catch whoever it is? Oh, they'll be back all right. And I'm ready for them. Hey! That's really bright, you know. Oh, sorry. I just want to be ready when the intruders show up. Plum? They won't come in here if it's too bright. Oh. Right. How much longer do you think we'll have to wait? This floor is really hard. Yeah, not exactly a feather bed. Hey, I know. How about we bring that big pile of shredded crepe paper back in here? Oh, it was a really cozy bed. Good idea. Uh, I don't know, girls. We're trying to keep the place nice and neat. Don't worry, Plum. We'll just sweep it out again in the morning. Cozy. Uh, really comfortable. But we have to stay alert. No problemo. Oh, no. We'll stay alert for you. Honestly, Plum, I don't think these troublemakers are coming back. <gasps> what was that? The wind? A falling acorn? Uh, a really big snowflake? <gasps> Ready? One, two, three! Just a couple of cute chipmunks. Cute on the outside, but meddling on the inside. I will not allow these intruders to ruin our ball. Hey, get out of here! <laughs> That's right, you better scram. This is our place. Yay, we did it. <sighs> now can we go home? Yes, but first a little 
precaution. There. That ought to keep those pranksters out. Now we can trade that trash pile for some real bets. Tomorrow is a big day. The Glitterberry Ball! I'm so super excited to see everyone in their beautiful new ball gowns. They are splendid spectacular. And I've got all new steps planned out for the dance. And let's hear it for the terrific food we're going to eat tonight! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And let's hear it for Plum for organizing all the preparations. <laughs> Thanks. I'm just happy that everyone in town will have a delightful Glimmerberry Ball tonight. Yes, the hall looks fabulous. You've got to see it, Strawberry. Oh, I can't wait. I'll meet you down there when I'm done packing. Okay, see you soon. <gasps> oh, no! Not again! Somebody's been nibbling our snacks. Somebody chased away our glow bugs. And somebody's been sleeping in our streamers. <gasps> and they're still here. <laughs> so, trying to wreck our party, huh? Wake up! Wake up, you meddling pranksters! Get out of here! <laughs> We better clean this up, quick. We're running out of time. What's that? I don't know. Sounds like it's coming our way. Oh, let's get out of here. Come on. with plum pudding. Let's see them try to get back into our Glimmerberry Ballroom now. have kept wrecking our decorations. And now they've stolen our ball gowns, just to spite us. Chipmunks? Oh, that's very strange. They're usually timid little guys. There must be some reason they turned into troublemakers. Oh, 
they did this? Have you ever heard of anything so mean? Shredding or decorations. We found them sleeping in these grass. They aren't the only ones. Raspberry kind of likes sleeping in them, too. <laughs> well, they are pretty cozy. Yes, they are. Oh, that's the answer. What's the answer, Strawberry? The chipmunks aren't the intruders. We are. Us? Uh-huh. They chose this place to have somewhere warm to sleep during the winter. And they probably found it before Plum did. But why do they have to take it out on our Glimmerberry Ball? Hmm. Yesterday, I couldn't understand why Pupcake kept barking at me when I was making the cranberry relish. But when I finally stopped to see his point of view, I realized he thought a cranberry was his red ball, and he thought I wanted to play fetch. So? So? Look at this tree from the chipmunk's point of view. What looks like stealing food is actually their way of staying fed during their winter sleep. So what looks like a pile of scraps to us is really a bed to them? That's right, Raspberry. So all this time, we've been kicking them out of their home? I'm afraid so, Plum. <sighs> now I feel terrible. <sighs> Come on, girls. We better take all our stuff back home. But then, where will we hold our Glimmerberry Ball? I think I may have an idea. What if we just ask the guys? Hey, little guys. Can we talk to you for a minute? That's it. We won't hurt you. I'm really sorry we tried to take over your winter home. We'd like to change our Glimmerberry Ball into a hibernation ball. Would that be okay with you? Everyone will bring donations to our dance tonight, and you'll have plenty of food for the long winter. Where are they going now? chipmunks a lot more than just throwing our usual glimmerberry ball. Me too. It made it much more special. It's like Strawberry's secret cider ingredient. Warm wishes? Yes. The party was special because I kept imagining how much the chipmunks are going to enjoy their nice home and all the snacks for their hibernation. So do you think they enjoyed the party? <laughs> I think that says it all. Important. Very important. It's a birthday card to a friend of mine. Oh, I hope I'm mailing it in time. When's the birthday? Next week. Oh, it'll get there in plenty of time. Another letter! Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> I'm afraid I've come down with a case of bumbly, wheezy, sneezy fever. <laughs> Oh, dear. That's too bad. Well, I think you'd better go home until you feel better. I think that's a very good idea. idea. Yeah, 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 but... Thank you. <laughs> Quick, turn him around. Bless you. Thank you. No, oh, now how am I going to get the mail delivered today? Is there a problem, Postmaster? Well, the problem is, all my delivery bees are on vacation, which wouldn't be a problem, because they still have one left. Well, the problem is... <laughs> he's it. Oh. So, now the only one left to get the mail delivered is me. Oh, dear. But well, even that wouldn't be a problem. I can deliver the mail to Barry Betty City myself, but, but not this. What's that? Special delivery for Clement Cricket. Clear out in Acorn Acres. <laughs> Label says it's for his birthday. When's his birthday? Today. Today? Today? Ah! Oh, no. Oh, uh, here, J.D. Bug. Uh, let me help you. No, no. You should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I guess you're right. Oh, poor Clem. Looks like his birthday present will be late. But we can only do our very best. Wait! What if I helped you deliver this package, I mean? Well, that's mighty kind of you, Miss Shortcake, but all the way to Acorn Acres, this is not exactly a hop, skip, and a jump, you know. Yeah, it's across the bridge, way on the other side of the river. I have a scooter. I'm sure I can get it there in time. And I have the day off from the cafe, so I am at your service. <laughs> well, now, that's about the nicest thing I've heard in quite a while. Are you sure you want to give it a try? Very sure. All righty, then. <clears throat> Raise your right hand, please. Repeat after me. I, strawberry shortcake. I, strawberry shortcake. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Do promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. Do promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. <sighs> You are now an official delivery person of the Barry Bitty City Post Office. <laughs> Strawberry! That looks great on you! Thanks, Orange! Thank you, Strawberry. This means a lot to me in the post office, and I expect to Mr. Cricket. <laughs> J.D. Bug will stamp the package and get you on your way. Okay, J.D. Bug? Ah! Here, let me... No, no, you should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I, I guess you're right. Here, I can help. Why, why, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Anybody home? Right there, Plum! Well, if you can stamp this package, I'll be on my way. Oh, <laughs> right. Stamps, stamps, stamps. Go! Oh. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> stamps, stamps, stamps. Aha! There! Do not open till Christmas? Oh, absolutely! It'd be cheating. Huh? But it's his birthday. Oops. <laughs> Agile? This end up. <laughs> Return to sender? Oh! Special delivery! Wait! How about a nice... 
Don't drop this package. Oh, oh, here's a... Sorry, doesn't live here anymore. Huh. I've been looking for that one for months. No, thank you. Wow, congratulations to our new postal carrier. Orange told me all about it. Hi, Plum. Love the hat. Do you get to keep it? No, just helping out for the day. Hiya, Pupcake. Take good care of this package, okay? It's got to go all the way to Acorn Acres. <laughs> Acorn Acres? Way out there? Oh, can you make it in one day? Oh, it's still morning. Plenty of time. Oh, uh, wait! Uh, who's taking care of your cafe? Mr. Lockface. He's teaching a cake decorating class. Psst, strawberry. Lemon? What is it? I've got a problem. Pupcake, you better wait here. Take care of the package, okay? <laughs> Lemon, are you okay? Uh, uh, sure, sure. What is it? Something's wrong, isn't it? Here, there's a great article on two-tone toenail polish. I would like to see how my hair looks. Oh, hold on. I used a new hair mousse, and it's not exactly working out. I'm scared she's gonna... Oh, I don't want to think what she'll do when she sees. It's too terrible to... Let me see. Okay, but please keep your cool. As always. Yeah. Okay, come on. Oh, it's coming along nicely. Wow, that's a... a hairstyle, all right. Now can I? Not yet! Lemon, I've got to deliver a package for the postmaster. I'd love to stay, but... Oh, no, 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 no. You can't leave me. Please, Strawberry, please think of something. I don't know what to do. I'd like to keep Blueberry as my friend, but when she finds out, she's gonna... Oh, and then she'll... No! Oh. Ouch! Okay, where's the bottle? Hmm. You know, I had a cake recipe that kept coming out just like that. Too hard, so I added pudding to the mix. Pudding? Try washing her hair with some vanilla pudding, then rinse it, then add stay-in conditioner with a little, um, avocado oil. That should smooth it all down. Hmm, you think? Worth a try. And don't worry, Blueberry always comes around. <sighs> Thanks, Strawberry. You calmed me down. I was just so flustered, I couldn't think. <laughs> You're very welcome. Berry Bay City Post Office. We do the very best we can. J.D. Bug speaking. <gasps> oh, no. Uh, yes, sir. I'll tell her right away. Has Strawberry gone yet? Yeah. Uh, why? The postmaster just heard at the storm we had the other night. It blocked the road to Acorn Acres. She won't be able to get through. <gasps> oh, no! Strawberry? Strawberry, come back! There's only one rule today. The only words you can say. I guess I can, and let's make a plan. But even if we could clear the road, it'd take us too long. Oh, I think the only thing to do is keep going without the scooter.
There you go. I wonder how far we have to go. Oh, look, Popcake. That's the way to Oak Tree Meadows. The road to Rosevale, Brookville. Um, and that must be the way to Acorn Acres. Great. <sighs> now which way should I go? Uh, I keep telling them they should fix this huh? thing. But do they listen? Because you didn't ask nice. What do you know about nice? Uh, nice is my middle name. Uh, no, it um, isn't. Excuse uh -huh. me. Yes. Um, is not. Okay, what is my middle name then? Ladybird. <laughs> Your name's Sadie Bug, Ladybird, Fairy Beetle. <gasps> How did you know that? Um, girls? Because maybe I've known you all your life and I'm your twin sister. My luck. If someone had asked me, I would have picked a different twin sister. Me too. Or, or, or I'd pick triplet. But none of them would have been you. <gasps> uh, hello? <laughs> well, don't just stand there. We need your help. You certainly aren't talking to me, are you? We most very certainly are. Certainly for certain. Oh, well, what can I help you with? Can't you see? Sorry, but, um, you're gonna have to tell me. Let's make her guess. Silly, stop fooling around. This is serious. Well, I have a serious uh, thing too, and... Oh, can you tell me how to get to Acorn Acres? <gasps> We've lost our picnic! <laughs> what? <laughs> it grew away from us. <laughs> grew? Uh, away? And we're really hungry. <laughs> I'm hungrier. I said it first. <laughs> Doesn't mean you were hungrier first. Girls, please, please explain. How did your picnic grow away. Well, we were looking for a place to have our picnic, and I had some great ideas, but she wouldn't listen, because my ideas were best. And while you were uh, discussing, the flower grew up where you left your picnic things? And now our picnic is up there! And we're down here! And I'm hungry. I'm hungrier. I am. Come on! We better get your things before they grow away any further. No way! You're gonna help us? Of course! But we need to be quick. That is so nice of you! Almost there. Steady, steady. Now lower. Watch out, Pupcake! <sighs> there. Oh! <laughs> Hey, that's mine? Nuh uh. I made it. You made it for me? Okay, then what did you make for me? <gasps> Don't spill that! <laughs> I can't open this. Give it to me then. With your shaky hands? <laughs> I think not. <sighs> Come on, Pupcake. I guess the only thing we can do is try one of these roads. Where are you going? Yeah! Don't you want to join us? It's a picnic for two, but you could share some of hers. Oh, thank you. But I have to deliver a package to Clem Cricket. If only I knew how to get there. Oh, right! It's his birthday! Yup. Too bad he didn't have a party. Maybe he didn't invite us. Why would someone not invite me? How did you know it was his birthday? He's a friend of ours. Yep. Lives right up the road, right up there. This road? Uh, no, that one. That one. That way, to the river. Oh, yeah, you're right. I am? Yep. Just follow it to the river, go across the bridge, over the next hill, and you'll be right there. Oh, thank you. Anytime. Sure thing. Hear that, Pupcake? <gasps> it sounds like a river. Look, Pupcake, the bridge. Come on. On the other side is Acorn Acres. We're almost there. Oh, we're gonna make it in time.
to go on Acorn a Acres? I couldn't get there. The road was blocked. The bridge was out. Oh, Strawberry. Listen, I have to go tell the Postmaster what happened. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help? I wish there was. I just... don't know what it would be. Hey, your hair looks really nice. Your idea really worked. Thank you. And the avocado oil? My hair's never been so shiny. I love it. <laughs> I'm glad. What a day! <laughs> but everything got delivered. I'm sorry to say not everything. I'm very sorry. I tried. I got as far as the bridge, but it was out. Yeah, I'd heard about it after you'd gone. Too late to stop you, I'm afraid. It's quite a thing you did getting that far. But I didn't deliver the package. The mail didn't get through. Oh, and I promised it would. Actually, you promised to do the very best that you could. And you did that. You see, there are times when things happen that are out of our control. The only thing we can do is the best we can. I'll call the post office in Big Bitty City. See if we can bring in some help. Maybe take the back road through Oak Tree Meadows and get to Acorn Acres that way. Will they get here in time? Well, <laughs> we can only do our very best. I just wish I could have delivered it. Maybe you still can, Strawberry. What's all this? I, um, sort of spread the word that you needed help. You always help us when we need it. So we decided to help you. Here in Very Bitty City, we always try to help each other get the job done. We all put our heads together and came up with an idea to help you deliver the package. Oh, thank you, everyone. What idea? <laughs> Cupcake? <laughs> Cupcake, where are you? <clears throat> huh? <laughs> what do you think? Do you need a bridge now? I think this is perfect. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Miss Shortcake. Oh. <laughs> Ready! <laughs> Hang on, Pupcake. Yes? Special delivery for Clem Cricket. <laughs> this is for you, and happy birthday. Oh. <laughs>